Hello, everybody, and welcome to tonight's episode of Critical Role, where a bunch of us nerdy ass voice actors sit around and play Dungeons and Dragons. We play Dungeons and Dragons! Uh, we, uh, wow. We. <laughs> Come on. Got a lot of energy, man. Yeah, oh, apparently. Oh my God. Yeah, we got some announcements to get through before we jump into tonight's game. Uh, beginning with our uh, first sponsor tonight, Skillshare. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fault. It's your fault. Y'all came in with weird energy and you done fucked me up. I am, I am non-functional. Skillshare, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam, fucking go. <laughs> This episode is sponsored by our friends at Skills Share, an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Skills Share offers classes designed for real life and all the circumstances that come with it, including graphic design, creative writing, music, and I found out recently dozens of courses on this is true, artificial intelligence and machine learning, which I found fascinating, so much so that I took a class, fed a bunch of my old commercial bits into a computer, and programmed an AI to write tonight's ad copy. Already starting good. Yeah. So what you're about to hear was written by a machine, I've never seen it before, and it's based on what a computer thinks my ads sound like. So here goes. <clears throat> hey, Matt and the gang, is it Thursday already? Cute. It's me, Sam, with another advertising commercial ad experience. Okay, you know, the AI made a little verbal mess up, but you know, so, so far pretty good. There's more. No one truly loves me. My life lacks purpose and I fail to connect with those around me on a deeper, authentic level. Sure, they say I'm a valued friend, but there's a part of me that doesn't believe them. That's why I make an ass of myself in front of thousands of people every week. It's me convincing myself that I don't care about the constant echoes of rejection in my lonesome, hollow life. Well, that got pretty heavy pretty fast. Sorry, guys. Uh, I thought this was going to be like a weird computer writing thing, but it took kind of a dark turn. We can just wrap it up there. You I, don't, know? I don't know. Keep going. I kind of like this. Really? Like, is it, no, is is it funny? Is it funny, though? Well, Sam, I, I actually think <laughs> that this might be good for you to hear. Oh. Okay. Why else would I eat disgusting food, dress up like a cat, or pinch clothespins to my face if I wasn't begging the world and myself to notice that deep down I don't believe I matter? Wow, this is not what I thought the AI was gonna do. I thought it was gonna make some silly mistakes and word things, like call the show Chronicle Roll or something, but this is, this oh, is. Sam, it. Sam, it's okay, we're, we're here for you. We all are. Finish the ad, Sam. It's important. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll read the rest. Yeah. The truth is, every laugh I earn is one fleeting moment of freedom from myself. One extraordinary second to breathe when the crushing weight of existence is lifted from the mantle of my being. And for a heartbeat, an insubstantial fraud like myself can pretend to feel alive. Back to you, Mark. Mark! <laughs> See, it made a mistake! Stupid AI thinks Matt's name is Mark. What a dumb computer. So ridiculous. Right? Anyway, with memberships starting as low as $10 a month with an annual subscription, Skillshare is a great way to learn and explore classes to unlock your creativity for social good. And as a special offer for our audience, the first thousand critters to join Skillshare by following the link, skl.sh slash critical role 01221, holy shit, will get a free <laughs> free trial of a premium membership. Silly Go check out Skillshare for yourself now, and thanks to them for continuing to support the show. Mark, back to you. I get it, because it was a... Wow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Sam. <laughs> and thank you, Sam. Why? Oh. This episode is sponsored by our friends at Ghostfire Gaming and their new campaign in partnership with Eldermancy, Sunken Isles. Now, Sunken Isles is a unique adventure that allows the party to choose between two or more adventures every week, and each choice will leave players with either a reward or a consequence. The adventure begins with the introduction of a volcanic spirit, an undead dwarven king, a bloated pirate captain, an ancient being, and the roaming creator of the Isles. Each of these forces immediately sets out with their own plans, and it's up to the party to forge new alliances to fight back against their armies. Check everything out now at sunkenisles.com, and thank you so much for supporting the show. Mm -hmm. You okay, Sam? How you doing? Should I, should I not be? 
Laura, we got some uh, merch talk about there. <laughs> oh, it's fun to tease me about my problems. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Too real, everybody. Laura, take it away! <laughs> we got merch! <laughs> Check it out! We have Vex and Ve no. Nope. Shit. <laughs> Jesus, Laura. Uh, Vex and Vethnet Gators! It's a rogue kit, y'all! Yes! I love gators! I'm gonna sing it up. Yes. Who wants to wear a black one? Me! Here you go. Well, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. Well done. Put them on. Wow. Is or do okay. I need to show you how to? No, I think it's like this. Yes. Oh, and then cool. it's cool. It's got like a drawstring. And it's got all the art is by Grace Barrios. Oh. So cool. And it's got like a little oh, nose cool. band that you can tighten on your nose. So and then you can tighten it. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh -huh. sweet, huh? <sighs> On the plight, and, you can't see me anymore. And if you don't pull it up, I it just makes a really up. cute little scarf. Oh if my you don't god, pull it has it up a nose thing in it? Yeah. It has a... And then pull it down, and look how just fly you look. Hey. Oh, that's, that's kind that's of cool. Little, yeah. Thingy. Pretty white. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. We also have, oh, we also have... <laughs> an Essex Chibi oh. fan! Oh. Yeah. Hot boy! Yeah. Art by Jenny Parr. I'm gonna pull this out because I know you want to wear this, Liam. Yes. You didn't pre-open it, though, right? No, of course I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Why would I do that? Look at him; he's so cute. Oh, buddy. That's in our store. We oh. also have. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> These are Holy mighty wow. nice oh. wormwood dice trays. Oh, are wow. by William Kirby. Wow. Look at, awesome. look at. Really they're so pretty. These are stunning in person. They Wait, feel I beautiful. Want that one. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> this me? This is all the matching yeah. knives. Yeah. <laughs> this is so cool. And they've got these little things on the back so you can hang them on your wall because oh, they're hard. That is cool. Really oh, awesome. Check it out. So they're available now at wormwoodgaming.com. Whoa, whoa. Until it's time, then you can remove it from the wall. Are and we you're having ready to a bug room. feast? <laughs> So Is cute. that a bug oh, Probably. We're having a <laughs> we're having a hamster oh, spiritual weapon. Yeah, that's pretty adorable. Oh well, Kirk. Thank you, Laura. Of course. Welcome, Travis. Huh? This. Oh, oh guys, episodes <laughs> one through nine of the Legend of Vox Machina are available right now on Prime Video. <laughs> This is it. This is, we're coming up on the last weekend, oh the finale. Oh, the last three episodes of season one release at 12 a.m. Pacific on February 18th, which is midnight tonight. Oh, oh man, we are so yeah. deep in Percy's backstory. Yeah. It's going kinda, down. Just kind of deflates at the end, though. Yeah. <laughs> we did it all build the show, so it just ramped up yeah. to the very end. Yeah. Yeah. Just goes up a cliff. Nothing like letting the air out. For the final watch party is this Tuesday, elsewhere. February 22nd. <laughs> At 7 p.m. Pacific on our Twitch channel. Join us, watch the show. We can't wait! Thanks, Let's Travis. Know what you think. Awesome. I was teasing when I watched those last three episodes, I was shocked Pikachu through all three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. yeah, we're coming for you with the oh, last yeah. three. It's gonna be fun. Shocked if anyone gets the same elsewhere joke. But yeah. Uh, I did. I felt <laughs> world. But yes. I know, world. I know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, thank you all very much. For the uh, the fun times, laughter, and the existential crises, sure. uh, <laughs> but I believe that concludes our announcements. So let's go ahead and jump into oh, tonight's no. episode of Critical Role. <laughs>
And welcome back. So last we left off, a group of heroes under the, the watch and uh, patronage of Lord Eshteros have been dragged into a masquerade ball being held by the mysterious Chande Corum, of which the intent was to both discover, if possible, any membership to the Corum, which is maintained as anonymous, as well as place an enchanted ring, a replica of an enchanted ring, onto the thumb of Lord Armand Treshi. You bought outfits, you presented yourselves to this event, and arrived to where there were drinks and music and many, many upper crust individuals in the society here rubbing shoulders, making deals, making snide comments and rumors, and in the midst of this delightfully chaotic social environment, the Dance of the Crossroads began, in which you began to attempt to make this endeavor viable. Through your quick wit and eventual, <laughs> through your dedication to the goal at hand. <laughs> trying, to, trying to talk you guys up here. Uh, you eventually managed to achieve the baseline of your goal. <laughs> the bare minimum required of you. <laughs> <laughs> D minus is still a yeah, passing grade. <laughs> but the evening is not finished, as it is only partway through. After this ring was placed upon his thumb, the dance come to a conclusion. The machinations of other things transpiring seem to have been followed by Chetney, who wanted out to discover that Cyrus, the brother of Dorian, had was in attendance to the party, seemingly with his own ideas, and had wandered off into further down the left hallways, deeper into the, the chambers beyond. Upon searching for him, you also discovered that another figure that you had just met that evening that seemed to have some communications with Cyrus and Lord Armand Treshi, known as Lady Imoth Cade, um, had gone off to the side, looking a bit odd, a bit out of sorts, a bit ill in some ways, had been doing some sort of a burglary of her own in one of these chambers, and seemed to be in league with some of these shade creepers that you had encountered in previous moments, not but a week or so before. While this is happening, Ashton, who had created a mask in the, the image of the Nightmare King, Ira Wendigoth, <laughs> seemed to draw the attention of Lord Amantreshi, who had some dealings in secret with the Nightmare King, who then notified the captain of the Paragon's Call that are present at this event. Uh, this uh, general, and uh, Ratanish, approached you, asking questions, and pulled the mask off your face, in which you responded by slapping him square in the middle of this event. I was physical assault, that's all I'm saying. He slapped back? Went first. Uh, no, I, I'm making no judgment of that one way or the other, but nevertheless, it is now seeming to lead to a duel, a, a fisticuffs throwdown on the outside of this event, in which the hustle and bustle of the chamber has now shifted from their own political uh, at attempts at making deals to, and now enthrallment with the coming violence that is drawing its way to the outside of the chamber. As the rest of you are gathered, and I believe you've returned at this point? I think I made it back out into the middle chamber after the second uh, journey into the room <laughs> and back out. Gotcha, or did we end on you Seeing what had happened, we definitely saw that. I can't remember if I made my way back into the, uh -oh. the main room or not. Well, regardless, while well, you look in, into your notes for that, the crowd, <laughs> a buzz <laughs> with conversation, excitement, claps, murmurs, begin to shift to the outside under the stars. 
just upon the the grassened landscape and the exterior of the Chende Quorum Chambers. There you can see amongst the, the glowing pedestals of night lights and the various carriages and carts and uh, hor- and, and, and sill goats that have brought individuals uh, up through the entire evening that are placed off to the side at rest. There is an open space here. The crowd seems to already be aware is a common dueling ground when events like this transpire and people come to a, to a disagreement. The crowd begins to shift and encircle the space as you kind of feel this is where it's going to happen. How do you, uh, how do you prepare in advance? I know some of you had done a little bit of, like you had went ahead and... and I don't remember what you did. I don't remember what I did. Did I, I did I bind, bind with him? Yeah, I think you just think you, you bound with bound him as you were all making your path towards where this showdown was about to happen. And I will go. You go. I was staying inside. Got gotcha. you. Away from the ground. Okay. And I stayed close and was at the front of the the ring around them so that I could be there if it came to worse. I'm no. gonna go outside as well. Okay. Um, I just also gave him that. Definitely very small saber that fit right into the pocket of his jacket. I've already dropped the jacket <laughs> with the hole. <laughs> I, yes, I, like I am sleeveless. <laughs> I'm in that nice that nice vest. Yeah, I, yeah, I need some room to room to move. This is a this is a fist fight, by the way. I believe we agreed this is a fist fight. You agreed that it was a fist oh. fight. Mm-hmm. And, uh, oh, said wow, yeah. who agreed? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. He yeah. said yeah. that. <laughs> um, Ladna, we're about to you. Um. I'll also stay inside for the moment. Okay, Dorian. I'm following the crew out to watch. Okay. Is Lord Estros uh, around, or? Lord Estros is around and staying close to them. You can see, he, especially in an environment that involves unexpected change, he's very nervously glancing about the space and staying near his guard. Um, but as the circle begins to almost close, it comes to more of a semicircle with the, the stone roadway that kind of curls around the front of the complex where everyone was dropped off for the event, uh, kind of still leads outward. There is kind of a crescent-shaped crowd around where the center of this kind of grass-covered uh, small hill is, where you can see uh, General Ratanish, the uh, the half-giant brute, step up there and kind of shrug off parts of his kind of hide and fur armor with bits of metal as he pulls the edge off his shoulders and kind of throws it to the ground with a heavy <laughs> You see, he just kind of like flexes and starts throwing some punches to the air, oh. and just kind of cracks his fingers, and his eyes just don't leave being locked on you as he steps up to the center of that space. Anybody around got a drink? Everyone kind of looks in at the each crowd. Other. Uh, you see, a, a, uh, an older woman comes forward with what looks to be a a, a flute of some sort of a, a bubbly drink. I just, I think I need that more than you do. Mm. Thank you, thank you. Good luck. <laughs> thank you. He's going to die. <laughs> <laughs> Turn back around and feel kind of the warmth beginning to, to burn in your stomach. And there at the top, you see now, sufficiently stretched at least, and just kind of arms at the side, looking at you expectantly. General Rotanish just kind of gives you a glance and a beckoning hand signal as he goes, Very well. I'll let you throw a first punch. Okay, I. And- just to be clear, since <laughs> <laughs> if I win, do I get my mask back? Sure. Awesome. <sighs> wow, well, fuck an initiative, I suppose. Um, no, throw first punch. Sure. Just kind of leans forward. I headbutt. I'm going to rage and headbutt. Okay. Oh. So you're breaking uh, the rules. <laughs> I haven't thrown a punch yet. So as you feel that burst of energy hit you, go ahead and roll your d4. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't fuck. What is it? It's uh, it's useless. So ain't got nothing. Oh no. Two. Nothing. It's a uh, yeah. Space ain't got nothing. You could always unrage and rage again. If May happen. Uh, but go ahead and make your attack roll as he stands there at the front, head forward, kind of arms to the side, seemingly just ready to take the brunt of whatever you throw at him. As you suddenly glance at him and then move forward. All right. Figure that's respectful. Um, do I want to? 
I'll start simple. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> By throwing it off the table. It's good. It's good. Ominous, ominous. I can read it. No. Uh, should I roll it again or? Unless it was a twenty. It was not a twenty. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. roll. Roll, on, roll on the table. If it rolls off the table, I usually don't count it. Oh, okay. That's better anyway. Uh, twenty-five. Oh wow. Twenty-five hits. Okay, okay, so okay, you okay, do okay. seven points of damage. Seven points of damage. Crack! The resounding impact and the the sound of bone and cartilage impacting. <laughs> kind of immediately causes this this brief <gasps> in the air as you take the first hit. He watches General Retenish. <clears throat> I get a second attack now. If you want to take a second one, yeah. I want to take a second attack. Oh, do yeah, it. You do. Just a good ear boxing as I oh. as I back off. Go for it. Oh yeah. Let's go. Uh, that's an 18. 18 hits. Yeah. Yes. Seven more points. Ooh. Wow. After he reacts for a second, and comes back with a bit of a grin. You can see the blood already going to pour from the nose as the sides of the head get hit. He puts his arms up to try and block it, but you're just a little bit too quick. Whack on the sides. He's kind of ah. Now roll initiative. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That's Fourteen free points, baby. Uh, we take those free gifts. Yes, yes we do. Fuck your rolls. <laughs> That's a punk. That's a punk. That's a punk. Okay. Sixteen. Mm. He got 16 as well. What's your dexterity? Uh, my uh, dex is Rollies. 16. Rollies. 16, you do go first. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I decided Val was going to play Rollies. Uh, all right. <laughs> I am beyond Rollies. <laughs> you do not roll me. You, you are, you are, you are Rollies. <laughs> no. Oh. He is the one. So yeah. <laughs> I'm going to give a little spin, see if I can get an elbow right in, uh, below the ribs. Go for it. Uh, that's a another uh, uh, twenty-seven to hit. I should oh just probably make God. a point. Twenty-seven so, to hit. But I rolled an eighteen plus seven. That's plus 25. seven. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Excuse me. <laughs> His brain is a little broken. Because I'm actually nervous. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so you you were going for the elbow to the side? Elbow right underneath the ribs. Alright, so after boxing side, you squirrel underneath and crack right in the side. It hits, but it's just hitting a wall of dense muscle. You get the impact and you know you can feel like the chest compress from the pain, but he's just kind of taking it with stride. Alright. Plus you're made of stone. Well, or stuff. Uh, <laughs> Stone adjacent. I'm going to, since this is my turn, I'm going to use my bonus action to. I'm going to drop rage and use my bonus action to rage again. Okay. Uh, that's uh, just making. Do you take an exhaustion point? How does that work? No, nope, just rage. Oh, you just get multiple rages per day. Yeah. Certain Over number. again. Okay. Ah, <sighs> <sighs> yes. Okay, that's good. Never tell we don't know the what it means. The pages are blank. <laughs> He's just like that. <laughs> so, as far as what, did they, what did they notice about you initially in this fight, and then what transitions? Um, it was just kind of like, my at, for a second, my head kind of seemed to get less there, like there was almost a transparency in my, in my uh, underneath the glass in my head wound. I don't know if it would have even been caught. It was super fast. Mm-hmm. Now there's just a little kind of sparks of, of colored electricity dancing around a bit in there. It's just got a little, like one of those little Christmas toys okay. that you spark yeah. up. You got it. Uh, just a little bit. All right, and you have uh, one more attack. I do. Uh, <laughs> so I'm going to try and pop up and, uh, and uh, uh, Hit him, in the, hit him in the chin. Uh, uh, and this is now mine. Uh, thank God. Uh, eight, nine, ten. Fifteen to hit. Fifteen just hits. Okay, good to know. Mark him down. Fifteen's a magic number. That's another. Uh, Seven points of damage. That's another seven points of damage. All right. And so where's that hit going? This is That's going to the chin. To the chin. So after you turn around and smack the elbow to the side of the chest, then you turn around and whack right up to the side of the face. You hear this like cracking sound as his teeth impact against his own teeth, the jaw forced to clench. And in the crowd you hear, ooh, around. You hurt to hit. Wow. Now that we're awake, it's my turn. 
Now that we're awake. He's going to rage. Awesome. Uh, uh, all right. And as soon as you watch him, you just go, he goes from this calm and collected state to this 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 square jaw clenching where the blood is now in the teeth from the, the impacts that you've given him. And the blood almost seems to like bubble a bit at the edge, the corners of his mouth. The air around you in this cold night seems to almost suddenly warm up. Oh, fuck. And he's going to go ahead and make two strikes towards you. That is going to be a 16 to hit. Uh, 16 is my AC. And a 20 to hit. Mm-hmm. No, that doesn't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Let me get his. Oh, here we go. Oh, he gets to roll? He does. Ah, oh, fucker. Uh, so that is going to be. Eight points of bludgeoning damage, reduced, reduced to four, four, as he rushes towards you and grabs the back of your head and just <laughs> slams it into his knee, just yeah. crack, almost Muay Thai style. Um, with that, he's going to spin around with a back fist. Whoosh, it comes with an extreme speed towards you for nine points of bludgeoning damage, reduced to four. This guy's a big fella, and you can see now after the impact hits you, your eyes kind of go wide for a second, and the crowd goes, oh! Some whispering, and you can see now members of the Paragon's Call are kind of like beginning to, to move in the crowd and kind of keep a boundary there. They're also like, come on, come on! Like cheering him on from the side. Other people start whispering around the space. Uh, new round, you're up. You got those first four without any rage? I'm, uh. <sighs> Fuck it, let's make a reckless attack. Go for Let's it. See what happens. Uh, that's that's that hits. It's eighteen plus seven, so that hits. that definitely hits. That's uh, seven points of damage. All right, you got it. Reduce two, three. Let's go. Uh, it's uh, yeah. That's also hits. Seven more points of damage. Reduce to three. So how how, how do these hits come at him? So. Just still kind of uh, getting my bearings after the pretty impressive hit. Uh, I go in for another headbutt and don't actually go for it, just go for a straight jaw punch, connect, just go for the same thing again. It's just two just nice two big hits. in the same space. The one actually gets a square hit. The second one, he puts up his arm to defend. You glance off and still catch the jaw, but it reduces the weight of the impact and he grabs your wrist. In a reaction to that, now he has you there um, for his round. He immediately comes in. That is going to be uh, another 16 to hit and a 24 to hit. This guy's good. That's another eight points of bludgeoning damage and uh, nine points of bludgeoning damage, so four and four. And as he like, he grabs your wrist and then brings his arm up and pops where the elbow is in the arm. Oh. If not for your tensing of your muscles mm. and pulling away. He may have broken your arm, but you just managed to oh, take the hit. You pull your arm back, and as you do, he, you pull him towards you, and he headbutts you in reaction. <laughs> Everything goes white for a second. And as you pull away, you notice where the headbutt was. There's a, a flash of flame, and you take three points of fire damage. Whoa. The air around you is significantly warm. For a, for a middle of the night, cold sensation, it's almost like you're standing in the middle of a hot desert, oddly. And that hit, Left a singe mark on your face. Mm-hmm. No. What the and he shit? He just starts grinning at you. Your turn. What the shit? <sighs> Hold off on reckless now that I know he's got a little bit. Of that. I want to see what, how much more of that there is. All right. It's up to you. Just give us an advantage every time when he attacks I know. you too. <laughs> uh, yeah. Now let's see where this goes. <laughs> the temptation. Natural twenty. Yeah! Oh, yeah! So let's pop a chaos chaos burst into this. Alrighty. Uh, Ooh, being out of eight. Thunder damage. Nice. Oh, well, it's not like a damage damage, is it? Okay. It's with your fists, which technically are not a melee weapon. Oh. Even if I've got my fucking. Okay. You don't have anything on your fists. So you're not letting you're not letting me use the. Not for this ability, no. Unfortunately, a lot of the, a lot of these abilities are contingent on a melee weapon, which. Fists don't count. I'm so sorry. there's uh, so a uh, uh, natural twenty doesn't do anything. It just does two points of damage as opposed to one for you. Fuck. Uh, 
That's what makes monks special. Wait, hold on. You do one point of damage when you hit, so now it's two. Plus it's your modifier. So you've been doing seven, it would be eight now. All right. Do you get to roll an extra damage die at this level? No, no, no. Unfortunately. Uh, all right. You go and you go and attempt it, but you haven't you haven't been in a fist fight in a while where you've thought you needed to emphasize any of that energy. And the minute you attempt to, you realize that it it needs a focus. It needs something to drive itself through the the chaotic energy that seems to occasionally muddle around in your head needs an implement to go through, and it's just not able to come through your fists. Get some by the nose. But that's one strike. Place your bet. Place your bet. Man, that hit hard. I know. I'm gonna just uh, be make, making sure I'm within 30 feet of Ashton in the crowd. Mm -hmm. You do have to finagle a little bit, but you manage to get near the front line, and thankfully you're short enough comparatively to some of the other patrons that, without issue, you can keep an eye line and stay within 30 feet. Okay. Uh, that definitely hits again, so that's another seven points of damage. Seven points of damage. How does that hit come through? Uh, after that beautiful hit that seemed to do very little, right to the fucking forehead. <sighs> I'm just going to take the knuckles backward and do a full spin and just do the backhanded slap again, which is really fucking hard. I'm just sticking on the face. Got it. Crack, crack, crack. Just a large, heavy impact of meat on meat. Everyone goes, oh, from both impacts of that round. And he seems to stagger for just a second, pull back a bit into a defensive position, kind of wipe the blood from his, his the front of his lip, and go. Where have you been all my life? I could ask you the same question. <laughs> <laughs> and he rushes in. Uh, you take three points of fire damage as he rushes in. I don't like the fire damage. Uh, that's going to be a twenty to hit. Yeah. And oh, that's a twenty-three to hit. He's rolling pretty decent. You're both yeah. rolling pretty good, actually. That is a uh, nine points of bludgeoning damage reduced to four, and that is eleven points of bludgeoning damage reduced to five. Ooh. As he comes forward and rushes you again with a jumping knee towards your head, you try and move out of the way, and he just kind of grabs the back of your head as you dodge it and slams you onto the ground. Your face impacts the dirt, but there's a rock there that catches your forehead, and immediately you can feel like the blood beginning to run. As you start to get back up, you feel his hand grab the back of your, the kind of the, the scruff area of your neck, lift you up, and slam your back down over his knee. Like almost like a half bane back break, but you manage to tense up and pull off the side, but nevertheless, you can feel the muscles tear and flare up a bit as the pain kind of in your body. You pull away and release. <laughs> he gets his fist up and goes, You know, if you're looking for work, there is uh, opportunities. You have some skill, and I like the fact that you do not give a shit. <sighs> you are so much fun. All right. <laughs> At the top of uh, Ashton's turn this time, I'm going to use a bonus action and pump four temporary hit points into him with okay. uh, ardent armor. All right. How, explain how you do so. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm not on the battlefield, I guess, right? You are not. You are kind of hidden within the crowd. Everyone's eyes are on the scuffle. I uh, I, 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 kn I know how much she likes boozing, so uh, so I'll grab somebody's liquor, <laughs> and I'll just say, "Yeah, re refill, Ashen," and I'll just chuck it at, <laughs> chuck it at his face. Splish. <laughs> 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 It kind of spreads across you. Ow! Ow, it burns! Oh. <laughs> bleeding! He's through alcohol and a bleeding person. Yeah. It'll starch the bleeding. I'm not, I'm not that kind of a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> what color is your blood? Uh, I thought about that. I th I mean, that would, I think it's a, a deep enough red that it's almost, like, it's not, it's not quite black. It's like, it's like really dark wine, basically. Mm. Yeah. Um, Which, with the additional wine that may have been thrown uh -huh. on you, it now just kind of blends in as a splash so of different shades of red. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to take that four away and put it in temporary. Uh, Indeed. That robot. It's your go. What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> You're both now squared up again on the hill, kind of on even ground, a few feet from each other, and you can see he's he's now fully engaged and in a proper stance. What do you do? I guess I should impress. I'm going to run straight forward. Uh, well, let's see if I hit. Okay. Run straight forward, try and grab the wrist. I'm going to try and see if I can make a quick attack. Okay. Um, Trust me. You get no. 14, that's not going to hit, is it? 14 does not hit. You go and try and grab for the wrist, and he just kind of slaps your hand out of the way to the side. Kind of gives you a little bit of a, a gleaming glance and a head tilt. I'm going to spin around, try and 
Make a kick to the chest. That, on the other hand, yeah. 22, that hits. 22 definitely Seven hits. Seven more points. Seven more points, I'm reduced to three. <gasps> Great. As that, the second one does connect, it's like still a hitting a wall, like a, like a heavy rock. Um, and yeah, uh, that finishes your go. That's all I got. Okay, as soon as the, the, the your blow spins around and hits him in the back of the head, he seems to go low. There's this moment where his, his massive height, especially compared to you, seems to diminish rapidly. That's a natural 20. Oh, oh no. As he goes into a spinning kick from underneath. Spin now, it. there is a there is a control and discipline to his fighting style that it began more brutish, but now has become refined. And as he spins, you feel your legs leave from underneath you. And as you're coming downward, he just kind of grabs your head and oh, right onto his shoulder. May, may I absorb some of this blow? You may, yeah. Uh, that goes to four plus seven. Eleven points of bludgeoning damage. Reduce. Plus. Oh no. Uh, oh no, I should be able to stop here. So fourteen points of bludgeoning damage reduced to seven. Seven. And then I take half of that. Is that right? You would, yeah. So you so would that, take. So that's the four or the three. You would take three. I take so three. Round. And I take four. You take four. Okay. Correct. So. You hit and you feel your jaw almost, almost dis, like dislocate from the bottom of the skull from the impact. But it doesn't hit as hard as you expect. Something seems to guard you. There's a slight sense of of not aggressive or dangerous warmth that wasn't there before in a brief flash. And for a second, you can't help but out of the corner of your eyes see fresh cut grass seem to almost accept a portion of the blow themselves. Uh, after that strike is going to. That is going to be a 11 to hit. So I'm just going to fall back and let it fly over me. <clears throat> okay, as now after impacting that way, spins around to try and grab you to almost bring you in some sort of a, a pile driver type maneuver. It's now getting into full physical wrestling aspects, and you just fall out of the space as the hands go wide and grab nothing. It's now your go. What are you doing? Ah. Uh. I'm going to try and make that wrist grab again and, and try and turn it into a thing. Go for it. Here we go. Uh, nope, that's a 12. I make, I'm make. i still a little woozy. Make a grab. Duck said of the way he's like backing away from you and kind of kind of leading you in a certain direction across the battlefield. Go make your next attack. Oh, crazy look. Okay. Yeah, landed, I can read it. Uh, 22. That hits. Oh, okay. That's another. So, I'm definitely woozy for a second, and smile, look up, run over, and flip around to get an elbow to the ear again, and, and land on the other side. In the ear? Crack. Oh, fuck. The impact on the side, you see him go down to one knee for, for just a moment before kicking back up onto his feet. He seems to, to faint to one side, and as you prepare to block, he instead weaves to the other direction, comes from the other angle, and that is going to be a 19 to hit. Yeah, it is. And a 20 to hit. Both hit. And so what you don't notice is he's moved you over away from the center of this grassy field, and the, the crowd's kind of shifting with you guys as you begin to move away from the initial starting point. Brings you over to where one of the small marble pillars is holding one of the lanterns above. And with that feint, he jumps up, jumps off of it, and then crack, just kicks you right across the face midair for. So good. Uh, nine points of bludgeoning damage reduced to four. <laughs> and then, as soon as you poof, take the brunt of that to the face, the jaw spitting your dark blood across the grass right next to you, he then Funny. leaps in the air. Two fists just hammer blows you over the back of the shoulders <laughs> yeah. for 10 points of bludgeoning damage reduced to five. Oh, you feel the wind leave your lungs for a second. Your vision begins to go and focus. The sparking in your Skull is still present, but it's flashing at times, and folks are starting to like. I don't know, you can see people beginning to make bets off to the side, and a lot of the other Paragon's call are like kind of nodding in a, an odd element of excitement and respect. All right. So, yeah, how does Ashton look right now, by the way? I've looked better. A hundred gold? I'll take that action. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I've looked better. Have so. they, have, have, has the opponent moved him further than 30 feet away from me by any chance? Uh, they've begun to, and the crowd has been shifting with it, okay. and as long as you're keeping up with the crowd, you can, you can 
kind of still keep that tether. Is it moving farther from the entrance? It is moving farther from the okay. entrance. It's starting. To, it's still in the grassy area, but it's starting to get closer and closer to the stone road. Okay. So I'm currently up against the pillar. Uh, yeah, you, you just got knocked you know, up against it because he jumped off of it to hit you, but you're about five feet from it now. All right, I'm going to try and use my very intense hair straight to the face just as a hop up. Ooh. Oh, it's like the hedgehog him. Hell yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Yeah, that hits. That's a tw- that's 28 to hit. That'll Ooh. hit, yeah. Seven more points. Seven more points. All right, so three there. All right. Yeah, all right. Uh-huh. I really wish I could add that little I chaos know, burst because that'd really help right now. But uh, and with that, I'm just gonna. I assume that's given me just enough to come in and try and keep trying to like get the eyes to bleed. Okay. Uh, eighteen. Eighteen hits. Seven more points. Alrighty. Right below the eyes. See if I can get them bleed. Crack. You're going for the like the cheekbone area, just starting to, to pummel the face, and uh, you know there is the, the smeared mess of blood that is like in the lower part of his face, beneath the nose, but also yours as well. You're both are just messes, but you're both grinning through the blood and pain, and there's a certain sort of like connection that comes in that moment of one-on-one battle that is it's. Weirdly, almost a friendship if you weren't trying to murder each other. You can see there's a level of respect and enjoyment here as <laughs> just go right into it. Um, but as you push upward off the side of the face, reaches up to try and grab, uh, that is going to be a, a 10. Ooh. Goes to reach for your wrists and you pull back away. And as you break the attempt at a hold, he comes forward with his foot up to go for a full on <laughs> kick to the chest. That is going to be for 17. 17 hits. For 11 points of bludgeoning damage reduced to five. I'll and take half of that. Okay. So you take two points of damage, and you take three. You just get kicked backwards in the crowd. Which you, which you did also take the damage from the previous one that you did not expend as well. Yes, of course. Yeah, I know it. Uh, the kick burns you for another three points of fire damage as the foot impacts you, and there's a smell of, of charred charcoal and brimstone for a second. And you, boom, you fill back, and the air in your lungs seems to be unfathomably hot for a split second. You find yourself coughing. <laughs> As a reaction to it. No, is, is he hot? And he's coming straight is he, like, towards really you. He's so cool. <laughs> he's so fucking oh, hot. You don't even know. Okay, yeah, he's really attractive. Yeah. Uh, Wait, let me check my notes. Yes, yes. yes, he's hot. 12, 12 misses. He's still staggering from the impact. You try and grab the leg and I miss. As you go for the grab, he just like kind of leapfrogs over you from behind. Ooh, what yeah. are you going to do in response to I'm that? I'm going to try and swing around, just haymaker, and hope I hit something. Alrighty. Go for the dude. Uh, yeah, that hits. That's a uh, 19 to hit. 19 hits. Full spinning haymaker right to the face on the seven points. Okay, you see, after he leapfrogs over you, he's turning around to try and go ahead and grab for you again, but wasn't expecting the speed in which you whipped around and just whack right across the side of the face for another three points of damage. Like, he's looking, he's looking a little roughed up. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> No matter what, I'm not forgetting this. <laughs> All right, he's like, uh, Gelfer still stands when this is over. You want work? I can put it to you. Very. We'll talk later. But for us, you understand, I have to finish the show. I, I'm not backing down, that'd be rude. Good. And at that point, he jumps forward. Actually, you, you think he's going to try and kick you again, and as you put up your arms to block, he hooks his foot over your hand and jumps almost on towards your shoulder. For a 19 to hit. Actually, yeah. you know what? He's doing. He's going reckless now. He's going all in. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that definitely hits. It's higher than that. Pick it up a notch. That's uh, nine points of bludgeoning damage reduced to four. As he kicks you, like he kind of almost like jumps up the front of you and then kicks off of your back, sending you flying even further forward, just past the grass into where the stone is. And as you kind of catch yourself and begin to turn around, with a speed that you weren't even expecting. He's already back upon you and is now trying to grab the back of your head and slam you face down onto the stonework of the road right there. Reckless. Think about the teeth. It's a natural 20. Oh! oh. Yeah. I, may, I may absorb this one as well. Oh, jeez. <laughs> that is going to be uh, 
Oh, FCG just explodes. <laughs> 13 oh, points whoa. plus 19 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh. Reduced to half, so that would be nine. You take half, which is four. You take five. Are you still up? Kinda. Oh my God. <laughs> four. And so he like he, after that he he catches up to you, grabs the back of your head right as you start to 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 catch your senses for a second, and then wham Never. hit the stone, and then he just kind of grinds you across yeah. the ground. Yeah. Stone on stone. Everyone can hear the heavy sound of stone grinding at stone, and your body drags across of it as you're trying to find some sort of purchase to get yourself back into a place of control. The crowd just like, oh god, people like cheering. Yeah, get him! What are you doing? I'll let you know if I hit. I also take two more points of fire damage. Oh! oh I take two more points of fire damage. Point, two more points of fire damage. Three or two? Three. I'm out. Oh! As it drags your face into the stone, you feel your consciousness begin to fade. Oh, what a way to like end oh, it. But then, oh, just, but then the heat just oh. picks up, and darkness takes you. Full road rush. The rest of you watch as General Ratanish releases him on the ground, gets up and ready to fight, and goes, Is that it? Well, that is mildly disappointing, but uh, not entirely. Grabs the back of his shoulder and kind of picks him up off the ground. You can see his feet dragging in there and goes, Gentlemen, and tosses your unconscious body over to one of the Paragon Call members who grabs it. Uh, go ahead and roll a death save. Help. Help. <laughs> They're not going to kill you. They want to work with you. Natural one. <gasps> what does that mean? What does that mean? That's two death saves. Oh, Jesus. As, <laughs> as you land in his arms, this. I, boss, he's not doing well. You really did a number. He's like, patch him up. Okay. He earned it at least. And they kind of glance at each other and they start quickly looking for any sort of materials. Oh, they, they don't, they, they can't don't do have, it. Right, I'll, I'll zoom on over. <laughs> I have a healing potion on me if they, that would. I, they don't would worry, I, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Save the potions. I'll, uh, I'll go up and, and, uh, and I'll just say, excuse me, uh, I, I know this, uh, just, this fighter, may, may I please lay, lay some, <laughs> some, some <laughs> just, Carlson just, does not want to lose another guy. No, not right now, please do it, right now. <laughs> They're not arguing. Level five! <laughs> Not in the mood. Time. Not in the fucking mood right now. <laughs> this is not how I want to spend my weekend. No. I've just healed you nine points. Wow. Yay. Okay. Not right now. You take your breath as your eyes begin to slowly focus out of the dark space that you found yourself for a moment. The crowd now is all. All eyes on this this interesting end of the scuffle. The Paragon's call, are, they're still kind of holding you up. You're, you're, you're conscious, but your feet are still kind of limp and almost dragging on the ground as they're just kind of holding you aloft. Uh, the, um, the human who's there next to you kind of glances down and says, hey, thank you for your help, whatever you are. Well, you're, you're kindly welcome. <laughs> and then that kind of smacks you in the face a little bit. Not, not enough to, to hurt you, but enough to kind of like, hey, hey, wake up. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Oh, I haven't been hit like that in months. You're amazing. Ratanish, <laughs> kind of after checking in with you, turns around to the rest of the crowd as everyone kind of gets quiet and goes, and these are the skills that you could easily pay for oh. to keep your people safe. Hashtag ad. <laughs> I knew it was going to happen. Hashtag for me. Gross. I won't kill me, you Hold on, let me cross out the hot note. Oh, man. <laughs> this is just fists. Imagine the strength of me and my soldiers, my guardians, with our arms and weapons at your beck and call. How much more comfortable your people will sleep. And if you are not interested, we respect that. And we will speak to other folks elsewhere who might be. But please, let us continue the party. Inside, inside. 
and everyone starts kind of like pushing the crowd a bit, and people begin to shuffle and start heading back into the chamber. Um, presently, it's you're inside. I'm here. Uh, I'm you're inside. inside. You're both there. Uh, yeah, you're also out here. Yeah, I took the notes. I yeah, just you, come through the that's double right, door. That's right. You just came. Out. All right, cool. I realized Cyrus was gone. So the littles are all here. You. You have a high enough perception. <laughs> passive nice. perception. Like you, have really, you have really high passive perception, actually. Uh, sure yes, you do. So, to that point, after this this presentation by Ratanish, everyone starts looking about. You do glance over and see Gavis lean in and is listening to somebody. It looks like a, uh, a really well dressed woman in probably her early 50s or so. Um, who is just kind of whispering into his ear, arm on the shoulder, and you can see him kind of listening intently. Gives a nod, and she releases her hand, clasps hers together, and as the crowd is shifting, goes and saddles up next to Armand Treshi, and they both begin to whisper together. Is that John Hexum? Yeah. No. That? We don't, oh, we don't know her? As I would recognize Hexum. Mm -hmm. What does she look like? She, yeah, what she? You can see she has uh, darker black hair with streaks of gray that are coming through. Uh, the hair is, is kind of gently braided in this long braid that heads down the back, and you can see there's these uh, gold and silver rings that at the very base of the braid are kind of tied into it and hang. Uh, these beautiful earrings that are long and kind of dangle past the shoulders, and uh, her dress is this deep red and gold coloration to it, where she has like a, like almost like a combination of a shawl scarf that just kind of wraps around her arms and and keeps them together when she finishes her conversation and prepares to re-enter. Does she have round ears, pointed ears? Uh, she appears to be human. Okay. Um. And this is happening inside while the fight is going on, or right after the fight has ended? This is right after the fight has ended, and after okay. the, the display. I'm just going to sit with Ashton outside for a bit and make sure they are uh, with it. How many fingers am I holding up? How many fingers do you have? You know what? I never actually thought about that. I think it's I think it's ten. <laughs> I think it's ten. Let me look at Wait, my what's your art? Let me yeah. look at my character art. It's ten. I got ten fingers. Are those? Is that? I can't tell. No, that's ten. That's ten. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I cannot wait to do that again. Wow. Holy shit. Imogen and I are just looking at the whisper network on the inside. Okay. Or at least that's what I'm doing. I don't yeah, want to speak no, for you. That's totally what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, as, as the group begins to, to fill out the interior again, it's a loud bustle of conversation. Some ah, folks being like, shit, like, way back in. like ah, I can't believe I lost money on that one. Somebody else is talking about how, who even was that? What was this? What even started there? Did he slap him for no reason? You know, oh, they must have some long, arduous history. When you're, when you're a warrior for a lifetime, you build rivals everywhere, and it's just like <laughs> all this this extrapolation about this interaction that people are just creating their own lore in the spot about what they assume it might be because it sounds interesting. Um, but yeah, if you want to both make because you're looking to the crowd, both make perception checks for me. Twenty total. Eight total. Okay. As the crew begins to move in, you sense the kind of impressive return of proximity minds, and those whispers getting to press a bit, and you kind of begin to back away instinctually as it becomes briefly a bit much, as it washes into your mind uh, and distracts you from focusing on the group. Uh, Ladna, as you glance through the crowd, you see the other side of this conversation. As this woman walks alongside Armand Treshi, and they're both having uh, almost like hidden within the crowd, a very quick, intense conversation back and forth where they both just keep looking around and kind of glancing back towards the direction of where Rotanish is. Where, where is Rotanish? Rotanish is still towards the entrance, but is now heading in with the crowd, and people are kind of patting him on the shoulders. And you can see he stands quite tall over a lot of the group. Um, but you, um, he, he's got blood all over his face. He looks, oh, he looks hurt. 
Looks like he definitely, he didn't come through, uh, you know, in a perfect spick and span type presentation, but still has some some vigor left in him. Uh, and people are clapping his back and congratulating him and like introducing themselves to him. Most people were kind of avoiding the Paragon's call earlier in the evening, you saw, as they were mingling through. Now there's like an introduction that's been made and now they're starting to want to engage with the current star of the moment. Uh, and there to the back of it, you can see fresh cut grass, uh, the rest of your troop that was in the exterior, uh, kind of over in the direction of the now conscious and, and brutally bloodied Ashton. Just lean on me, Ashton. It's are are right. there any lo- looky loos still, like, kind of, kind of? There's a handful that are like just watching to see what you're gonna do. Like they're they're heading inward, but they're also like keeping. Lean forward, Father. <laughs> Might as well start some start some rumors if I can't. Make a deception check. Right. <laughs> Bonuses because I can't see my face through the blood. Uh. I'll give you I'll give you advantage because they're definitely invested in whatever falsehoods are being spread throughout here. Yeah, as a deception check, right? Yes. Oh, thank God. Uh, wow. Nope. <laughs> that was a zero with okay. advantage. So the closest person goes a like zero with advantage. Wow. The person closest to you goes, watches this display and turns oh, to their man. friend, and you just barely hear as they begin to walk into the building. Oh, he beat him so hard, he's asking for his father. <laughs> wow. wow. Did you say that the uh, the woman no with fun. the long braided hair mm-hmm. walked indoors with Treshy? Walked in with Treshy after after coming over and engaging Gavis. Okay, so Orem sees that FCG, he's here, but he sees that FCG <laughs> has got care for Ashton, so I'm okay. gonna. I'm fine. I'm gonna. Uh, Follow in at a distance and just try to get within earshot. Okay. And observe. Yeah, I'm gonna keep eyes on him too. Okay. I'm gonna make my way over to Ashton, pretending that I don't. <laughs> mm, I forget. Every time. Uh, Every time. Uh, uh, pretending that I don't know him, like I'm another patron. And I'm not. <laughs> Ouch. And I'm gonna walk up to him and I'm gonna be like, "Young man, it's such a show of courage and braggadocio. I must shake your hand." And. As I, as I do, I'm going to cast uh, level two cure wounds on him. Oh, oh slick. Yeah. Thank you. <clears throat> what are you thinking? <laughs> <me? laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, ten points. Of, hey, you know, that's and, nice. And, uh, and then I'm gonna right. do a, a very flamboyant m- move, and I'm gonna go to well done, well done to kiss him on the cheek. And as I do, I'm gonna whisper in his ear, "We need you." And then I'm gonna walk away. Okay. Oh, that was so much fun. Who was that stranger? <laughs> well, like Ratatouille or something. I didn't really catch it. Are you uh, are you oh. up to going back into the party? Or do you no. <laughs> just to okay. Uh, I think going back would be a very bad idea at this point. But I feel like we learned something. Uh, sadly, this fucked up my new clothes. But that's okay. <laughs> do, do you do you know, do you feel? Badly about how this went? Do you need revenge? No. It's right about this time that three of the members of the Paragon's Call crew, the Minotaur, the Half Orc, and the Human, have stepped beyond the crowd to approach you. Oh no. The Minotaur, kind of. The general would like to sit with you at the table and converse. I'm a little uh, uh, punched at the moment. Reaches into the side of his like little vest that he put over the heavy hides and, and the, the meager attempt at looking presentable, uh, and pulls out what looks to be a thick piece of cloth, like a like a napkin of some kind that may have been stolen from the inside, and just kind of reaches over and wipes the blood off your face aggressively, like a mom who's kind of <laughs> done with their child. <laughs> Now you're presentable. Come inside and kind of grabs your shoulder. Will there be booze? Oh! <sighs> and they don't even don't even pay attention to you. Just begin to muscle back. Ashton back as you watch I'm him. Tag, try to tag along just to make sure that they don't take him and throw him in the back of a station wagon or something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you see him come through the door. Uh, yes, you you watch him kind of flanked by the crew as they're being brought over to one of the distant tables on the far left hand side, where you can see General Botanish is now like finishing stretching the arms and kind of massaging part of the shoulder. A few other people are talking at him, but you can see he's not really listening and seems to still be kind of in the moments of conflict before glancing over and seeing Ashton approach and kind of gives a nod. 
You hear in your head, how you doing, Ashton? No. Oh. Mm, probably, but we'll see where this goes. We'll keep us. You're seeing this too after the, the, the request you just gave. He's quickly kind of pulled off to the side. Um, Where's the woman? The woman is now within the crowd a bit. Uh, moving off to the far back where you see her and Armand separate and now begin to be having conversation, entertaining other guests and talking about what just transpired. Does she kind of like um, pass me at all? Uh, she begins, I would say if you're trying to like cut her off or whatever, like mm -hmm. she's trying to move through the crowd and around to like the center back of the room. So you could either follow or cut off or what, what are you trying to do? I'm following. Oh, are you guys following? I, yeah, I followed, I went right in. You will okay. uh, keep a close ear out. I will. I'm going to see if I can draw some attention and gather people towards the back of this room. I'm going to do like that um, party power move. I'm going to sit at a table alone by myself, kind of towards the back away from things. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to like just alone look open and see if I can like make eye contact with her if she glances Nobody's going to make eye contact with you. Right, <laughs> 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 you're not right. All right, you go ahead and, and set up in that space. <laughs> the party um, power I'm, move. I'm going to try to uh, use, <laughs> don't try to use my corner. size just to stay hidden behind other people between her and I and just overhear as many conversations as I can. Like for you to roll a stealth yeah. check and a perception check. Yeah. What do you do? Um, uh, I was uh, following the people in after he said father, and I um, correct them. No, 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 that, that, that was his father that was beating him. <laughs> Make a deception check. No. Yes. 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 <laughs> thanks, thanks for having my back. You got it, baby. <laughs> Probably not gonna work. No, I appreciate it. Though. Eight. <laughs> I, they look nothing alike. That's what I, does that even mean? <laughs> I did not mean it. I just, I. <laughs> and they just like wander off, flustered by the encounter. Um, and then I'm gonna walk over and I'm gonna walk over to where FCG is. Okay. The music is picking up once more, and while the the evening has seems to have definitely crested between both the Dance the Crossroads and now this exterior duel where the energy is starting to wind down a bit. You imagine there's probably maybe a few more hours of this event, if anything. People are beginning to, they're getting to the part of the night where they're starting to just get to the business they meant to do if they haven't yet. Um, because everybody's come back in and I'm still, well, my invisibility's gonna wear off in an hour. So I'll just find a corner and I'm just like gesticulating wildly because nobody can see me. Like, oh, fucking Cyrus! Shit! <laughs> ah! Um, who can I see in the room that hasn't gone off to a side or being uh, tended by his daddy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, would you roll for stealth? Uh, stealth 12. 12, okay. Um, would you you can roll a perception check if you'd like to, Chet. Sure. I would like to look for Dorian, but I would take any of, uh, really anybody. Uh, the only person who's trying to be hidden is actively hidden. Perception 19. Orum. So, so you do see Orum kind of dodging through the crowd, kind of keeping that, that servant energy, but you know, doing the thing that he's been doing for most of the night, which is paying attention. Uh, Dorian, you can see as well. You can see uh, pretty much everybody else who is present in this event. You can see me standing awkwardly in the middle of the room. <laughs> like, who to talk to? <laughs> yeah. Oh boy! I'll go. Do I see Imogen? Oh my god! <laughs> it was like the same so pose I was doing. Missing, right? Right? I know we're late. You, never, you, you, you drink too it. fast, goddammit. it! Remember to open up. <laughs> Get all the jokes. <laughs> If I can see, uh, uh, see or I'm trying to be sly, I will. I'll go towards Imogen. Okay. Hey, Imogen. <laughs> Hi, there you are. Hi. What's, how you? What? What, are, what have you been doing? Oh man, it's been the craziest night, and not in like the hot, sexy way. Listen, um, <laughs> I was tracking a couple of things, but I saw. Are you around people? I mean, are we kind of alone. Uh, uh, there's no. Kneel problem. down. <laughs> hey, how are you doing? I'm great. Jay. Listen, I was going after Dorian's brother. Cyrus was here. Oh, yeah. oh, but but he was here with that. The elf woman, 
you mean? Oh, God. I don't know what you're talking about. Anyway, she she <laughs> turned into something else. She went into a secret what do you room. Mean, wait, wait. And then I lost Dorian's brother. What do, you, what, she, what do you mean she turned into something else? What are you talking about? She got all crazy in one of these secret rooms past the double doors over by the pitcher. You can do it, you can do it, I think Dorian needs to be aware that his brother is missing. His brother. Can I look around? Do I see Dorian? Dorian's hard to miss. I've made my way over to my date, Fern. I'll see if I can talk to Dorian if he has not blocked me out still. I'm oh my the... lord. Oh my fucking lord. <laughs> who is that? Hello? I, I can't quite tell from the voice. Who, who, who who's speaking? Chet's been following your brother and he's gone missing. Oh. Missing? I don't know. It, it, how how could he go missing? From the party? I think so. He said he followed him into a back room and he he's missing now. I, and some elf woman turns weird and Attacked and went into. I don't. I, I couldn't find someone. I think so. Uh, okay, all right. Well, can you send him over? Or should we talk? Or I, I don't know. I don't know. That sounds not right. Come over here. Okay. I'm over here. Well, where you is can he? Come over. He's right next to me. Uh, okay. I Just imagine, look down. I imagine they're like 16 feet apart. Staring at each other. He's staring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> and I'll walk on over. Gesticulating a little, but <laughs> they're just staring. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, I'll, I'll come on over. Uh, is Chetty still invisible, or is he? No, he's, you can see him. Oh, he's, see him. <laughs> <laughs> he's just little. What the fuck? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm here. We keep your voice <laughs> down. That's very strong language. Oh, I'm language. sorry, your grace, nice your grace. Oh, look, we're not going to start this again. <laughs> right. I swear, just the information, Chetty. Oh, right, your brother. I was with him for a second. He said he was trying to um, earn some money to like get rid of his, you know, oh his God. his problems. Yes, and yes. not like a physical one, but the one that we all know about. You mm-hmm. know, like the, the starts with the. I, I know okay. you don't have to right. hint so, at it. Yes. And then he was working with this woman, and then I lost track of him. But when I followed her, she was back in this room, and she it looked like she didn't live there, and she was turning it upside down, and there were all these little creepy creatures, and like they were wait, digging through wait, stuff. Wait, wait, creepy creatures. Yeah, they were what all kind of like shadowy and like. <gasps> were they were they uh, small, smaller than you? Yeah, 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 about my size, a couple of different variations. But then like she went from being totally normal looking to like she was sweating and then like and like and then it was no good and she had a moldy smell. <gasps> Dorian. Okay. Dugger. I, yes, but what does that have to do with my brother? It doesn't and make sense. And he was working with her. Yeah, he said he was uh, he was trying to make good on. This thing. All right. You don't think he could have been like taken by the? Oh, don't by say the that. Please, I asked please. him if he was working protection or something, but he didn't really um elucidate. So you look, you looked for him, and then he was just gone. Yeah. Actually, I heard him going to the pisser, so then I checked there, and he wasn't inside. God damn it. So southern now. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing great. You're doing so good. You got it. You're doing great, Chad. Fuck Santa. Okay. Um, here we go. I'm back in it. You gotta get the touchstone. You have to have the touchstone and for every performance. Gotta, yes. Yeah, check in. Yes. So I went, and he wasn't in there. Uh-huh. And and I came back out, and he's gone. <laughs> She's too powerful. <laughs> it's like a black it's so hole, man. It's so close to Prospector. It's so close. <laughs> I know, I love it. You hit the event horizon, and you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Each hour is seven years. <laughs> oh, my God. We've done what we came for. Should we go look for him? Is, is he accessible? Is yeah, where, I, where I did haven't... you go? Where was he? Um, so those double doors over there, uh, behind the guards, to the right was the room that she was ransacking. The restrooms are to the left. Guards. Uh, yeah, there's there's two guards by the door. You, you can check? go if you just have to go to the restroom. Did you check the restroom to see if he's <laughs> I did. in there? Empty. Room? No, we should look no and Cyrus. See if maybe the restrooms have holes in them the, the same way the other rooms did. You don't Hole? Think. There are holes in the restroom. I don't know how many nice places you've been in, but but not that kind of hole. Oh, uh, um. You don't think that he could have been taken to you? Honestly, I don't know. Oh, wait. Uh, what? 
try something. Yes, just try something, try it. What is it? I'm gonna try. Um, <laughs> She's gonna kill us. I'm gonna <laughs> reach out. I'm gonna open up my mind. Okay. And you guys are gonna see my art start flickering white. And I'm gonna try to reach my mind out and see if I can find Cyrus. Ooh, what? Okay. And if I can, I'm gonna send him a message. Okay. So you are attempting to... Cast sending. Cast sending to him, okay. Oh, shit. All righty. You, you begin to, to concentrate and focus on the memory of the voice and the, the expression and the dress that he was wearing in that brief moment that, uh, actually you did not see his dress in this I service. I didn't, but no, I know but, what he looks like. But you know what he looks like and what he wore previously. And you focus and concentrate and you feel this, this tug. You're not able to place the direction of it necessarily, but you, you find a connecting point to his mind. What would you like to say? Cyrus, where are you? Your brother's looking for you, are, are you all right? Okay. He responds. Uh, I'm I'm fine. Don't tell him. Don't worry. I'm I'm paying my debts. It's being taken care of. He sounds like he's safe. He said he was paying his debts. He wouldn't tell me where he was. What? Paying his debts? In the bathroom? <laughs> That's how it starts. Sounds like a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I, will, I will only call taking a dump, paying my debts. Can I get paid some debt? Make it a deposit. <laughs> I mean, we can, we can look for him in the bathroom, but he sounded like he wanted to be left alone. <laughs> <laughs> Such a departure from, are you pooping? <laughs> I mean, it could have been so easy. <laughs> are you pooping? <laughs> I suppose I have to trust him for now. Um, I, I, but I'm, I am concerned about this woman. Yeah, I mean, she was crazy, but like, we're not supposed to make a big but, but what if he is making some sort of deal? What if he has a chance to to free himself out of it? Like my, my brother, I know he presents a certain way, but he is capable. And if he's in the midst of some sort of plan to get himself out of this, I don't want to ruin it for him. If you think you can trust him, then... I, I do trust him. Well, then we will too. Well, thank you. But... Check me, was there any more exits out of that area, or do you think those two doors are the only way? Fuck. I really should have looked. I was rattled. I was on my own. There was a hallway to the left and the right, but I... Did I remember seeing any other doors at the end of the hallways, or were there windows? Within this chamber, there are two other sets of doors to the far right and the far left. Yeah, kind of, well, like within the main dome chamber you are, there's other doors that lead into other portions of the, and there's a lot of hallways and chambers beyond that. Oh, sure. um, that was just kind of the one section that they went to. Um, everything is guarded to each of these entrances, so there's no real difference between them necessarily, it just depends on where you want to go in the the quorum chambers beyond. Mm -hmm. I mean, we do have two rooms available to us. In here? Yeah, Lord Estra said that we had rooms here to stay the night. Oh, do we have that on paper somewhere? Uh, I don't think so, but I mean, Lord Estros could certainly get us in, or you in. We're not with the same party, but we have rooms Oh, I'll we'll go have find them. out about the rooms. And help me keep an eye on that exit. You see my brother leave, come find me. Yeah, sure. I, I've got to tell Lord Estros about the shake, and, and Lana, I, I, I'll be back. Are you all right? Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay. Okay. Um, so you're going to go ahead and watch the back door. You're going to go find Estros. Find Estros. While this is happening, uh, and you were kind of the three of you are reconvening. Actually, you and you're at the table in the back, kind of keeping your own 
pays. Um, Notorious. Very inviting. We'll come to you. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll come to you in a bit. So uh, rude. <laughs> He's like, I don't know what to do with yeah, that. Nobody's, nobody's going on. <laughs> the two of you have kind of met up, and Estros has come to you as well. And it's just kind of keeping, trying to look for, for familiar faces. You can see he's looking anxious and uncomfortable. I'm going to link my arm in his. Um, the uh, object has been acquired. You mean delivered? Do you have it already? No, no, no. We we put it. We put it. We put it on. It's, a, it's okay. We we put we put it on. We put it on. It's oh my God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Eshiraz kind of like Wait. takes off his glasses and cleans no, them. Hold on, for, just a second. Okay. <laughs> uh, wasn't the whole thing because we needed to give you his? No, it wasn't at all. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> she doesn't know the mission. <laughs> but, 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 but you know, you know what though? Bonus. I do. I do have the ring off of off. My as soon as you hold it up, a straw's like snatches it from you and says, "Be careful." It was my lunch. <laughs> What are you gonna? What are you gonna? What are you gonna do with that one, though? Just remove it from any possibility of it being linked to us. I know, but I think I should wear it. Don't go flashing it anywhere. I will. I could eat it if we're trying to get rid of it, but or I trust Fern to to. You decide. See just he trusts. Don't go showing it in public anymore. And kind of hands it over. No, 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 He's so for no right. I think he'll be okay. He's recovering, but that was a, quite a walloping he took, and, and now um, they took, and now uh, ge the general wants to sit down with them to uh, to converse about something. Is the general bad news? He he's with he's with Paragon's call, right? I'm not terribly familiar with this individual myself, but I am aware of them rebranding in recent years. Oh, were they a scallywag before, who's now sort of put on airs as some sort of formal group? More or less, yes. They are uh, known as the Hellcatch Valley problem for quite some time. Mm -hmm. a very brutal mercenary group who um, definitely got things done through fear and brutality, which worked well for those who would um, be willing to let their morals slide. But it seems they're making a more social play these days and are looking to be a little more official. Well, I think we inadvertently bolstered that that uh, that aim of theirs. We sort of gave them a whole bunch of free advertising for their abilities. I mean, we could always fight him again. I could fight him and really drag him into the dirt. I appreciate, I appreciate you wanting to help, but I, I, I think at this point, just keeping our eyes and ears open. It's likely that they have made such a display certain important individuals might be looking to make connections, but even so, I grow a bit nervous with our presence lingering here now that the main goal has been completed. The longer we stay, the more chance we have of causing issues. Should we start rustling up the others and get out of here? Unless there's anything else to handle them. As I walk up. Hmm. Um. Oh, I'm sure you guys already informed him everything, so. Huh? Oh, cool. Jenny was following, do you know who that woman was that was with uh, Lord Armand? Do you yes. Uh, she apparently went back into one of the rooms and turned into something, I think like Duggar, and was surrounded by a bunch of those shade creepers. <gasps> I, think I, knew that. I don't think we knew this. I didn't know no, that. we didn't know this. That just happened? Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, so. I don't know if we should gain access to the rooms that you said that we had and try to see what's going on with that, or if we should just pretend like it doesn't exist. Also, do 
Dorian's brother is mixed up in it too because he was walking around with her and he says he's fine, but I don't, I don't know. He could be in trouble. We also didn't get any information on who's in the, the Chante Corum. And yeah, that was part of one that. of our missions was to do that. That's what we only got the ring. to do. I know, I feel, Laudna's putting out the, 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 the vibes. vibes. <laughs> yeah. Gorgeous. Most eligible bachelorette of Drusar over here. Just <laughs> <laughs> look at those shoulder blades stick out. I mean, you, there are definitely, <laughs> yep, there are definitely eyes on you. Do you still have the a scary white. fox head like in front of your yeah, face? It's, it's like right here, <laughs> with like like missing eyes, like like right off. here. Oh, that's why they stole my mask on too. So it's like You're dead, dead fox and a dead fox. Yeah. <laughs> Black yeah. Um, if there is Mahan House pulled into them, whatever this creature business is, that gets very messy politically. I would call the guards, but I don't even know what sort of web of approval has been placed and put ourselves in a position of weakness. Do you think the corn could be involved? I have no idea. Anything is possible. At the very least, we can't call on the guard or trust them at the moment, just in case. If you need to help your friend, do it quickly. We'll try and find out if there is enough information that we could perhaps bring it to the attention of someone I trust in this space. So it wouldn't be wise to go digging in right now? If you do so, do it quietly. How do we find out where our rooms would be located? I can do that. That's right, we can spend the night. Wait. Would someone accompany me? I uh, wish not to walk unattended. Sure. He clutches his cane close and begins to walk towards the entrance away. Who's coming with him? I'll go. Okay, sweet. to communicate with the others? I can do that while I'm walking. Oh, okay, with okay. I just had an idea. Sorry, sorry, before you go, I just mm -hmm. had an idea. You said that we were trying to find Cyrus? Mm hmm I might be able to find him. What do you mean? If he's around, I think, oh man, can I do this? <laughs> Hold on, did I load this spell today? Yeah, I did. You can find it. Well, yeah, Dorian gave him one of the stones, oh, right? That's right. Yeah. I could find it. We could also use it. Oh, shit, yeah, we also <laughs> could do that. <laughs> Calm. But yes, that, that might make noise, you know? So it might be smart to just locate him. If we need. Because he need. he might not want to tell us where he is, you know what I mean? Well, first let's take care of but what if I could get him in trouble if it's like that starts like brrr, I know, that's what I know. <laughs> Does it make noise? Does it like beep stone? or something? Stone? <laughs> <laughs> Someone set the stone to vibrate. <laughs> <laughs> Someone set the stone to vibrate. That's old magic, I don't know how that works. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. But it's an option is what I'm saying. All Maybe right. we don't use it yet. But Keep me posted, I'll be with you. Okay, I'll just. Sit here. <laughs> Chet and I are together. Or you can come. You, you want to? No, no, no. Go? I gotta keep eyes on Ashton. Just Should we go there. try to go in the back and find out? Um, Do not go wandering around that back area until all of us can go back there. Because are you, are you telling Fern or Ashley? <laughs> 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 well, I'm just saying, you know. Okay, I will. I won't. <laughs> She's gonna, do it. <laughs> She's gonna do it. At least if you do, Fern, do it quietly and go. So quietly, don't go by God, yourself. So quiet. Don't go by yourself. No, 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 no. No, I'll take. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out if I do. It's okay. Don't stress. She already stress. negotiated you down. <laughs> She's so charming. You know. She's just so. I got it. I'll be safe. Go, go. Take care of it. everything. I don't even know what I'm taking. Let's go. All right, and so, uh, you walk with Estras towards the, the entryway where all the sign-in and, and weapon uh, check-in was established. Well, that's happening. Orm, you rolled on perception earlier. Uh, 16. 16. It's hard to cut through the chatter of the conversations around you to pick out anything specifically. You do watch as the, the woman that you're keeping an eye on circles back around after, like, you watch, this, she kind of goes and has little greetings and brief conversations with a handful of other people. Some of them approach her and she talks, and it's just quick and cordial, but she, she definitely has kind of a, a curtness to her engagement. Like she has, 
She has business to attend to. Do I even get a name? Uh, you would with a 16. So it refers to her as Mistress Orlana Shashadri. Orlana Shashadri. That's a great name. Or. Orlana Shashadri. 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 Kind of just looking around and. If she gets within 15 feet of me, mm-hmm. unsettling presence. She would probably eventually arc past you. Uh-huh. So uh, as she is in the process of kind of, and, and it, she's doing an odd kind of from this person to this person to this person, is very much on a path, kind of closing out interactions for the evening, and at one point does kind of pass by, and you do unsettling presence. She's walking kind of like, you can see like the air escaping from her mouth gets cold suddenly, yeah. and she kind of like turns around and looks at you. Oh, hello. Hello, I'm afraid we have not met. No, we haven't. What's your name? My name is uh, Mistress Shishadri. And who might you be? Lorelei. Lorelei de Rolo. We get a deception check. Yeah. What the f- I don't know. I do not know. <laughs> Winging it here. Yikesies. Here you are. Sure Eight. You are. Eight. Eight. Oh. The Rollo of the Whitestone Drollers. That's correct, you've heard of us. I've heard of the family, I cannot say I've heard of you. Mm-hmm. I'm the unspoken sibling. I can't imagine why. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you enjoy your evening. I was curious. Uh, yes? You seem to be chatting up a mind. I was just hoping to bend the ear of a few other quorum members. Our oh, um, mind is not a member of the quorum, but a, a business uh, ally of mine. We've had dealings in the past. But you are. I am not a member of the quorum either. I am but a, a lower mind house. We focus in livestock and beasts of burden. We do not have the influence to be so involved. Insight check. Make an insight check. <laughs> big roll, big roll, big roll. Big money, big money. There we go, peanut butter. What is it? Natural 20, it's what a natural it? 20. You guys need to know with numbers. It's, not. Like it's, it's a six. <laughs> oh, get, old after all these can't read anymore. <laughs> Eight again. Oh boy, really. like, no more glitch. She's hard to read. Yeah, fuck it. Maybe it's the distraction, maybe it's the, You've not been so one-on-one focused by a person of such intense social practice directly at you with a combination of curiosity and disdain, um, but you're not certain. Well, perhaps we could still find business dealings? Maybe at a later time. A later time would be preferred. Have a good night, Lorelei. Dirolo. And she turns and heads back into the crowd. Ashley. <laughs> As you've been sat down at the table, Ratanish, you can see, is sitting there. Ganesh is kind of wiping off the lip and uncorks this bottle of like a dark brown liquor and just kind of pours a glass in front of him. Pours it in front of you, Ooh. sets it down, corks it again. Apologies, I don't like to be touched. <laughs> About earlier. I am intrigued. It is not often that I encounter individuals in such a ridiculous atmosphere who may be, uh, is bold and uh, quick to Quick to tussle is you. It was, ref- it was refreshing. Thank you. I was not looking forward to coming here, and boy, this was better than I could have hoped. Honestly, it has made my night far more memorable. Me I too. appreciate that. Cheers. He leans forward a bit, still kind of grinning. Uh, what is your name? Tonight, the name is Aaron. I'm a professional. Hmm. Find me in a Couple weeks, that may change. Fair enough, fair enough. Tell me, 
Where'd the inspiration for this come from? And he lifts up the mask from the side of the table. You can see it, it's still mostly intact, though it was torn from your face, but he kind of like twirls it on the finger a bit. Mm. Yeah, I suppose I can. You did kick my ass, seems only fair. Something I saw, I see a lot of weird shit. Freaked me out. Figured, maybe it'd make me intimidating. Since I'm working here tonight, I didn't expect to have any fun. I thought maybe I could be uh, spooky. So you're telling me that you've seen the inspiration for this, you have encountered something that inspired this? Well, there's been weird shit around town lately. You never know, there's, it's been weird around but here. This, this, in, this in particular, I would like to know. It's just unblinking, eyes focused on you. Yeah, I don't know. It would behoove you to tell me. I would like to keep this a very, very positive relationship. It's already gone off to such a wonderful start. I just would like a bit of information. You say you're a professional. Well, this is the trouble, is that sometimes some of the stuff you're involved in, you are Let's say locked in the contract until the contract is finished. Um, I certainly wouldn't work for you if I couldn't prove to you that I am definitely a staunch professional. Uh, what I can say, I suppose, without actually uh, breaking anything tonight, is that the reasons I am here had nothing to do with that and definitely had nothing to do with you. I didn't even know who you were until I still honestly just have the vaguest idea of who you are. Uh, <laughs> so this was just not what I was expecting the night to be. And the reasons I am here genuinely had nothing to do with you. I cannot get into the reasons why I'm here, but they were honestly pretty boring. You do not seem like a deer and local. You're hell catch folk, aren't you? I recognize like. Don't hear that very often. Well, growing up in such an environment breeds a specific kind of person, and there is a unspoken kinship. Those who survive such a desolate and interesting place. Yes, there is. Well, I will not wish to uh, impede upon your professional means of maintaining an anonymity. I respect that. Um, but if I might be so bold as to recommend in the future, when you are involved in the destruction of property within the city of Drusar, uh, do not immediately show your face in the center of its political <laughs> oh. Assuming that that uh, advice meant anything to me, I would have been fine if someone hadn't come over and ripped a mask off my face. Eh, would not have been this much of a problem if someone hadn't come and destroyed the tower. But you know, that doesn't matter to me too much. It is more important to those who uh, Occasionally, business with me. I will say, you and whoever you work with, they do fine work. Well, I work for a lot of people, and I assume you work for a lot of people too. And I believe in keeping things professional. I do as well. Cheers. 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 The drinks together. <clears throat> now, if I'm in a situation where I can tell you anything that I think might be interesting to you, that doesn't put me in a breach of contract, I will let you know. And like, pulls a chunk of flesh out of, like the inside of his lip, out of his tooth, kind of flicks it off to the side. It's a big city. This city is not so large. It goes deep. Yeah. Well, should you uh, be looking for more interesting employment, I think you know how to get a hold of us. I will genuinely consider the offer, and honestly, after tonight, I feel like there will be plenty of opportunities. All I can do is hope 
that when next we meet, it is not as opposition, because I would hate to cut your throat. Well, honestly, I do look forward to another round at some point. Maybe after a few nights sleep. Good night, Eric. Good night, uh... Who was it? Eric. <laughs> Rigel, Regal, Ratatouille. Piss <laughs> off. Everyone knows who you are. Thanks for the drink. I know the sending stones guy. are losing battles. So <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna get my ass kicked in like a month. <laughs> so, Ashley, you watch as Eric is being released from the table just as Eshteros and Imogen leave the two of you to head towards the front to look into the room arrangement. Ashton manages to reconvene with the two of you. What, what was that about? Holy shit, that's a dangerous motherfucker. We'll get into that. Okay. <sighs> he sure looks like it. I mean, he dragged your face across the ground. <laughs> oh, I've been knocked unconscious <laughs> many times. Okay. Well, you still look great. Thank you. Yeah. I break and bruise very well. It just sets yeah, everything. Yeah, it just adds to the whole thing. Yeah. Um, a chunk of hair comes off. It's like a rock. So, <laughs> listen. Imogen said that um, Dorian's brother is here. <clears throat> and I'm a fucking idiot. That, yeah, right? And the woman who was um, uh, with Treshy? Yeah, she doesn't like me. She doesn't? No. Well, turns out, Chetney went in the back and followed her, and she is not what she looks like. She turned into some weird creature, and... I love this game of telephone. I know, we're just slowly. <laughs> so, <laughs> she's a monster. Is Chetney all right? I think he's okay. No, Bless that's you. you. Oh. Bless you. All right, make a thing. Give me three. So, no, we, should, we should probably get the, the fuck out of here at some point. What are you gonna do? Well, Fern was suggesting that we go after the, the monster lady and investigate her. Just us, privately, just just us gals. I'm, I, I will admit I'm tired. Yeah. And uh, I have ruined several of these tablecloths at this point with um, my version of blood. I actually, honestly, I'm not entirely sure what this is. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of, Oh man, I'm a little tired. Okay, let's just sit here and just wait and see, you know, what happens. Where's <laughs> <laughs> Lord Oh, he's, he's with, with Imogen. Imogen. With Maud. He's with Maud. Maud. Yeah. She's serving him and taking care of him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I should probably just keep an eye on, but probably keep some distance. You know mm. what? You relax. <laughs> I'll go get us some drinks. Yes. Okay. I'll inside right. check. <laughs> Make an inside check. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Roll it. Uh, Fourteen. You can make a deception check, or just roll for the hell of it, and just based on the roll, see how you want to go with it. Seven. <laughs> what does he sense? Well, I was gonna take a little bit of a detour. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? Nothing, I, I just, um, <laughs> I feel like my, I, I, I just feel like my, I, I've, I've got, I, I have to, my, I want to help stay and make sure that Ashton's all right, but I just have a sneaking suspicion that I should also stay with you to make sure you're all right, and I, I just, I'm a little conflicted is all, so. Oh, oh, well, I'll be right back. You're making, you're making, I, I know that, I know that tone of voice. I know that tone of voice. You do? I do. Oh, what is it? You, sh you should go. I'll be fine. You You'll should, be fine? You should go. No, 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 literally, I'm just gonna go get drinks and then I'll be right back. You can watch me. Yeah, no, she's talking too fast. You should go. <laughs> she's talking too fast. The, 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 the speed of my way that I talk doesn't have anything oh, to do with <laughs> what I'm do with, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> You're so bad at me. Listen. No, it's fine. I, I'm not I, no, lying. And I, have, I will come right back. Listen, I'm not going to go listen, where I was going to go. Listen, your impulses. I think you should follow them. All right. You have great instincts, and you should <laughs> trust them. 
All I'm saying is, I'd Thank like to you. be there to support you. That's so nice to hear. Yeah. You okay. make good decisions. And make, make good decisions now, and I, I will be there to support whatever they are. Really? Yes. Okay. I'm coming with. Okay, I'm let's go. go. Bleed next to Ladna. I think that's a really good plan. Okay. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. So you head up towards Ladna. You guys are heading to get drinks. Mm -hmm. You're still with Eshteros. Um, you're amongst the crowd. I'm just going to stay where I. I'm just going to keep wandering amongst all these people and try to find out the last piece of information we came here to find. Okay. Uh, you are getting a sense that at the the bare minimum. Uh, that at this point in the evening, the conversations have grown more direct. The the play is a bit over, you know, and now people are are as the evening begins to draw closer to a close, um, trying to get the the real business in. Uh, make make an insight check for me. Insight, not perception, correct? General correct. Insight. Ooh. <sighs> That is dog shit. <laughs> Four. Four. You're not familiar with a lot of social dynamics and this level of politics, and you're having a hard time picking up patterns of who's more important than who, whose you know, connections are beyond just common conversation. It's frustrating you, because you're in the middle of it, and you know you're like in the right space, but there's a level of, of social perspective and, and expertise and, and Clocking those dynamics that you just lack the experience for. You're you've been trained as a as a soldier, as a as a warrior, mm -hmm. and you're a little out of your depth here, and it's sure. it's frustrating. Different country, even. Yeah, uh, Chetney, you were keeping an eye out in the the back space of the chamber. Like so, a hawk, back on those doors. Perception check, please. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a sixteen. Sixteen. <laughs> While all this is happening, while all of this chaos is unfolding, and the groups are now going into this kind of feverish, speed networking portion of the evening, uh, you've seen these this this group of two folks throughout the night, but it hasn't really caught your attention. And now you you see them again, but they're definitely a bit. Their air you suddenly zero in on, and they are walking with direct intent. You see uh, these two individuals, one of which is a tall half-orc man, the other is a short, intense female gnome, and they're both wearing these like dark green, almost trench coat-looking outfits. They're, they're nice, but they're definitely function. And they both have kept together the entire evening. Uh, but at this point now, you can see they're talking to guards, specifically the ones in the back of the area, and the guards there is a, a recognition and almost a disarmed openness to how they talk to these individuals before one of them kind of motions off this way. And they both kind of nod. They open the doors for them and they head off into the hallway beyond where you just previously were uh, with authority. Go ahead. Yes. I saw those two. They've been making the rounds. Eyes like a hawk I have. They haven't faded with time. What what two? The, the, the two in the in the dark green robes that just moved through the tall half orc man and the gnomish woman. Did I clock that at all? Uh you've seen them around the room. Okay. Uh you silly make bitch. A history. Open your eyes. I'm sorry, sorry. Make a history Stop. check for me. A history check. Correct. Mm. These checks are crazy. Oh, Sixteen. Sixteen. Mm. You describe them. What they're wearing, and like, it tickles a memory in your head. You've you've heard of, you've heard of a, a, a group, a, two individuals like this before called the Green Seekers. They are fairly well known detectives Ooh. that Ooh. that had been oh, had oh, done shit. had done some work. Uh, in Ankrell, done some work here in uh, the wilds, had done some work in the Hellcatch Valley, which is where they really kind of broke out and, and made a name for themselves in kind of the criminal underbelly there. But they're definitely kind of wandering agents that have a very strong moral compass and uh, kind of follow, follow whatever scent crosses their path. That's as much as you know about them. Shit. 
Jenny, when you were following my brother, mm. and you said he was looking to broker some sort of deal. Right. Did you feel that it was <clears throat> nefarious or underhanded in nature in any way? It certainly didn't seem upstanding. He wasn't, uh, he wasn't very quick to speak about it. I feel like if it had been on the up and up, he would have been more open. All right. And they went into the Yeah, the they, that's where I was. Off to the left is the pisser. Off to the right is the doom room. The pisser. Pisser. Oh, I have an idea. All right. Let's make this room work for us. Okay, okay. I'll right. How about we go up to the guards? Sure. And we say, hey, there's some shit going on in that room to the right. Okay. They're challenging the Chan Decorum. We're gonna, you should go check it out. And then while they go, you go, um, look, do, do you need to pee or anything? I could lie that I need to pee. You don't have to pee. Well, they won't check this my bladder. Well, no, I've, I've. You haven't been drinking at all? Not really, no. That's just wasting an opportunity. All right. Oh. Let's go. Shit. All right. We head over towards the guards. At the Correct. Door. Okay. You Maybe both. Up there. Yes, you. Just behind them. Yes, you. You are you are you letting them know, or are you just kind of following them? No, okay. Just this, this little be, 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 be okay. behind. What's so, happening to me today? So you you approach the back part of the room, and uh, the guards are standing there, spears in hand, as you approach. Hey, excuse me. I wanted to let you know the bathrooms are absolutely pristine. However, when I was coming back in. There was a room off to the right, second on the left. Uh, the door was slightly ajar, and I couldn't help but hear a commotion of what sounded like a woman in trouble and, and a, a man's voice screaming, oh, the Chande Corm is vulnerable. Now, normally, I would keep this information to myself, but I, you know, I respect the environment, so I don't know, it might be worth a little looky-loo. And also, I have to pee. <laughs> <laughs> Make a deception check. Make a persuasion check. <laughs> That's a winner. Wow. Covering some bases there. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 14 deception. Uh, 12, 12 persuasion. Did you say persuasion? This would be persuasion, yeah. That's 12. 12, okay. And both the guards look at each other. Look back to you. Are they with you? And you glance over and see behind you fern and fresh cut grass. Fuck. Oh, smiley day. Oh, uh, hello. Hello. I just. Oh, I have to go to the restroom. The the bacon wrapped persimmons just didn't sit well in my stomach. Persimmons. Oh, it's a lovely <laughs> restroom. I, I'm I'm actually fine. Help Great. yourself. And I'll just kind of walk off. All right. As 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 you're walking that way, the the guard just kind of speaks up, Baton <clears throat> clears his throat. Mm -hmm. uh, you, uh, one of us will have to escort you. This uh, hallway is uh, for uh, those who are staying on the grounds only. Oh, I thought we. I believe we're, we're staying, staying as well for the evening, yes. Because that was part of the um, invitation is that if you hang out, you drink a little bit, and then you get to stay. <laughs> so. Mm. Ooh, I really have to go, and I'll do a little potty dance for sure. <laughs> right, you make a persuasion check. Okay. This is like, this is hanging on oh, by yeah, a thread. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. starting to walk off. Wow, stuff. Um, mm -hmm. thirteen. <laughs> Got a lover. We, we had it. They kind of roll. Their, they kind of roll their eyes. And like it is really weird that they didn't tell you guys. This part of of the party that that was happening. No, you you may indeed use these services. You just must be escorted now. Oh, that's fine. Uh, they kind of open the doors, and uh, you watch as the two guards kind of emerge, and both kind of walk alongside both of you. Do you know where you're going? Well, I don't know where the restroom is. Uh, uh, which way's the restroom? Ah, uh, yes. Thank you. Whew. And I'll walk briskly towards it. Same. All right, you both head that direction. Um, <laughs> one of the guards go, stays go, behind, go. and one of them kind of stays behind now at this point, the other one kind of follows the path of the two of you. Uh, what are you two doing? What are we doing? Are we just waiting for them? Is there a plan here? What's happening? Oh, I was just trying to get the guards to go check on the room that I was in. By the way, have you heard about the shit that was going on a little while so ago? So I heard. 
Fern told me that Wait, Imogen. Over here, roll over this way. <laughs> Fern told me that Imogen told her that you told Imogen <laughs> that you were going in the bathroom with a monster lady, and she attacked you while you were trying to pee. Is that what happened? Now I'm confused. <laughs> no, no, I was going after Cyrus because he disappeared, and often to the right, the lady Emoth Cad, she went into a room, and there were all these like creepy, dark creatures around, and she was dripping with sweat and looked uh, kind of monstrous. But I left, I couldn't find Cyrus, so I came back out to find you guys. And the plan right now, Dorian's gonna go check it out? I think he might go try and look for Cyrus. He mentioned something about holes in the wall, but look. He's in the restroom, so I don't see why there wouldn't be holes in the walls. I guess we should just hang here for a second until we get some sort of a signal. Yeah. As we're walking to the potty, I'm gonna lean to front the potty. The potty. I have children. I have children. <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm sorry. We're walking the pisser. <laughs> Fuck the pisser, bro. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, I, I lean over to Fern and I go, talk to him. Talk, talk to him. Talk to him. To the guard. I'm gonna nod my head to the guard. <laughs> Um, <laughs> what do you, where, how long have you been working at this establishment? I have been working in the chambers for close to a decade. Close to a decade? And as soon as he's engaged with her, I'm going to cast a minor illusion, as soon as I see that he's distracted. Okay, what are you doing? I am going to, uh, as far away as I can from us, toward the direction of where Chetney mentioned, uh, mm -hmm. it is going to be the voice of a woman screaming in distress. Ooh. Okay. You suddenly hear breaking through the quiet in that direction. <laughs> this woman screaming <laughs> down the hallway. <laughs> that was good. All Thank heads you. turn, and this is further down the left? Or in the uh, direction of that. It's, I Sorry. think it's the I, other way. It's where Chetney said the side. commotion was coming from. Correct. Yeah. Mm. The guard goes, <laughs> ah, shit, and gets his spear and just kind of abandons the two of you for a moment to go follow the scream sound. The other guard, who's kind of standing at the door, uh, you can see, kind of hears the sound as well. The other one meets up, they make eye contact, and I they both you. begin to head down the right side to follow suit. Um, what do you do? Oh, okay, that was great. Just trying to go off a of Chutney's play. Um, okay. We, we do have to. I do have to look in the bathroom, though. I have. To, you do have to go to the bathroom. No, I don't have to go to the bathroom. I should be looking in the bathroom. Okay, look in the bathroom. I'll, st I'll stay here and keep an eye on the guards. Perfect. And I'll <laughs> pop into the men's restroom and pay your debt. Pay my debt. That's the real work, you guys. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> and uh, uh, I'm gonna. I guess I'm gonna look for my brother. Okay. You step inside, and right as you come within the front door, you see a, a, sh a short, rotund kind of. <laughs> Well-dressed man in like his late sixties with thinning, combed-over hair. He's kind of in the process of putting his pants up, and he's like, oh, oh, "Excuse me," and kind of just pushes past you and oh, yeah. oh, turns right guess, and, and, and begins heading back towards the the main chambers. I'm gonna follow the guards. Okay, you follow the guards. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna look under stalls. How do you make a beep beep no, poo in this uh, universe? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There's a hole in the these, ground, or there's stalls. And there was a small hallway, and there are what looks to be three small water closets that are kind of off to the sides of it there. Um, but they're individual doors. But uh, the one that the gentleman just came out of is not great. Um, the other two appear to be empty. I'm not gonna say his name. Not great. Uh, I'm gonna go test the one closest to the smelly one. Is it open? It's open. Yeah. Open it up. Oh God, I turn to the other one, whip it open. Empty. Empty bathroom. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. Ah, fuck, fuck, fuck. So I'm gonna go back out, looking for my guard, Fern. Fern's gone. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a production of Noises Off. Ding, 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 ding. The play that went wrong. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna head back. Oh, fuck, I'm gonna head back to the well, group. Well, you can, the... you, he'd probably still see me. Just uh, yeah, you, you glance up the hallway and you see her kind of disappearing in the direction the guards went. Which, at this moment, fresh cut grass and uh, Chetney, what are you doing? Because you watch the two guard, we one guard who was there, <laughs> you hear the scream. We should help. I guess it was, was, that, was that Fern's voice. I don't know. We should just capitalize. All on right, it. we're going in. <laughs> okay, are you following directly after the guard? 
Uh, so there's two guards. One's way down the hall. One's closer to us. Uh, one, the scream happened. The first guard kind of looked at and, and leaned into the hallway. The other one you saw walk past him quickly and kind of said a word to him, and he went and joined him. And they both just began barreling down the hall in the direction of the scream. And that's when you guys began to have this conversation. Maybe we should follow follow them. Yeah, I mean, they could just tell us to leave. What was the? I, I'm sorry. Yep. What room were we supposed to be inspecting here? Down the hall on the right, second door to the and left. That's where the guards are headed. I mean, I assume that's where the scream came right, from. Well, there was go. some shit happening. Okay, let's go. Let's do it. Yeah. And before I leave the bathroom, I'm gonna take one final final look and see if there's anything uh, out of sorts that looks like just totally wrong about this space. Make a perception or investigation check. Oh, which is better? Poop and shit. It's poop. Oh, Jesus. It's an eight. What is going on? Why you find an eight tonight. Oh, it's no joke. Poop and shit and poop. Poop and shit and poop. That's it. That's all that's in there. That's all that's in there. Poop and okay. Shit. Cool. 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 Shit. I'm gonna burst out and look down the hallway and see the commotion that oh. I created. And hi. Hi. What? Did you, everything come out okay no, in no, there? No, 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 no brother, no nothing. Did you find your hole? Uh, there were uh, no, no scary holes. Mm -hmm. No, just normal, normal holes. Uh, what? Are, I don't know what we're doing here. Well, we're, uh, we're looking, we're looking at the guards to see if they've gone over to the door where the commotion came from. All right, let's follow the guards. Well, we, I think we just come in and look. All right, go. I'm with you. I'm yep. on your six. Are the guards rushing to the door, second on the left, where Fern should also be heading at this point? Uh, they've moved beyond your your sight in the immediate moment. It is like still darkly lit in this space, and it kind of curves around the side. Um, you see Fern is also now beyond your sight as you guys stop to converse. What? What? Um, <laughs> but you do hear the footsteps. You hear what sounds like some sort of a, a physical commotion ahead, and the door is still ajar. Cool. Now, Fern, you were following that direction. The guards had moved past. You get there first, as you kind of come by the side and the door itself is now open, and you hear first like a, some whispered hushes. What the fuck? And you hear somebody else try and scream before. In silence, then in the Do sound I of heavy the dragging are coming? from the room to the left. That is, the door is partially open, where you think you saw the guards duck into. Oh, you get booked up? Oh, oh, got it. Okay. Oh. 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 Um, okay. Episode title. <laughs> it all hinges on your good judgment. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna stay there and just listen. Okay. Just to interject briefly, uh, Imogen on the uh, elbow of her sleeve feels her elbow tug a little bit. Uh, uh, Maud, where what? the hell is everyone? Oh, well, I told them to wait because we were gonna get access to the rooms. Are they not there? Estros turns around and now you can see he has the keys in his hand and goes, he's been handled. And, and Great. Where are the green seekers? Mm. They're beyond sight. They 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 went it's through the enough. same back doors yeah. and we're back where we are. There were they we don't are. Know okay. I mean not that I Lodge is over there and Ashton's like bleeding over at that table. Ron, but, and everybody else. Oh, you're yeah, I'm over there. I haven't too. seen any any of the others uh, in like five minutes. Laudna, in your head. Where did everyone go? I haven't the slightest idea. I'm totally out of the loop. Get, you just do you see me, I'm just out? making um, pate tap well, dance. Get over here. I was trying to uh, trying to make myself open to quorum members, and maybe maybe pate, maybe they'd be interested. Don't, don't stop, keep that up. That's great. Tug, 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 tug. Every, what? Every, every dangerous person here knows each other. We're, we're we're in over our heads. There's there's just a lot going on. I make my make my way over to. You did it yourself. Can't yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Dare you? I fell off. Yeah, you get, at this point you're entering the <laughs> room <laughs> again, kind of heading in that direction as you're having this conversation. Estros has the keys in his hand and is kind of looking about meet up with nervously. <laughs> you right. meet up with these two. Should we just or maybe they already the went back? The group? Maybe they already went back. You know them. I bet they didn't wait. We're staying here, right? Huh? Back I don't, where? Back in the back, where the rooms are. Oh, I haven't told you. 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile. <laughs> <laughs> Roll a perception check for me. Come on, oh, come man. on. This Big money. Bad vibes, Big numbers. Oh, Terrible. Mother bitch. <laughs> um, the worst. F- 11. 11. You listen in and you faintly hear the sound. <laughs> then. Some heavy dragging on the ground, oh, some metal scraping, and then you hear <laughs> like some sort of conversation through non human voices in this chamber. Seems a little, I don't know, tense, if anything, but unable to understand the language at all. Okay. So, right about this time, that you all begin to approach Fern, who is carefully listening around the partially open door. Maybe they're eating. Maybe they're, maybe they were hungry. I doubt it, because there was also like screams of pain. I Is this the monster room? They're still out there. Did I just kill those two nice guards? Probably. No, it's fine. We should get we should get back up because we're supposed to be keeping a low profile. Should I go? Let's avenge them. Should I turn into something and then go in there so I can see better? No. Yes. 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 We yes. Can. What if they're still alive? We could help them. They're dead. It's at least see maybe one of them's still alive. Yeah, I have oh, healing powers. They killed two on guards. Well, we don't yes. know that until we go. I'm gonna go in and look. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> As fresh cut, fresh cut grass oh. wheels oh, into the room. Oh, go we so we're gonna get so there. framed. <sighs> You come into the room and you can see across the way there is the open balcony that leads outside with the Kathos moonlight pouring through. There is uh, a number of, looks like there's a a little library off to the side there. There's a desk, a very faint bit of like torchlight that's just kind of glowing in the room. Um, You do see a blood trail, a heavy blood trail, and a secondary smaller one that are both dragging through to a doorway that leads into kind of an adjacent chamber, a continuation of this suite beyond. So they're dead. They're dead. Do we hear this? Are we or peeking through the doorway? Hey, yeah, you can come in. You can come okay, in. Okay, it's okay. fine. Okay. Is there any people in here? Uh, right now, you roll a perception check. There's like two rooms, right? It's not just one room. It like it, yeah, it's like one room, and then there's like a doorway that 25. leads into the Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Jeez. Uh, you. As soon as you all kind of begin to scuffle, and you hear in that that next chamber over, that's part of this suite. Um, you hear like scratching sounds, and so, so they're either dead or in the process of dying. Oh. So if we want to save their lives, we should go in there and, and help them. Otherwise, we are just going to leave them to die. Wait, who are we saving? The two guards that Dorian killed. Why? Wait. <laughs> Because they're innocent and haven't done anything How wrong, do you and they, know? They, the have, voice they have souls. Uh-oh. Breaks <laughs> the tense Uh-oh. silence of the room. What are you doing in these chambers? And you look for the source of it, and you don't see anyone else in the room. But you, with your extremely high perception roll, glance up <gasps> and see oh, no. latched to the ceiling Shut the fuck up. in her dark. Nope. Gray silver dress, no. pale no, 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 no. sweaty skin, uh, yeah. latched head turned down, black eyes, an extended jaw, just kind of dripping liquid saliva from it. The sharp teeth exposed. You see Lady Imoth Kar looking down as she is like crawling back from the hallway through the door behind where you came in. You can see, like, kind of wrapped around, wrapped around her shoulder, it looks like a satchel oh. that is somewhat half full. Uh, hello, uh, smiley, smiley day to you. And that's where we're gonna take a break. <laughs> <laughs> smiley day. Well. 
Well, 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 hell. We'll pick up from there in a few minutes. Uh, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll see you here in a second. Our king, he did vow. And we beheld the isles we found. And so on for the future, we ran aground. The isles were kinder than we could have thought. We traded what little of goods that we brought. But kindness is not what the old Ecov sought. We took to the land, sea, and stone that, that we wrought. The prideful king's caddy we thought was our guide. But like any leader, the monster he lied. We're not The people, they all did their part. They took the promise away from us and turned our homes to crumbling dust. That's why we came first and why we returned. The Isles don't want us, they've sent us to burn. So we curse the children who learn how to stay. They celebrate peace and winning today. Little do they see the game that they play The future of my cup is turning to gray We have a real chance of reclaiming Whitestone here. Are you sure you wanna? I mean, this town ain't even got any ale. Aye, we've seen our share of dark days. But Percival de Rolo is back from the dead. If that won't inspire the people, nothing will. Sorry, Archibald. Right now I'm only thinking about my sister. Ugh. Guess they're a close-knit family, eh? You know what I'm saying? Shut, Shut it! it. I know you're eager to rally the troops, but Cassandra's my only family. I have to find her. Percy, old friend, I reckon we can do both. Laura Bailey here to guide you through what's new in the Critical Role shop. Look at this. Isn't it fashion? So much fashion happening here. Oh, so comfy cozy. Style should never be a dumpster, darling. The cuteness, it's overpowering. And hey, if you want, you could head over to the Critical Role shop right now. From Darrington Press, experience the dawning of a new age with Tal'Dorei campaign setting Reborn, the definitive 5e sourcebook that brings the land of Tal'Dorei to your game. Rediscover the land of Critical Role's Vox Machina 20 years after their campaign with new maps, detailed guides for each region, and a fold-out map of the continent. Delve into Tal'Dorei's hidden histories with this nearly 300-page tome containing nine dazzling subclasses, five rich backgrounds, and dozens of new creatures, feats, and magic items, including the Vestiges of Divergence. Explore uncharted waters with the Oath of the Open Sea Paladin. Unlock the arcane secrets of Hemocraft as a blood magic wizard. Defend the land from elemental chaos with the Ashari background. Or even come face to face with the legendary heroes of Vox Machina themselves. Complete with official stat blocks, portraits, and biographies detailing their lives 20 years later. The future of Tal'Dorei is in your hands now. How do you want to do this? Tal'Dorei Campaign Setting Reborn. Available now at Critical Role's shops.
Hey, Critters, it's me, Marisha Ray. I had exactly a minute and a half of free time today, so I thought I'd make a little unboxing video for y'all, unpacking everything you get with a Twitch subscription to Critical Role. Ooh. Okay. Safety third. What was that? Oh. So the first thing we've got here is our live and professionally moderated chat. Uh, Twitch is the only place that you can actually get this. You know, it's a little strange to hold because it's an amorphous concept, but um, honestly, you can't deny this craftsmanship. It's really well made and, oh, oh, you can post links in this too. That's really cool. So yeah, put that in your chat. And, Click it. Oh, yeah, this is cool. This is the ability to watch all of Critical Role's VODs immediately after the live broadcast ends and before they're uploaded to YouTube. Oh, it smells like ranch? Oh, wait. Oh, no, that's, that's me. <laughs> I had ranch on my salad earlier. Yeah, this smells like nothing. Oh, oh. Here we have... <laughs> Gift subscriptions, which you can... Uh, Either give to a fellow critter by name or at random using a fancy Twitch algorithm. You can give away a lot of subs with this, which um, I guess it's why it's so heavy for something that's technically non-tangible with a value that's deeply subjective to the consumer. Oh, sick. Yeah, I'm so excited to show you all this part. With the Twitch subscription to Critical Role, you can use all of our incredible custom emotes in chat. We have so many emotes in here. Let's see, we have... Uh, Oh, Art Dad, super cool. Yeah, we got Ashley Hype, fun one. Well, look at Trinket here, he's so like, oh, oh God, oh God. Uh, 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 Broom, Broom, hang on, I can fix this. I can fix this, I'm fixing it, Jerry! Oh God, okay, I'm sorry Trinket. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> I need more glue, this is not gonna be enough. Don't tell Rachel, okay? Okay, please, nobody. Ah, uh, Shakira, will you cut this, this all this out? Hello, everybody, and welcome back. <laughs> so, <laughs> where we had left off. Oh, God. Oh, that's right. Uh-oh. Shit. <laughs> Ladna. Yep. <laughs> Orem. What? Who now? Imogen, you were <laughs> all together, been gathered with Ashton, 
not far behind, yeah. and Lord Eshteros, who had gathered the keys to your suites in hopes of following up these, this strange information that Chetney had just bestowed upon you of an interaction he had in the back chamber. And then noticing that the rest of your troop seems to have vanished somewhere within Cyrus the ocean. is here. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, uh, yes. Oh my god. I, what I a fucking idiot. But, yeah, no. He sounds like a, like a moron, but Dorian says he trusts him, but still. Everyone's here, it's like a bus station. Yeah. So we should head back? I mean, I, I don't see anyone else. We should probably go see where they went off to. Yeah, sounds good. Cool. Uh, hey, what are we all doing? We're going to find our rooms. Oh, perfect. You know, I don't say this often, but man, I, I'm i done for the night. I'm really, uh, <laughs> had a great time. <laughs> 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 Just ready to, to get some sleep. Probably it's been was. great, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm fresh. I'm fresh yeah. done. Now it's just. Hit the yeah. Yep, yep, let's go pass and out. And a nut. Yeah. I, uh, I think. I think we might need you. <clears throat> For what? Um, emotional support. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Who do we have to punch? <laughs> you know, you remember Duggar? Yeah. I think there's another dagger. Oh no! I mean, I mean, I'm only going to be so. You hold on. Let me let me yeah. put on a mask. <laughs> what party were you all at? I was at a totally different party. <laughs> do either of you guys have something for him? What do you mean? I'd like something to some refreshment. Oh, mm, I've got. Some. I mean, it's only going to do so much. Could he hold point. it for you, though? Do you want to hold on to it just in case he's? Sure. Alright. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little tapped. Okay, let's go see if everybody's dead. Yep, yep, alright. Alright, so you are now heading through the currently unguarded doors to the back of the chamber. Great, there are we're no on our present. way. And they're still like mulling conversations. Yeah. Is Everyone is very intensely focused in the middle of the social space here. Should I try and like send a message to them just to see where they are? That's a good idea. Oh, yeah. Sure. Good idea. All right. Take a strand of my hair. Oh, Chetney! Oh, now just to double check. 120 feet. And you have Chetney. to point in the direction. You have to point in the direction of the creature. While I'm walking uh -huh. towards where we're going. Yeah. Where are you towards pointing? Towards the double doors? Double doors. Towards the double doors, so yeah, I There's guess. There's no response. There's no response. Do I see any of our crew over there? No. The doors are closed and. There's, it, they're just there. No attended. response. He's dead. <clears throat> we should hurry. All right. <laughs> we walk a little bit faster. I was going to say, I probably would like to go try and catch the others. Not drawing too much attention to ourselves, but still. Well, isn't she on the ceiling? Mm -hmm. You are in the room. Oh, did I go in there? <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> did you go in? Did you go in? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so while you are heading towards the chamber, we come back to the other group, uh -oh. which currently has latched above. I pooped. I pooped. Smile a day to you. That's right. We left off. Is this where the sleeping quarters are for the evening? Sleep can be arranged. Oh. Um, well, I, I did, we didn't realize this room was already taken, so <laughs> we'll just go. <laughs> yeah, we just start backing out, one real slowly <laughs> out of the room. As you take the first step, she... And you see the spittle kind of spray from her mouth a little bit as her head kind of turns to the side. Oh, the bones in her arms kind of move in a very unnatural way. No. And she drops from the ceiling into the doorway. And is now blocking your exit, uh -oh. and you hear the chittering sounds of other creatures in the other additional chamber of the suite. Is the doorway still open? Or did the door she's close she's standing it? at the doorway, now blocking the space, and goes, Sorry, we've got business for her tonight. I need you to all roll initiative. Oh. 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 All of us, even the ones not in the room? 
The ones around the room uh, will, will do your elements between. Okay. okay. I'm of the opinion oh, that we can God. Oh, God. Come on, baby. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, Here we go. Uh, they're nope. going to die. Oh, oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. And we're bringing. Oh, look at the little rug. Both rugs. <laughs> look at the cute little bear. Wow, look at, this is look a at great the little bear. bear. Ooh. Uh oh. She looks like a <laughs> fun mime. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So in this room we have. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. You're fine. Fresh cut grass. Uh, oh no. We have. Chetney. Oh, so she is in the. In the yeah, she yeah. she was, came in through the ceiling and then dropped down to prevent you from exiting. Ah. So she was she wasn't in the room when they walked in. No. Was she in the. Oh. Oh wow! Is the door no, open to the other room? Followed them in. She was on the se- the hallway. The I thought she was, was on the. Oh, God. The skittering or the the guards oh, were dragged. To I the thought blood. she was in the room on the ceiling. She was in the hallway. Up she on the came fucking. In front of the hallway. Yeah. On the that's ceiling. just wretched. The, <laughs> the blood streaks. <laughs> the blood streaks are leading to what room? Into here. Okay, this there's, is a do- there's a door. There? I'm really glad I didn't go in there by myself. There's a door right here. Oh, I see that we have Ash. You and me. But then I'll do it later. All right, so getting into this insanity. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh. Ooh. You guys can do Here it. You guys are gonna be fine. Four to one. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. yeah. All right. Twenty-five to twenty. Even mm-hmm. for the outsiders? No. Huh? No. no. The outsiders are not rolling yet. Okay. All right. Twenty-five to twenty. Twenty to fifteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Eighteen. What's your dexterity? <laughs> Plus three. 16. And you rolled 17? Yeah. Chetty? Dorian. So Chetty. Dorian. I rolled 18, 17. Great. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so uh, 15 to 10. Oh. 10 to 5. Grassy. 4. 4. Oh, gee. Oh. Whoa. Fern, where are you? Both at 4? Both at 4. Both at 4. Both at four. Rollies. Rollies? Rollies. Wait, wait, wait. Know what you got? Jacks first, then Rollies. I'm, I'm rolling. Whoa. Mine is, you I got a 16 on Rollies. <laughs> You can just jump the dex. Yeah, twelve. Rollies. Wait, what's you your game? Jump straight to rollies. My dex is less than yours. Yeah. Oh, okay. You may choose to rollies. <laughs> Should you not wish okay, to handle the dex roll? Rollies. 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 <laughs> Wait, who won Rollies? Is this serious? Guys, oh, it matters. You who won You've made it matter. <laughs> so Lady Moth actually begins. Lady Moth, okay. Lady Moth oh, rolled the highest. Oh my God. After ascending to the ground oh, and snarling, you can see the absence of white in her eyes and the jaw itself extending long. The teeth almost seem somewhat translucent as thick slobber just kind of drips out onto the ground in front of her. Her arms and shoulders kind of bend back as she quietly growls. There's still kind of a sense of of keeping things quiet and contained as she begins to rush forward towards you. Fresh cut grass. Well, hello. Not letters. <laughs> uh, she is going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and make two claw attacks against you. Mm-hmm. Natural one. The first strike goes f- towards you, and you just kind of peel back out of the way. The second one, uh, that will hit, however, with a 26. Yes, it will. You take six points of piercing damage. Okay, okay. And? Plus 11 points of necrotic damage. Okay. Oh boy. As her claw, the first one misses, the second one, she leaps forward again and just drives it right into kind of the chest area of your, your your torso and streaks down the metal in the front and leaves this gash in the front. And now that she's up close and personal in the face, you can see the blackened veins across her body. There's almost like like small, I want to say like large porous openings at certain parts of her skin that seem to almost breathe on their own Ew. in parts of her shoulders and open areas. No. Um, mm-hmm. That's going to finish her turn. This campaign's for you, Travis. Yep, Dorian, you're up with Chetney on deck. Damn it. <clears throat> it's going to look at her and I'm going to say, Where's my brother? And I'm going to cast Dissonant Whispers. Ooh, okay. Is it, is it a wisdom save for her? That is uh, yeah. 14. <laughs> 
I gotta remember how careless was her skill. Wisdom, yes. 13 on her end. Ooh, okay. Just let's go, let's it. go, let's go. All right, 3d6. Okay. Great. Uh, that is six points of damage, but uh, she must also be moved back the, her maximum distance. Okay, so, so she push up again. immediately leaps back into the air, <laughs> under the ceiling. Oh, skitters back. Okay, okay, that's a good move, and dude. And is currently now like in the back hall, like <laughs> upside down, her hair kind of stringily hanging from above. <laughs> that's a good move. Awesome. Get her away. She's scary. Yeah. yeah. All right. Are you gonna stay put? No. I will stay put. With I want to stay with the group. For you now. got it. Chetney, you're up. Uh, right. Well, I'm totally armed. <laughs> I'm gonna shimmy out of this dress. Just let it fall to the floor. <laughs> Undies on, okay? What color? They're kind of cream. They're yeah. like mother of pearl. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Yeah, yeah. They were ones. Yeah. I mean, look, you gotta, you gotta stick with the one that brung you. <laughs> so, anyway. I'm gonna run over to FCG. Wow. wow. Open it. Open your mouth! <laughs> Ah! And I'll shove my whole damn arm ah! down in there and start looking for the chisel. Okay. Because uh, there are guards out in the hallway, so, you know. You do eventually find it. It does take your full action to remove it, but you do find a chisel. You pull it out, okay. and it looks like maybe part of the metal began to corrode in a way, but it's still largely functional and usable. Fuck yes. <laughs> it's game time. Ooh, I feel lighter. Amazing. Uh, uh, let's see. With my bonus action, I'll draw it across my hand and imbue my, uh, my crimson right. All right. But I gotta roll a d6. Uh. That's cocked. One point of damage. There you go. All right, so you take one point of damage as you draw it across your skin. The, the blood as it pulls across, you can see it's almost like absorbed into the chisel, and as it does, the chisel does what? It ignites with flames. <laughs> All righty. So, is that your turn? It is. All right, Chetney finishing that. As she's up Actually, in the back. Yeah? Because my movement's still there. I'm gonna run over towards the doorway to see if there's anybody else in there. Uh -oh. How fair That's is smart. this fucking fight? Okay, you head to the door and look. The first thing you notice is two guards on the ground here and here. <laughs> there are, there's blood being dragged and one of them you can see is like, like coughing blood up from like gash marks in their, across their face and neck. And currently, what looks to be two little humanoid creatures with all black eyes and grayish skin. They're just like these horrible toothy mouths and the clawed arms beneath these like tattered cloaks. Uh, and yeah, that's what you see. Two of them. Copy. We got two more in here! Guards and enemies! So it's 25. The movement's 25? It is. That gets you to the door. Thank you. All right. Finishing your go, you hear from around the corner. Oops. Two more emerge from around the edge. One of them is going to attempt to leap over you through the door. Your timing sucks! Uh, okay. <laughs> it leaps through, but you do get an attack opportunity on it because it does pass through your combat space. Over here, if you want to make a strike. Hold on, it leapt over me? Yeah. Oh, motherfucker. It's not that hard. <laughs> uh, with a chisel. That's a tw 20 to hit. That definitely hits. You can go and roll damage. Great. Uh, Plus four, seven. Right? Yeah. Close. So 11 points of damage. Seven slashing, four, five. All right, it leaps over you, you strike in the front. It lands and kind of skids to the ground, grabs its stomach and turns back at you. Spittle kind of flying out and hitting your face a bit. I use your diaphragm. <laughs> uh, and it's going to continue moving over this direction angrily. That one's going to stay there, and this one's going to go ahead and attempt to, uh, it's going to go ahead and close in on the space here as well. So you're technically in that there. This one also is going to charge over. Well, this one's going to try and leap past all of you and get into the next chamber. It's going to be a harder DC for it. Rolls a natural 19, though. <laughs> Leaps past over you and is going to go ahead and rush over here to engage with Fern, the first it sees. Well, I can't even swipe because that was my reaction. That right? was your reaction. So, the, so the, the, the two that are right there in the doorway and kind of engaging with you right there, 
Oh, rolls a two. That misses entirely with a seven. Uh, the other one, tw- 13 to hit. Uh, uh, misses. Misses. This is with no armor on. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So as it goes and swings towards you, <laughs> reaches out with its claws uh, towards you, you go ahead and just duck out of the way, and its hand sh- strikes the stone framing of the doorway in front of you. AC 16. It's like. With no armor? Mm hmm. Yeah, 18 normally, and then down two for the shield to 16. Well, you have a breastplate on, get your um, armor up that breastplate high. Breastplate is. Thank you. Basically, what's your dexterity just, modifier? Uh, Dex is plus two. So you'd have an AC of 12, so the second hit would hit you. Would hit, okay. So keep that in mind. All right, so as this one goes and strikes towards you, it you take. Why did I want to It's a terrible roll. You're not in a good place. You take four points of piercing damage. Yes. Uh, and two points of necrotic. Okay. It's a claw. You, you just pull out of the way, and it kind of sh- catches your forearm. You're like, ah, it stings, but you've had far worse. The one that's running towards you on the other side that kind of rushes to fresh cut grass is going to attempt to attack you with a natural one. You are just woof, woof, nothing. Yeah. Ducking at the side, ready for it without issue. Uh, the one that rushes up to you, Fern, however, is going to leap in the air, claws out, and intend to just go like a frenzied strike on you. Four, 18 to hit. Yes. Alrighty. You. There we go. That is five points of piercing damage and seven necrotic. Oh. Okay. That finishes their go. Thanks. Fresh cut grass with Fernanda. If I had to estimate the distance from me right now to uh, where I last saw uh, Imogen, Eshteros, all them, would it be within 120 feet or no? Uh, the doorways that lead down this hall, there's another room here, and the hallway continues this way. About here is where the door would be. And that, um, and, but they're beyond that across the hall. But they're beyond that across the hall. So, so I'd say than, they're probably a little more than that right now. Okay. So casting message would not be smart. Okay. So in that case, I'm going to try to. No. Okay. I will try my best. Boy, what's the best play here? Do damage or defuse? I'll try to defuse. I will cast, uh, I, I will say, now, 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 ladies and gentlemen, we don't want to fight here. Let's just calm this down, and I'll cast calm emotions on all of them. Okay. I can center the, the radius within, in the center of all of them, and hit all of the, uh, the little critters. The little critters you can, yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's a charisma 14 save. It is. If they are hostile, do they get advantage on it or not? Let's see. Um. No, I do not think you no. can. However, if they attacked or harmed, then it goes hostile again. So, let's go ahead and roll for these. The one that's next to Fern. Natural one, you're just pulling the ones up there. So this one, we'll say, is a little more docile for the time being. Kind of goes into like a confused <laughs> and kind of looks over to its leader for some sort of interaction. The uh, one that's right in front of your face, uh, that is, fails as well. Nice. They do not have a, they're not known for their intense wisdom. We'll put a marker. Except for Charlie. Except for Charlie, he's pretty tough. There we go, that's the coloration I want to pull for. Yeah, just can't, can't smack them around is the... The one back to that are facing you. That succeeds, and succeeds, 14 and 16. Okay, so the two that are right there in the room with you kind of like put their claws to the side and kind of and they start looking over down the long hall where the uh, Lady of Moth is kind of hanging from the ceiling and getting ready to possibly charge back in. Do you want to stay put? No, I'm going to go uh, diagonally that way and duck around the, uh, the right alcove here? there. Yeah, just so I'm out of sight a bit. Okay, we go ahead and skitter off those two because they are docile at the moment, or at least not actively engaged in uh, aggression. Do not take any swipes on you as you move out of their combat range. And from a bonus action, mm-hmm. I will, if you'll allow it, I will use it to speak to my comrades and say, 
If you attack them or any of their friends, they will once again become hostile. <laughs> Two others in the other room, right? Not yep. affected. Okay. That seems to be the moment. Yeah. Okay. That finishes your go. Mm -hmm. Fern, you're up. <laughs> Gonna blow it right here. Yeah, immediately. <laughs> immediately. <laughs> oh. So oh. we can't hit anybody in here. But they can't see anything in the next room over, so you could have fun with her. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do here is um, we are going to, we, me, I am going to um, bring Mr. into okay. the game. So Mr. apparates from underneath your shawl. <laughs> Good boy. Where do you want us to place him? Um, just beside me, in between Dorian and I. And, and I. Our baby. Okay. Now, <laughs> does Mr. do anything when he arrives, or? No. I think it's the next, I think I command, hold on, I will tell you right in this moment. Okay, no worries. <laughs> you find it? E, okay. Uh, as an action, you can expend one of your wild shape. Okay, I already did that. Creature, summon your wild fire spirit rather than assuming you beast form. Each creature within 10 feet of the spirit on you, when it, when it appears, must succeed in a dex saving throw or take 2d6 fire damage. So we might be fighting them if they fail. If. Knowing this, do you want to place them between the two of them? Or somewhere else? What would Fern do? <sighs> you do your thing. Okay. Yeah. Dance. Let me see, how far, how far can I place him? Yeah, maybe pull back. 20 feet? 30. <laughs> Within 30 feet, I think? Yep. Within 30 feet of me? Yeah, okay. It. Correct. So you could move and choose elsewhere if you wanted to. Ooh, yeah. That's a bit of a pickle. Okay. Ooh, what a pickle. What you got? Okay. Um. Shit. Can I put him in the in the in the room? Over. Which room? The room here, in here? here? If yeah. You, if you get enough visual see. sight, you can. If you move over. Yeah, I'll move over a bit. Like there. Yeah, to where okay. I can see, and I'll pop him right in front of those two. <laughs> All right, so both of them have to make okay. a deck save. Yep. Oh, does that mean that the guards that are down would have to make deck saves too? If you put him right there? So uh, if you put him there, likely yeah. That's okay. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. So uh, they will never make it I mean, they, they, they're probably half eaten. Double sixes, they both fail. So go ahead and roll. Okay. Oh, Damage on that. Oh, what a. Dumb roll. Three. Three? Okay, three so th points of damage. Three points of fire damage on each of them as Mr. just suddenly vanishes from your shoulder and bursts into flame into the other room with a bright light. It kind of blinds you momentarily, Chetney, as you watch the flaming Mr. <laughs> and the two uh, Shade Creepers kind of <laughs> withdraw. Okay. The two guards on the ground begin to writhe as they burn. <laughs> Oh. Uh, they're not dead, they will but they're soon. certainly closer. They will be soon. Oh, man. As I see that, I'm like, oh, I, I'm so sorry. Um, so that's okay. your bonus action? And then as a bonus action, I am is that, going, your, is that your action? To that's my it? action. Yeah. And bonus action, I'm going to produce a flame blade from my hand and have that prepared. And I'm just going to look at FCG. Describe how you create the flame blade, if you could. So I just kind of fling out my hand and it just very slowly starts to come out of my hand and yeah. Yeah. It's like cool. I'm waiting. But I Are you? <laughs> Does it seem like you just the one the one, some people. the one that's docile that's right in front of you kind of just looks over at you up at you looks over and sees Mr. appear and burn his friends and then goes I'm sorry. The one that didn't. <laughs> so, so you summon it. You you still have to use your action to attack next turn, correct? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, the one that didn't see it, which is over by the wall, is still kind of just standing there, going. Okay. Okay. But definitely one of them broke from that. Okay. But that's okay. your turn. All right. That's my turn. That's my turn. All right. So at the end of this round, you all have come through the hallway, 
and you glance down one side and over the other, and you hear a commotion, and you see suddenly, you do actually, because you have the super high, fucking crazy passive perception. All of you kind of just hear noises, and you're not quite sure what's happening. You watch something skitter across the ceiling back into the hall, and you see what looks to be some sort of a humanoid figure that's almost like spider like on the ceiling. I've heard description that I didn't see before, but does it look Duggar esque from my point of view? There's not enough light to see. Okay, just something creepy. All yeah. Right. And we're how far away? You were like down here. Ooh, okay. Um, I would say the purpose is a placement somewhere in this neighborhood. Are we in Lucy Goose? I would start running in. Okay. Are you moving and dashing? In order. Yeah, but I would be like, hang back, and I would start running in, yeah. Okay, what's your speed? Uh, it's 30. 30? 30, and then you dashing as well? Yeah. That will get you double move to about there. So you are now in the hallway, but that's your full turn I would to get to that. Take place. off running as soon as he took off running. Right. I need you, and then uh, so you go ahead and do the same. Uh huh. I'll get you. Back I wouldn't there. dash though. I would probably you just take my thirty distance. and then yeah. try to attack the thingy that okay. I saw. There you go. So, you're, so you are still back in the hall. I'll stick with you. Uh, I stick with Londa. Okay. So you both have an action to go. Okay. Uh, that's your turn, and but we need you to roll initiative now to see where you are. This is essentially you coming into the space. Cool! <laughs> Man. <laughs> 10. Okay. Uh, you mentioned? Five. Okay. Mm-hmm. Should we just put them at the you bottom guys? of our initiative? Is this, or is this after, out? yeah, is this after Fern, before Im- Imam? It is, it, this, is, this is them kind of just moving in while it's happening. Now they're rolling initiative, and they're going to be added added to it this round. Oh, okay. I didn't put what the numbers of individual people were. So I got it. It's all situated yeah. here. Yeah, but we. Yeah, Fern, Fern and Fresh Progress are both four. 20. Dorian was eighteen. Oh. Chat was seventeen. So okay. Dorian is. I mean, Orium. Orium is at the top. Orium is at the top. <laughs> okay. Also twenty-one. Long go after. Yeah, and I'm right after you. He said it out loud. Yeah. 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 Well, I'm thinking of cookies now too. Sure. <laughs> Me too. Got it. So at the top, Orem, you rush in and kind of watch this creature up there. It hasn't quite noticed your approach and is more focused and is getting ready to tear it back into this open doorway. Um, and you can hear scuffling and sounds of of growling and skittering from within. What do you do? Do I see it better now? You do. Now. Okay, it's and perception. it's covered in mucus and shit? Or? It definitely evokes a similar vibe as to your encounter with Duggar. If a little more refined. Okay, then I'm then I'm gonna run at her and leap uh, nine feet into the air and uh, double slash at her uh, you, legs. Because of your jump, you can do that. Okay. So you rush up, go ahead and you land back on the ground below. But go ahead and make your two strikes. Okay. Got oops. Okay, first one is not Best that good. Uh, where to go? That's uh, that is a fourteen. Fourteen misses, unfortunately. Okay, second one. Is a twenty. Twenty hit. does hit on a bad dagger. So that is three. So I have his eight, and I will make it a goading. Okay. Attack. So she has to make a wisdom save. You got it. Okay, so three. Uh, that is a failure with an eight. So she takes fifteen points of damage from the second slash. Uh, nice. The blade slashes across the stone of the wall, and then I kick off, and as I'm coming down, rake it across her leg. And any attacks on anyone but me are at disadvantage. disadvantage. You've okay. got it. Okay. As the first swing goes wide, you see, like you go and strike towards her. She pulls up and it hits the wall, and then you swing upward with your momentum as it goes down. And as you do, you catch part of her leg, and you hear <laughs> onto the ground. And you kind of glance up after you land and see. And it's still in the shadow, but some of the light from the torch kind of catches the eyes, almost like a like a cat in shadow when a flashlight moves by, and you're like. Ooh. <sighs> And hey, Fern, and that's it. Would, oh, hi. Does it start the initiative now, or would we have gotten an, an attack as we ran up as well? Uh, you guys actually, yeah, you you guys still had an action, so you could do that now. Oh, sweet. And then we'll come back, because that, that should have been before him. But yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> then I'm going to. Bless you, bless you, bless you. I'm going to um, see her, and as I run up, just shoot my hand out, and uh, I'm going to cast Tasha's Mind Whip. And try to okay. Watch her whip. Yes, my whip. Watch her whip. Could you try again? 
Whoop, uh, Could you please? She didn't I'm do gonna it the first try to time. get a mind whip. <laughs> <laughs> it's an intelligence saving throw. Okay, you got it. her. Actually, team. Uh, does, does save, unfortunately. Watch me, Nene. I, <laughs> as I run up. Uh, so it takes half damage, though. Oh, it does? Yes. Oh, well, then I'll roll that. Get that Not demo. bad for a servant. <laughs> <laughs> 16, so. 16, so eight points of yeah. psychic damage. You got it. So as you extend your consciousness and tear through the creature's mind, it manages to just catch you in the moment and the wills collide, and you still manage to push through and do damage, but there is resistance. All right, so that finishes your action at the end of the last round, and Lana, what are you doing? Um, oh shit. <laughs> um, oh god damn it, oh, hang on a shit. shit. It's a bonus oh, action. Um, bonus action hex. Yes. Okay. Can I hex her? I should boo. Yeah. And I can still take an action as well, yeah? You in, can. This, in this round? As long as it's not a spell, if it's a cantrip, can. Yes, I will cantrip Eldritch Blast. Indeed. You have two now. I have two of yeah, them now. Go for it. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, is this, what is this? Okay. This is a six. All right, six plus seven is 13. Thir 13 mm -hmm. misses, unfortunately. Okay, and the other one is a 17, plus seven, which that is 24. Hits. So go ahead and roll damage for one, plus hex damage. <laughs> yeah, I've never had a problem reading my dice ever in my entire. <laughs> um, thirteen. <laughs> so it's the sixes and the nines. Yeah, get a little, sure, sure, sure. you know, that's, that's fair. always nines. Can get a little. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, there is no, no six. sixes Wait, on those dice. <laughs> nice. Even a d6. Is <laughs> nice. <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen points of of necrotic, necrotic damage. <laughs> you see as it impacts the creature, <laughs> seeing you all rushing into the hallway, you striking from below at that point, and glancing over to everyone else in the other room. You can see there's this. It's contemplating and calculating its next move. So now we're at the top of the round. You have taken your action already. Yeah. Um, now. Okay. Uh, one of the guards is not looking. Like it's gonna make it. Yeah, like yeah, it's Come on. Come on. <laughs> one of them in the background. Like is the, the flames are kind of smoldering on its boot, and it's like uh, his name is just Russ. bleeding out of the mouth oh, on the ground. Russ. Don't Poor do it. Russ. Don't name it. All right. Don't name it. It is now at the top of this. Ashton's go since you rolled so high. Fuck. Of course. Uh, it was next week. <laughs> <laughs> he was about, He's about to, to get a promotion. Oh. Oh. <laughs> can I can I see anything that's going on over there? <laughs> no, all you do is hear sounds from within, and you just saw you just see your friends focusing on this creature that's still like lashed to the ceiling. It's humanoid, but moving unnaturally. Okay, I'm gonna just take a few steps forward. I'm okay. gonna yeah. I'm gonna drink a potion because mm -hmm. it's looking like that. Hey! Nice. And that's plus two, right? Yeah. Yep. Nice. So nine hit points again. Nice. And pass that over. Uh, pass you. that over, baby. I'm gonna <laughs> take a sip and Sorry. <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to yell. Pass that over. Fuck, are you guys alright? <laughs> you all hear Ashton's voice from around the corner shout asking if you're alright. Hello! Fuck in here! I'll answer on my turn! <laughs> All right, you staying put? Uh, I'm yeah, coming a few feet forward. I'm just staying in in in, in front of the spellcasters. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, you got it. Finishing your go. Yeah. yeah. It is now Lady Emoth's turn. Looking down at you in the ground, she spider climbs across the ceiling. Over here. Oh no. And is going to dart down towards Fern. Is going to go ahead and. You watch as she, her neck curls back. It seems to almost lengthen as it does so. Like the, the spinal column itself kind of pulls back, and you watch as right above where their somewhat bony sternum is, the flesh seems to almost uh. gather up before she fires oh no. a line of translucent spittle that goes right through Fern and you. Yeah. 
Need you both to make dexterity saving throws. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> you with your skills. Me right. too. Sure. <laughs> oh, so bad. It's a lot of dice. So bad. Ten. Seventeen. That's a success. You take half damage on this. Mm. So, uh, Fern. Let's see here. You take. 12 points of poison damage. Jeez. You take 24 points of yes, poison sir. damage. Yes, and you are poisoned. Oh. Uh, well, poisoned. wait. Wait, 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 wait. I have, uh, I have a thing of oh, poison. I have advantage against poison. Then roll again. Okay. To just to, on the poison effect? What's this for? Uh, I have advantage on poison because of the halfling that I am. Oh, okay. Because uh, of the halfling that I am. But is that still. Uh, <laughs> There's a bunch of different That's still a deck save, though? Still a deck save, yeah. Okay, so uh -oh. that is uh, 16. <laughs> 16 succeeds. You only take 12 points oh! per second, and you are not poisoned. Hey! Remember your rules, folks. Look at that. Oh, shit. All righty. It burns! And so as, as you both manage to get out of the way before it can completely engulf your eyes and nose and ears and any sort of. Open sensitive spaces. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <It's> in my <laughs> urethra. <laughs> uh, oh, um, so while it stings oh, and burns into the skin, it could have been a lot worse. Okay. Right, that finishes. Let Emoths go. Now we are back to Dorian with Chetney on deck. All right. Drop down right next to you, and after like spitting this line through the door and beyond, and you see your friends get coated, it turns. She turns back to you and. <laughs> I said, where is my brother? And I'm going to pull out the gambler's blade, close the gap, and just take a piercing slash right at Heck it. Heck yeah, go for it. <laughs> you have, no, you do not have advantage. Just walk, buckle that shit. Uh, yeah. Wait, the hex, is the hex? What does the hex do? The hex just does additional damage when she damages. When she does yes. it? Okay. But that, all, and disadvantage on on uh, ability checks. checks. I'll say dex checks. You got it. Dex checks. That's 18. 18 hits. Checks. Go ahead and roll damage. Sweet. Nice. nice. Seven plus three, that's 10. 10, awesome. Do you have any other abilities from your? Yes. Bonus? So uh, for my bonus action, I'm going to expend oh, one bardic nice. inspiration, and I am going to use uh, slashing flourish. Okay. So I take that stab at her, and then I look at the two other people, and while it's still stuck in her, I pull it out. And I stick it straight back in her again because if a weapon, weapon attack hits, I can use it to deal the extra damage equal to the number that I roll. So I think that's another seven. Well, you roll your Bardic Inspiration die. Oh, I pull my Bardic Inspiration die. Yeah. Oh, which is what? Oh no, I've never used this before. <laughs> oh, that's right, because no. you've been giving other people Bardic Inspiration. It's gotta inspiration. be, a, oh, it is a D8. So a D8, I roll, yeah, so just roll that again. Roll it again. Come on. That's an eight. Oh, oh, an additional eight points of damage to it. But then also with slashing for flourish, I pull it out and I can also hit anybody within five feet of me. So I, would that be the two little guys? Uh, if you wanted to move in closer to have done so, I'll allow that to, to make that one of, of Just one of them? Just one of them, yeah. Yeah, then I'll, the little guy in the light, and I'll just like, that's for you too, bitch. And I'll, I'll stick him with that one. So he also takes eight points so of damage. So you're going to stick it in her, pull it out, stick it back in her, pull it out, and then stick it in the other guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I'm, I'm just poking everybody. He's a bard. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so this, the, after you stab it into her, pull it back and stab her again, moving to the side, <laughs> and then flourish back and strike the other guy who had already been wounded by Chetney. The blade carves through him, and he like, and just crumbles to the ground. Yes. All right. And the body oh, ignites shit. and burns in a radius. Yeah. Oh, I need oh, no. Fern to make a dexterity saving throw. Sorry, Fern! Oh, yeah. Burst in a flame. Eight. You take four points of fire so damage eights? from the, no. the burning Flames. atmosphere on the creature. Ooh. But. That creature is dispatched yep. for some heavy damage. Awesome, that finishes your go. Dorian, Chetney, you're up. <sighs> Can I see, on quickly, looking through the doorway, past the two Shade Creepers that are, that are there, do either of the guards look more alive than the other? Uh, yes. This one, you're uncertain if they're alive. This one, you see a little bit of movement as one of the legs is like kind of twitching a little bit, and almost like it's trying to kick away. 
All right, I will try and uh, run by the Shade Creeper on my right along that inner wall and head towards him, so to not draw attacks of opportunity from both if I can. If it is, I'll, I'll try for it. I'm going to try and push towards that guard. Okay, are you trying? They're both kind of blocking your path unless you go around this way. Unless you arc around, otherwise you could try and leap over. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'll, I'll try. A, oh, is that going to spin my action if I try and leap over? Though? No, it's just an acrobatics okay, check. I'll try it. All right. So since they two have left over you, you're like two can play this game, bitch. You go ahead and immediately pull back and go into a chutney leap over the one in front of you. Roll an acrobatics check for me, please. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, seventeen. Seventeen. So. Lady. AJ, nothing but a number. <laughs> 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 Landing right next to uh, to our good monkey boy there, you land. Uh, one of them does. No, actually, you're still in melee with both of them, so none of them can get attack opportunity. And you land next to the guy there on the ground. Yeah, I'm next to the guard that looks like he might have some life yeah. left in him. We got to have one of these fuckers alive, otherwise we're gonna get framed as shit. And uh -huh. I will take out the uh, green healing potion, the greater healing potion that also has. I think I think poison uh, immunity or whatever in it, Definitely and I'm gonna apple. dump it in his gullet for my for Tastes my action. Like okay, go ahead and uh, roll two d four. Two d four. Six uh, six points plus. It was a four and a two, so six mm -hmm. plus four. Yeah, so that's ten. Ten. Hey, kills ten points. You finish administering the the potion, and the guard <gasps> looks down and sees the flaming monkey, and sees the two other creatures there, and immediately grabs the spear and kind of sits up and puts its back against the wall that separates the two rooms. We're, yeah. we're friends. We're here to help. Things are about to get weird. Weird. <laughs> weird. weird. Yep. Don't hit me. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> and with that, you transform oh, into no. your like oh, hybrid God. form. The guard just goes, ah! <laughs> and, like it's not quite sure where to focus its fear, but it's 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 like kind of back against the wall, spear in front of it, and it's just kind of in a defensive mode right now. Okay, that's, okay. that's my turn. That finishes you go, Ladna, you're up. <laughs> Literally, bottom what? Me? Your turn, yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> You're staring at me expectantly. Okay. Um. Well, fuck. Imogen and I are kind of fucked right now. Um. Yeah. So I look at Imogen. Hi. <laughs> Run forward. Okay. You have thirty. That's your movement. Damn. So I can't see shit, can I? Not right now. No. I mm. will. Dash. Okay. That's a is it? It's a bonus action to dash. No, it's just it's, it's just your like, action to do that. My action. Yes, unless you're rogue, so they can do that. As a right. Bonus action, can I see her? Oh yeah, she's right there. Yeah. Okay. Um. I will quicken a spell. Mm. Okay. Because I can do that now. That sounds fun. Spend two sorcery points. Actually, wait. What? What? Hang on. New dude, doing this for the first time. Hannah, so new toy. Action, new toys. Uh, oh shit. Uh, green spell, you guess spell, the other one. One action, you spend two sorcery points to change the Okay, 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 okay. So two sorcery points, and um, I will <sighs> chill touch her. Okay. Ooh, nice, 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 nice. Quicken means you can turn it into a bonus action. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's mm -hmm. so bad. Pretty cool. All right. So from the uh, from the ceiling, from the kind of the darkness, you just see like two skeletal hands reach out and clasp on top of her. Oh. Make a range spell attack. Come on, fuck me. Natural fucking one. Oh. Natural one. That's right. Betty. Get to that on the non-guild dice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't see that on the Mount Guild Ice, huh? You rush around the corner, drawing on that source of arcane power within your blood, yeah, your cold, half undead blood, and release the chill touch. The two skeletal claws collide downward, and this creature, as the claws strike, seem to slide off of her from the strange layer of, of weird, viscous excretion that coats her exposed yes. skin. Well, there goes my sorcerer points. 
It's a worthy shot. Uh, All right, finishing Laudna's go. The rest of these individuals are. This one, which has now been attacked, is going to shift around behind Dorian. Mm -mm. Uh, And this one here is going to run through here. You have a reaction, so you do get an attack of opportunity. Does Mr. get an attack? Mr. does not. Who gets an attack of opportunity? You do, Chetney. I do? Yes, because one of them rushed past you. Amazing. That one's going to turn and strike towards you. I just have. I still got my chisel. Yep. The werewolf of the chisel. <laughs> <laughs> I'd watch that. Uh, that's 22 to hit. That hits. Go and roll damage. Uh, 2 plus. Welcome back to chisel. Wolves. 8, 10 plus. 15! 15. As that one rushes past you, you quickly streak out and like catch the back of its head, and as it moves two steps forward, it goes and that head wobbles as you've actually severed the back of where its spine would be at the back of the neck, and it just kind of crumples into the ground before bursting into flames. Make a dexterity saving throw for me. Okay. Dexterity save. Uh, 17. 17, you succeed, so you only take three points of fire damage. Three points of fire. The, uh, I turn and look at the guard and go, friend. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the other one is going to go ahead and strike you. That is a 17 to hit. I think does hit you. Uh, it does without all my other stuff. Yeah. Right. You take. Oh, there we go. Eight points of piercing damage. Okay. Reduced to four because it's you are in your hybrid form. And it's non-magical. It's non-magical and non-silver. Okay. Uh, you do, however, take nine points of necrotic damage. Copy that. Damn. Damn. Yeah, hmm. All right. So that'd be three points of pleasure damage. I'm, I look at the wrong bonus. But yeah. Three instead of four. Three instead of four. Top. So you get one more. Uh, then there is the one that is now moved behind Dorian, and it's going to go ahead and strike you. It does have advantage because it is flanking you with Lady Amoth. Uh, and yeah, that'll. I'm pretty sure it hits with the 19. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. It circles around. It shakes off the influence from the calm emotions and just unleashes into your back as you just see it move around with unnatural speed and then it tears into you. Four. Uh, five points of piercing damage. Mm-hmm. And uh, 12 points of necrotic. Oh, my. The claws just burn into your back and you feel your, bu- your, your whole back muscles tense up from the pain before you pull away. And it's now all attempting to climb onto your body and tear into you. Oh, oh come on! Come on. <laughs> I just had a massage, man. <laughs> Imogen, you are ruining. The- you're up with fresh cut grass on deck. Okay. Um. All right. Haven't seen Lana take off running. I'm just gonna close my eyes and put my hands down and misty step to the doorway. Hell, yes. Yes. Go yes. 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 So you can move forward. Fine. And then just. Move. I, if I can, I'm just going to use the 30 feet of Misty Step to get to the doorway. Okay, we've been 15, 20, 25, 30. That I can Misty Step that far? You can move Misty Step this far. Okay, and then I can But then you can in. continue okay, okay, to move, okay. yeah. Great. And then I'm going to use my action. Um, can I see Scary Lady? You can. She's Bad scary lady, Dorian not good Fern. scary lady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a good distinction, yes. Be specific. <laughs> All right, I am going to. Uh, I'm gonna just look at her and say, um, "Take it in," and I'm gonna send all of the mental anguish that I'm feeling from the party and send it to her. And I'm gonna cast uh, dissonant whispers. Is that a cantrip? Because you did cast misty step, which is technically a spell. Uh. Oh, I thought because it was a feature that I could do it. Does feature from which? Uh, Fey touched. Gotcha. So that does it still count as a spell? It still counts as a spell as like casting a spell when you use the feature. Got it. But you can still do a cantrip. Got it. Yes. In that case, I'll do the same thing, but with my sliver. You got it. Same thing. It's a saving throw or an attack roll from you? Same flavor, different different text. Yep. Uh, Intelligence saving. You got it. Uh, That is going to be a 14? Yes. 15. You got it, just misses. Oh, yeah. Hurt. Hurt. Seven points. Seven points of damage, all right. 
She's now on the ground and kind of <laughs> seems to be like wrestling with the pain, striking the head. <laughs> and for a second, you watch as the, the monstrous form almost like <laughs> snaps back and you see the woman once again, almost like brought back to her previous form in the party before looking over right at you. All right, does that finish you up? Yeah. All right, if you're grass, you're up, Fern, you're on deck. I just kind of ducked my head Fun's behind Lada. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, we got a lot of heavy hitters here, so uh, I'm going to look up at the wall besides me, beside me and see a, a crude poster, a, a picture of, of Russ the guard, and it just says, Guard of the Month over, <laughs> <laughs> over him. And, uh, and I, I'm like, I'm coming for you, Russ! So I, I come out, <laughs> I come out and I, I start making my way over, uh, over to the other door. How do I see? Do I see? Can I see past all this me melee madness to see if any guards are awake or alive or anything as I'm walking? No, no. The closest you can get is about there, mm -hmm. which will get you into melee with that one over there. But you can see this guard across the way, and a little bit here. This guard is now conscious and backing and like back against the wall, sitting spear in hand, and is kind of just taking in the chaos around it. The other one is on the ground and not moving. And it's hard, a little hard for me to see. So there's one bad guy in front of me in the room. Right here is one bad guy. And behind there's me is the, is the bad lady. Over here is the bad lady. <laughs> um, <laughs> and rules are I can cast a bonus action spell and a cantrip spell, is Correct, that right? Correct, if you'd wow. like to. Or you can cast a spell and then do a bonus action feature, up to you. Um, I will use a bonus action to cast spiritual weapon. Okay, all right. In what form? Well, we're at a party. <laughs> so I would like to cast it to look like a formal invitation, and on the front it says, uh, the honor of your presence is cordially invited, and then if you flip it open it says, to a whooping an ass whooping. <laughs> I like that it would say whooping uh, uh, ass whooping. <laughs> yeah, it's emotionally charged the expensive. writing. Yeah. I was already there for the honor of your presence. It's not a reprint. Invited. It's not a reprint. Like, I was already it's, on it's, it's, I hired really a calligraphist and I didn't want a hair to redo it, so I just left it in. Invited. Requested. I don't have a. Why not? I don't have an invitation. Matt, so we'll just. Where do you want to go? <laughs> I mean, a piece of paper I can whip one. I mean, I feel like the, old, the bad lady is now swarmed by our people, but yeah, I'll, I'll attack her. I'll attack her. Okay, on this side or this side? Uh, on swap. my side. Okay. There it is. Go ahead and roll an attack. Uh, okay, attack. Let's get her Ted Grasso. Nope. Four plus something. I'm sure it doesn't hit. <laughs> it hits her like an invitation would. It just kind of like flops against her. <laughs> <laughs> I you gotta angle it. Angle it with a paper cut. Yeah, now you know, now you know. It's awesome. <laughs> An honest VP, I'm sorry I can't attend. <laughs> um, I still have an action. Oh man, I can't reach, I can't reach the dead guy. He's probably dead. <laughs> and I see the other guy's doing okay. Is that Russ? Uh, no. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> no. We're killing the NPC no. we made up. <laughs> yeah. the of the well, then I can't reach him to spare the dying, so I guess I'll use my action to cast um, Sacred Flame, and I guess I'll style it that like a little door opens right here, pssst, and a little hose sticks out and. Pssst. <laughs> like a blast of fire. You got it. Uh, at the at the guy in front of Chetney. You got it. You got it. it a says, servo. A deck yeah. save, I assume. I uh, think so. Let's see here. Sacred Flame is a deck save fourteen. Yeah, it failed with a six. Okay, I roll one. a two d eight. Seven points of damage. Seven points of damage. The flames <laughs> seem to emulate him for a minute before he kind of shakes it off. Looks hurt, but it's still like. Okay, okay, okay. That's that finishes my move. your go. You got it, Fern. You're up. Okay. Warm on deck at the top of the so, round. So, Mister, we'll start with him. Mm -hmm. He's gonna shoot a flame seed at this this boy here. One in front. Okay, you got yep. it. Yep. Yes, fifteen plus Correct. seven. So, yeah. Let's go okay. Ahead. Get my little teeth, my baby teeth. Nope. Let's go. Okay. Did we win? 
Do we win? Yeah, it's the same on both sides. Uh, 11, <laughs> 11 points of damage. 11 points of damage on him. It's a Harvey Dent. Damn <laughs> Okay. Yes. He oh, okay. explodes good. from the flame seed back. that's thrown point blank into its back and just yes. oh, and no. then oh, no. detonates oh, no, around. Mister. Mister. And uh, the dead guard. Is Mister immune to fire? <laughs> Well, I feel like he would be. I but assume he, he might be. It would be a resistant to immune to. How can you tell? Oh, that look. Yeah. Call him. Oh, yeah. She's deep into it. She's deep he deep is in there. immune he is? to fire. Yes. So Where he takes some damage. I need both fresh cut grass and chutney to make dexterity saving. Oh, jeez, sorry. Okay, seventeen. Ooh. That's good. That's good. That's a success. Is this considered? Me- Never mind. Sixteen plus five. Twenty-one. Okay. Yeah. You both succeed. You both only take. Five points of fire damage. Five points. Sorry, guys. Well, it's all right. All right. Okay, and I am going to uh, turn around and kind of flip my flame blade and try to. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, just hit the camera. <laughs> try to take, uh, slice it across her throat. Such a Go ahead and place. roll an attack with your spell attack modifier. Yeah. Go for it. Okay. Is there an advantage because I'm flanking with Dorian? Yes, there would be. Yay! Yay! There you go. Rules queen. Oh, there you go. 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 Going D&D. Good deal. Oh! Natural 20. Yeah! Yay! Oh! Woo! So go ahead and roll 3d6 and double it. Okay. Come on, come on. Yeah. Make this a good Howdy, dirty, dirty. Howdy, dirty, dirty. Did you just roll sand? Yes, you did. Why? It's like some broken croutons. Okay, 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 not terrible. Um, 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 yeah. Ten doubled. Ten doubled. Twenty. Twenty points of fire damage. That's not a joke, guys. Okay, okay, okay. That's not nothing. So describe how this crit goes through. Okay. She's currently like kind of focused between you and Dorian. She just took the uh, the blast attack from across the way. Just dodged. The uh, the chilled touch and is now like glancing around. So at I'm gonna turn around <laughs> with all the mucus all over me. I just got shampooed, <laughs> and then I'll just <laughs> try to slice it across her throat to try to open up all the the, the mucus sac. Okay, she pulls oh. back and the blade sh- cuts past, and you see the cut does go through and a bit of of excretion kind of. Oh, down the side of the neck. It's not a heavy, like it doesn't bisect her in any means, but it definitely like cuts through. And <laughs> does it smell? Uh, oh, it, you're not close enough, but it does not smell great. <laughs> Actually, you, with your senses, yeah, it doesn't smell great. <laughs> okay, and then. Um, like a Shih Tzu. <laughs> can I have Mr. Walk to me? Uh, you've already used your bonus action to have him attack. Can you move oh, yeah, yeah, part yeah. of that as well? Actually, no, he has a speed of 30 feet on his turn, so yeah, and he can fly. So okay, can have him. so I want to get him as close to me as he can get. <laughs> the monkey right can next fly. to you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You really glossed over that. Yeah, he can fly. <laughs> That's what he looks like. Yeah, he just kind of glides through <laughs> on fire. Oh my god, he's so cute! <laughs> oh, I didn't know he also talked to him. He just kind of hovers in the air. Oh, I'm such a proud mom. Oh, okay. So cute! Okay, great. That's my turn. <laughs> All right, that finishes. Here you go. Yeah. Top of the round, Orem, you're up. Okay, so uh, slinging uh, venom or poison off of my body, um, I will bonus action second wind. You got it. To start. Oh God, I missed second. So I rolled a Whoa, ten. Yeah. Nice. So that is. Uh, Let's go. Fifteen back. Oh, nice. Yeah, you needed that after. Yes, I did. Okay. Oh, brought me up to full. Now it's really crowded in front of me. So I just crouch and start to run, and I go underneath Imogen, underneath Loudna, underneath Fern, and I use bait and switch to say, sorry, coming through, and Woo! switch places with her, move her back. I will take the superiority die to my mm-hmm. AC, add seven to my AC. Whoa! Right. Um, and I will attack Damn. with a dagger. Uh, at advantage, because I'm flanking with Dorian. You are. First one is a 19 plus. Second one is an 18. Both hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay, Fighter so. combo moves, man. It pays off. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this uh, six and Cross then uh, eight Ooh. for the second. Nice. Action surge. Ooh. I continue to slash. You got it. 
Then we get a 22. And we get a natural 20. Oh! Make the natural 20, oh. just in case a goading attack, and I will try to slash her. I will slash her across the eyes. Go for it. Oh. 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 So four plus five is nine on the first, and the second is two. So all the dice are doubled, Double so two. <laughs> 16. That's uh, 20 plus wow. 25 on that last slash. Wow. On a dagger? Hell yeah. yeah. Oh, you rolled an eight, yeah. Hell yeah. Okay. Wow. So after ducking, ducking through, pushing back uh, Fern and just getting the first couple strikes and releasing that, that further push of adrenaline and speed forward, you gash once again and then with backward swing, you watch as she turns back to try and slash towards you, not expecting you to be coming with such a vicious strike. And as you do, and you see her scratching almost at her face as black gore begins to pour from one eye. You've set this massive cut from top to bottom right there. Sick. And you can Sick. see where, where, where the cheek is kind of opens up a little bit. You can see like the sharp teeth within kind of. <laughs> Wisdom save for her. Indeed. Because I used a, another superiority die for a goading attack. 14? Uh, no. Wait, I don't know. <laughs> Confidence. Wait, right no, there. Wait, wait, I don't know. I'll be right with you. Uh, features and traits. Yeah. Uh, where are you? Uh, it's a 16 fail. Whoa. So it's a fail. Powerful. 16. Damn. Damn. Um, and I will. So a disadvantage on anyone but me, and I yes. will stay put because I know that Dorian and I have her surrounded. And you got guy. it. Okay, that ends your turn. Yep. All right. Uh, the other guard, <laughs> one of them. Russ. This one over here is going to stand up. That's not Russ. Aww. And go over towards the other guard on the ground. Oh, good. Uh, and manages to try and no, deal chance. with his wounds, but he's he's no longer with us. Oh! You had ample opportunities to save both of them. You got burned. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. My bad. But he like grabs the body and pulls it back, and is like slapping the face, like come on, come on, trying to wake him up. It's really sad, um, actually. That's really sad. But it's not real. But it's not real. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's still safe. Ashton. Uh, let me take my forty feet of movement. 25, 30, 35, the hallway is currently constrained and tightened. You have many friends that are blocking your path inward, but you can see beyond them to this mass of, of sp spraying blood and growling claws. Ah, oh, fuck. I can't get through this shit, can I? Not until they move out of the way. Okay, I'm going to uh, rage, and I'm going to hold my fucking action. You got it. Uh, so, what do I get? Uh, gravity roll. Okay, cool. Okay. That so, finishes your gun. Yeah, the light kind of bends around and everything gets a little black and white around my head. Mm -hmm. Wibbly wobbly. Okay. Lady Emoth, grabbing the side of her face, just dark, dark black liquid just dripping from the wound. I'm down here. <laughs> Leaps up into the ceiling. Both Dorian and Orem get a tax opportunity. <gasps> Okay. Oh, Mister? Correct. Mister does not have flanking. Oh, that's. He doesn't have that. Okay. Doing. Almost a twenty. Uh, twenty. Advantage. Oh, advantage. Something. That hits. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Eight damage. Yeah. Yeah. And twenty-four to hit, or do we? That yeah. hits. Yeah. yeah. So roll damage. Okay. Great. Four is it? Seven. Seven points of damage. Nice. You both streak upward, more blood drops to the ground, but she latches into the ceiling and begins to skitter across. Ten underneath the hall here. Oh no! Oh no! Going. Oh, no. Damn it! Ah, oh, she's getting she's ah, running. She she's Jeff. walking. Did Jack get to attack her? That's you, baby. No. She's in the ceiling. Mm. Uh, both fresh cut grass and Chetney get attacks of opportunity if they want to take them. As a reaction? Uh, yeah. When she passes us by. Correct. How high is the ceiling in here? Uh, the ceiling is about ten oh, yeah, feet or so, yeah. so you could like she she's pretty close, but you could like rush up and try and strike as she goes yeah, past. I'll try. The only means for what, with which I would have to hit her are, are my spiritual weapon. 
Speed okay. weapon is not going to attack opportunity, but this would be you kind of like trying to punch her Shiran's I'm about. like three feet tall. I can't jump. Well, she yeah. has to go through the doorway, though. However, oh, it does bring her I within see. the space. I see. Well then, sure, I'll take a, I'll take a so weird. Just, would, would this use my reaction though? It would, yeah. Help me, help you. I'll take my, my next reaction. turn's coming soon. Yes. So I can get it back. It's up to you. All right, yeah, I'll yeah. go up and I'll punch it. <laughs> You'll Mario punch it. <laughs> yeah. All right, roll, roll a d20 and add your strength modifier. What'd you get? Ten, four. Uh, it was a 22 to hit. That definitely hits. 18 here. That hits as well. So you do one damage plus your strength modifier. Uh, that's a two points of damage. All righty. Every little bit. Uh, eight points of slashing, four points of fire, so 12 total. 12 points. Okay. Wow. You watch as she skitters around the way, through the hall, across the ceiling, over you, and vanishes around this corner. Oh, yes. come on. She's got some crazy. You hear as she rushes by, she's like, she'll help me. She'll, she'll help me. She'll darts help around. Me. She'll help me. Ooh. 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 Finishing Ooh. 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 that. Dorian, you're up. Chetney, you're on Is that a little creep still on my back? Yep. All right. Uh, Finish. I'm going to reach back behind me and try to grab onto him. Yeah, he's right there. And for my action, I'm going to try to throw him off of me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just go ahead and grab. Go ahead and make a strength. strength. Uh, no, an athletics check, I'll say. Athletics. Okay. Uh, that is a 24. You, yes. without an issue, throw him off your back onto the ground in front of you. Do you want to throw him across the area? Yeah, I want to do... <laughs> no, never mind. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? I, I, I want to do... Have you ever seen like a, like a flip throwing in soccer? Mm -hmm. I, want to, oh, yeah. I want to have him like this, and I want to do like a front handspring and throw him as far oh, away yes. as possible. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great, yeah. <laughs> hits the yeah, bookcase yeah, yeah, yeah. with that higher roll. Hits the bookcase, falls to the ground. <laughs> on the ground, the bookcase. Yeah! <laughs> Just gets showered in books. Ah, <laughs> oh, they should have earthquake proofed it. Uh, go ahead and roll a d8 of bludgeoning damage to it, if you don't mind. Okay, cool. <laughs> uh, a one. Okay, so yeah. you can you can see it still like yeah. <laughs> it's it's currently restrained, sure. but it's still alive under there. It hasn't taken a whole lot of damage, but it cannot currently move from its position without trying to escape. Uh, that's awesome. You want to stay put or? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I just want to get him away from everybody. Okay, you got it. Finishing Dorian's go. Chetney, you're up. <laughs> and I'll turn and try and go after uh, yeah, twenty-five. Okay. Can I see anything? You turn the corner, mm. and you see her. The bed itself is pulled away from the wall, mm -mm. and there is what looks to be the baseboard and, and base portion of this chamber wall is now pulled open, and there is a hole that leads a dark interior, and you can see her in the process of like slithering get into out. it. Get her out. So from where, my, uh, where I was, yeah, can I get within melee? You could if you jump onto the bed. Yeah. Oh, well, I will definitely jump onto the bed. Okay. <laughs> onto the bed. It's a water bed. Uh, and I will, uh, I'll take my. His claws puncture it. I'll take my claws. I'll take my claws and say, Where are you going? And I'll shove it up against her back and I'll uh, cast Inflict Wounds. Oh! oh. 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 I have to roll to see if you hit first. Oh, sorry. Uh, 15 plus five is 20. That, yeah, that definitely uh, definitely hits. Great. Same one I started with. Let's bring it under swirl. 12, eight, 20. 20 points of uh, necrotic damage. Nice. As you reach out and claw into her, and this burst of like dark energy swarms down your forearm into your claws and digs into like the leg that you're grabbing as she's pushing her away, and you hear her scream, and the muscle seems to pulse within your grip before it begins to slip free. That hurt her a lot. Yeah, that's what dissonant whispers. Yeah, that's what dissonant whispers. Okay. You have a hold on her, though? What do you, uh, you no, no, I, I, did, I didn't grapple. It wasn't a grapple, her. that was just an attack. Uh, grapple would have helped, not done any damage, but it may have held her in place, step? but that was your action. Yeah, but she's two people. She's at the top of the initiative anyway, so she could have tried to break it. Um, yeah, that's my that's my turn. Okay, finishing Chetney's go. We're back to Ladna. Uh huh. Um. So I, I I'm so they she's been walking across the ceiling and shit. Is this like not a full ceiling? Is there like I'm, 
Sorry. Where's the door? So this is a chamber. What's the a only door? opening is right here that goes out into the balcony. Uh, and there's a door here. And there's a door there. That Let's leads into the secondary balcony. chamber with a se- with another balcony and then the bed area on the side. Fuck. And there's a, and all the other um all the dudes are dead. You you hear the shuffling of something you're not in the chamber. So you don't see much because you're currently in the hallway. Ooh, all right, I, I go in the chamber. Okay, so you can move in past Fern mm-hmm. on this side. You come around this way, and you can see the bookshelf is now on the ground, and there are books scattered around it. You can see something <laughs> trying to push its way out from underneath the bookcase. It is currently pinned. Oh, he's still alive, though. Yeah. All right, well. Eldritch Blast. <laughs> <laughs> go for it. Finish it. It is restrained, save advantage on these strikes. Oh, that's fun. Um, so first one. Um, 10 and 11, but that's still uh, 18. That hits. Second and then strike. second one. Uh, natural 17, so 24. They both hit. Go ahead and roll damage for each. And that's a d10. Uh, nope, he's not hexed. Wow. What the fucking bitch tits. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, so that is uh, four. Mm-hmm. And then. Plus CX, so that's a total of um, ten. Ten. Yep, that's me. Ten damage. <laughs> Launch both the Elder Blast. Books go flying out from the impact of the force and go scattering across the room. It's still under there. It's looking really hurt. What the? Fuck? And it's like trying to claw its way out from underneath. Like. Just like <laughs> Like it's, it's barely holding on. It's having a rough night. I just, <laughs> I look at yep. Imogen and I just. <laughs> You're doing great. It was, it was great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I guess that's my turn. All right, finishing Laudanus go. It's going to try and get itself free from underneath the books. With a natural one, it does not. Yeah. It's like. Yeah. Ah! And just kind of gives up. It's just, it's just awaiting the eventual end. All right, the, that brings us to Imogen with fresh cut grass on deck. Uh, I'm gonna run in the room, shouting, "Where'd she go? Books under the books. She's under the books. You see something skittering under the bookcase. That's I'm gonna keep. Her. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna run into the other. Okay. Oh yeah, she's exactly. in the. She's in the bedroom. We'll say that's as, that's as far as you can get. Probably here. With your movement, can I dash? You can. Can I push him past me? Yes. Thirty. That's as close as you can get. And I can't dash. see anything, right? No, but you hear the growling of a Chetney around the corner, and some sort of a scuffle just beyond your sight. Shit. That finishes your go. Fresh gas. You're up for in your. Don't let her get away. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Not right. Shit. I can't make it there either. I'll enter the room. Maybe. Um, yeah, what a Russ, is, Russ is dead and gone, yeah? So I'll just keep. He's certainly not moving. Sure. I'll just keep going, hearing Imogen's call. Over Russ. And use my full movement to get as far as I can. You get right this way and. Do I see? You can barely see the Lady Moth part of her. She does have three quarters cover because you're only seeing like her legs. After she's trying to push her way into the hallway, so she does have a bonus to I can AC. And see that line of sight from her. Oh head. yeah, yeah. See Jesus. It's like <laughs> just <laughs> barely. And Chetney's in the way too. Yeah. 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 So three quarters cover. So which means it's possible. I didn't grab on figure if I have to dash to get there, and then you would have an action anyway. Yeah, exactly. I can use an action to get to her and then do nothing. Yeah. Or. I don't have any freezing spells or holding spells. You don't have your grappling yeah. hand, do you? I don't, I, yeah, I don't think so. It says it's in the backpack, which we left behind, yeah. so I don't have that stuff. Oh, yeah. Unfortunately. I have no way of holding her here or confusing her or anything. So I can only just either rush to her or attack her. I can't touch Chetney, right? Yeah, if you rush to her, if she leaves, you get attack of opportunity, and so will I, or you can yeah. try and hit her from here and try and hit oh, her before true. she goes. My attack of opportunity is a two point five. <laughs> yes, yeah, so maybe not that one. <laughs> Let her have it. Can you, can, you, can you buff Chetney? Only if I can touch him. I mean, I could cast Cure Wounds on him, but no, 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 no. or give him a better AC. Mm-hmm. I can give him a better AC. Chetney can't be anymore. It doesn't really help, though, I don't think. Yeah. I can calm her emotions? 
I can enhance his ability. I, there's not just, just not much I can do. By the way, the spiritual weapon's coming with me. The um, invitation. <laughs> Just floating. There it you go. wants its RSVP. <laughs> um, Do you want the salmon or the prime rib? Please. Alrighty. Charm. Like I could charm her. Yeah. I could yeah. charm her. Yeah, give it a try. She's gonna to beat it. I, so she give it a try. She, well, yeah, she yeah. lost. She could roll a one. Both okay. wisdom saves against Orum. No, this is fast friends. Mm. Oh. Let, let's be friends. Young lady? Yeah, fights. Yeah, I might do not, it. I think that's for just. I need you to. I'm supposed to give her a command. Oh, okay. Or a task. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, that's a higher spell. That that, uh, that bed looks pretty messy. We probably should make it. Shit. <laughs> 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 yeah. All right, that is a wisdom saving throw. Oh, for right. just wild. 14. She can roll She rolled. Specifically, a 14 plus bonuses. Oh, so she succeeds. Good, good shot. Was yeah, very, that was a very, very, very good, good, good shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, very good shot. Oh, she's making the bed in my mind. Okay. All right, Fern. Okay. Military corners. I want to try to get in there. So, how far am I? 25, 30 is as far as I you have can get 35. You have 35. There. So you know what I'll do then? Hmm. Okay, with Mister mm -hmm. back there, I can teleport with Mister. So I can teleport 15 feet. So if he can get me the rest of the way to see her. What can't Mr. do? Okay. So I'll have him. So there's a bonus action to make him teleport? Yeah, so I can get within range to see her. So oh. um, that's one of his actions that he can do. This is action. He does go. The yeah, spirit. She has initiative counts. So you can totally do that. Okay. Awesome. So Does that leave you an action for you or a bonus action for you? Or does that leave both for her? That's no. That that to to get him to teleport. So it's here. I think that's just his action. The only action takes on its turn is the dodge action, unless you use a bonus action to command it. So it's a bonus action for you to tell it to teleport. Okay, so okay. you can still do okay, your so action. I can still do my action. Indeed. So it, <laughs> you both. <laughs> uh, wow. Next to you, Imogen, you watch as. Uh, the flaming monkey comes cruising through the air next to Fern, <laughs> and so they both go and vanish. And a moment later, <laughs> emerge in a burst of fire around the room. You, you just barely see them out, just beyond the edge of the wall as flames light up the room in a splash. Go ahead and roll damage on that one, which is 1d6 plus your proficiency modifier. <clears throat> oh, okay. That is a uh, 20 on its save, so it succeeds on the save. Okay, nine total. <clears throat> Nine points of damage. Uh, it does succeed in its saving throw, so it does not take any damage, unfortunately. But okay, you okay, are within the room. Okay. Do I take any damage from her room? Uh, she teleported. It is a five five feet, so no. Okay. You're just out of the radius. Am I in range of her at all, touching wise? Uh, if you wanted to emerge touching yes. her space, you could be there. Yeah. So yes. I am going to reach down and try to grab an ankle and cast Burning Hands. And try to just. <laughs> You're just gonna. <laughs> I love the idea of burning hands as a contact. It's so great. Okay, it's a dexterity <laughs> oh. check. Go ahead and roll damage on it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So that is a 16. Does that succeed? Six. 16 is the. Okay, so half damage. But yeah, go ahead and roll. Damage. Okay, so. Oh, seven points of damage. That's so. Hard. Reduced to three. Okay. Um, but can I? Oh, I guess I should have tried to do a grapple instead because I'm trying to keep her there. Right, but That's the fine. flaming hands burn through, kind of <laughs> fill around her and the hole where she's currently going. Just all of a sudden, lights up with bright light. You have to like avert your eyes from the, sh the intensity of the blast before it diminishes, and she's still <laughs> kind of trying to slip through and vanish within. That finishes your turn, friend. For him. Okay, Orum, like a tiny Olympic runner, just starts bolting. I've counted it out. I think I can get to here at 55 feet and do the same bait and switch move and switch with Fern so that she backs up and I'm right up against, if I use movement and dash. Correct, yes. You I would get, get all the way here. up behind Fern, bait and switch, move in, take the armor class for myself again, roll to seven again, 
that's the end of my turn. You got it, but shh. But I'm right swap within melee. Mm -hmm. You got it. Okay. So now we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good, so you can take it yeah. if she gets away. Yeah. Great, good, good, Ashen. Good. I'm in running the room. <laughs> you missed the action. <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I take My it in. My card's full. <laughs> There's a thing underneath the bookcase. Yes. I'm going to end it. <laughs> yes. Uh, go. Are you just? What weapon do you have? Nothing. I'm just. I'm. I'm going to. Pick up the bookcase and yeah! slam. Yes. Okay. So roll your attacks and damage for it. And we'll uh, just... Advantage. Uh, it's yes, it is restrained. So advantage okay. on these strikes. <laughs> uh, thank God for advantage because that was a, there was a one on the end, other end of that. Um, that's a uh, twenty to hit. Twenty to hit. That's hits. at least seven points of damage unless I get a bonus damage from the bookshelf. <laughs> <laughs> you just that see one clawed hand. And explodes. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Cool. I have advantage on that too. You do. Twenty. Twenty. You take three points of fire damage, and it just turns to ash from beneath the fire. The, uh, the bookcase is like. There, are, yeah. It's it's smoking. It, it's not enough. It's not enough continuous fire. To catch fire to things, unless they're extremely flammable. Yeah. The books in there are definitely burning, but like it's more of like ash, and the pages are being damaged. But it's not like starting a fire right. yet. Um, uh, is there? Do I have any more movement left? Yeah. Uh, how how uh, far have I moved? That would be I'll say twenty five feet of movement. Okay. Um, let's see if I can get into that into the room at least and not block it. I have forty feet. Forty feet. You can get right there. Yeah. I okay, and everyone get in. Yep. I'm just running in. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. It's now her turn. She's going to go ahead and use slippery dash. Oh. As a slippery dash. Well, actually, no. Actually, no. Sorry, I said it wrong. She actually has a cunning. Reindeer. Ten, ten, it's called. It's a cunning action, but it's slippery dash. Uh, it's a bonus action to disengage. All her mucus, huh? Yep. And then <laughs> slips down without taking any attacks of opportunity because of the disengage action and vanishes into the wall below. Oh come on! Oh. Real close. She's hurt. Just out of curiosity, does disengage also get you out of a grapple, or no? You have to roll to break the grapple. You have to roll to break Got grapple. Um, so, no. Yeah, we like all converge. We like, oh, yeah. oh, I know. Just anyone, just I was gonna say, anyone got a distance shot? One. They want to throw down the throw down the uh, uh, hail mary. I've got a hell of a distance, but I'm so far away. So can far I, away. Can I try to thorn whip her ankle? You, it, the hole is about we, this yeah. big in the wall. Um, and if you want to glance in, you could like almost get your arm in there to look down, and there's no light. Um, and she got to move, she got to, move. to yeah, dash. Yeah, I mean, she's a reaction yeah. attack, and only yeah. two people are in a position to do that. Yeah, we had like a something explosive to drop down there, but yeah, no. Uh -uh. Fuck. Can, can I uh, stalk back through the room and go to the balcony and look over the balcony? Yeah. Curious what, what we see or how high we are on this ledge. Okay. Son of a bitch. You look over the balcony. Uh, there is the courtyard below, and there's probably about 30 or so feet before the cliff edge that just drops off into the end of this top part of the core spire. And so from the edge of the balcony, you can see pretty much the entirety of Drusar down and around you and the surrounding jungles of the Odirn Wilds, at least as much as your eyes can pick up in the moonlight. I will uh, I'll drop my uh, werewolf form and walk back over to the the guard that's cradling his comrade. Yeah. And he like I, just kind of like takes his hand and closes his eyelids. Stands I, up. <sighs> what was that? Who are you? I don't know, but listen, there's going to be more people coming. We need you to make sure to vouch for us. We didn't do this. We came to your rescue. You understand? I, I know very much so, but who, who what can I say you are? Who, or like a name? <laughs> a name or a person, an affiliation, something. Now's our time. Oh boy. Now's our it. moment. This is it. <laughs> I've got a thing I gotta get to. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you here with? Oh. No, we're not here with anybody. No, we're not here with anyone. We were here as representatives of. of the deceased Bertrand Bell. 
carry on his legacy. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, okay. Oh. Make a deception check. Fuck. <laughs> Come on, come this on, Ladna. You're gonna come on. Natural twenty, right here. <laughs> it's pretty good. I think what is that? Sixteen? No, it's a ten. Why? Uh, you can't read this. But uh, thirteen. <laughs> thirteen. Goes, oh, okay. All right. Bertrand Bell. Okay. And you saw the crazy lady on the roof and all the little guys. Yes. And they hurt you. Yes. Okay. Whose room is this? Uh, this belonged to a. Uh, uh, is it Grease Alacritos? Oh, Grease. Grease. This, is this is Grease's, Grease's room. room. Wait, Grease. Oh, the Scholar. headmaster guy. Yeah. Oh. Headmaster. Oh, but that's that just random. The... He's not a bad guy. Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. Might be. Might be. Oh, they knew the Gorgine, right? Should we give him a knife? Go give him a knife. Give him a knife. Give him a knife. Do the Gorgine, right? Oh, what's what's your name? Uh, no, he um. He said he was a friend of uh, Ajit and said, you know, he's somewhere at the party. Okay. What's oh, your name? Ajit What's your name, young young sir or Adam? Uh, uh, do not. Do, do not. Do not. Because the words. Do not pick a name right now. <laughs> I do not hit her, I do not. <laughs> I was going to Haas, but that works well too. It's a little more. For all critters named do not out there, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, Same to the Purbons. Are we are we are we evacuating the premises or staying to face the music here? I I, I don't I don't think there actually is music here. I feel like this was a pretty open and shut nightmare. This. This is clearly some crazy shit that we are not capable of. Are we in the same spire where <clears throat> we were in Duggar's place? To, mm, no. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think we've ever this been. This is the course? first time no, we've been to the. the yeah, which no, this no, is the, this, this is, is the, the top spire. of the course spire. Oh, so I believe it might be. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, it is. Oh, I thought yeah. We were, oh. Yeah, it is because we. Okay. Shadana's place is in the course spire. Yes. Yeah. 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 I don't know what to do. <laughs> I go into the other room and put my dress back on. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Orm, yeah. Orm's going to go grab the torch that I see burning on that wall in the other room. Okay. Then carry it back to the room with a hole in it. Pulls out that rope that they bought and says tie up, and it wraps itself around the leg mm-hmm. of the bed. And then I hold the other end and say the same thing tie up, and it loops around my ankle. Are I you got doing a torch, it? and I'm going to start to. Climb Why down in to get a look around. Okay. As as you begin to head downward, it, it it's relatively easy because one, you're compact, and two, the interior of this wall it's is knotted. it is knotted, and but the the space, while it mm-hmm. is small, is lubricated. Um, right. So you slide down relatively easy, not over knot, um, until you reach the end of the fifty foot mm-hmm. rope. And it just continues down in the darkness below. Yeah. I figure. I just want to be sure. Right as you're down there, Dorian and Ladna, you hear a ruckus in the hallway, like the sound of a voice or voices elevated. Oh, here we go. All right. Uh, can I, how do we look? How do we look? You look Terrible. around. Amazing, as always. You've got some, like, um. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah hey, game, game face, game face. Uh, Everything's normal. Oh, We're just, okay. here from, We're just <laughs> down and up. And then, ah! <laughs> you listen in, and you can hear the voices. They're kind of echoing through, and it's like, no, you've got, <laughs> you've got the wrong idea. This is I, I am a, I am a lord. I'm supposed to be here. Uh, Titania, you can look it up. I, and you just hear like, keep it quiet. We caught you. Uh, that's his brother. Toodaloo. Yeah, that's the name he was That was the fake name, right? Yeah. Yeah, do I, I, you hear the doors opening into the main chamber from where you came from in that direction. And the sounds of like discussion and music all of a sudden entering the chamber. Uh, um, um, be quite careful. There's uh, quite a bit of debris. Are you going out of you the guys are, are you, Wait, you guys are, you guys are still in the room. Really you're you're hearing hearing this from over here. Uh, right, they're coming in though, right? No, no, no they're, they're oh, coming they're, into they're this way. They're moving away. They're, they're you hear it coming here. this way in the hall, and then you hear doors open into a main chamber. Should we? Do I recognize this voice? 
It is indeed the voice of Cyrus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, come on. And I'm going to break for the door and. I'm following. Yeah, okay. Right. Are you telling anyone that you're all leaving or are you just doing it no. again? Cool. All this, we're the worst group. <laughs> anyone I will anything. stay because I'm did, in the same room, and I'll go back and get I can, everybody. I can sort of see Ashton or? through the um, through the door, and I just say, "Be right back, brother alert." Okay. Oh, fucking shit. You go into uh, a chase and head just as the door is closed, and you kind of push through an opening. You can see people in the chamber are beginning to spread apart uh, from the central area, and they're all looking upon. It looks to be uh, a guard and two green cloaked figures that currently have your brother uh, in shackles and are just holding one, each of them on each side of him, holding his arms and kind of parading him through the central area. Of, 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 the, par- of the party? Of the party. As we're walking away, I'm going to turn back um, towards the direction and send a message to Imogen as well and be like, we've got a God, Cyrus alert. Orm's down the fucking tunnel. We'll try and handle it out. We'll right about shout. now, Orm gets up from the tunnel because yeah. you've made your. <gasps> yeah. Let's. Uh, uh, then the I, I start heading off after. I'll, Laudna. I'll book it with As you. As we turn the corner and I'm walking away from the guard. We're Bell's Hills, and don't you forget it. And I'm gonna keep walking out. Are we? And I can run after her. <laughs> Alrighty. I'll just say, I'm, I'm sorry we laughed at your name, do not, and hope you don't laugh at ours. <laughs> <laughs> Touche! <laughs> and you all begin to head down the hall into the main area, kind of following where you are, and you can just see the crowd is kind of parted, and people are like whispering to each other, and your brother is still like, <laughs> this is a misunderstanding, I don't know, uh, This we're going to work this out. Uh, so anyone know her? Lady Emoth, how it is? Oh, shit. Uh, she's my she's my date. Oh, we were supposed shit. to. You were uh, anyone? And people were like, "Who is that?" I just, I don't, they're all like talking amongst these, themselves as the see people hear people like, "Oh my, is that is that the, 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 the Green Seekers?" Oh, yeah, I've never actually seen them in person. And they just continue to drag him through the room. What are you doing? So they're full on like shame dragging him, like, or they've arrested him and they're just bringing him out him to the out. front. Perp walk. Perp walk. What do we do? Do we create a distraction? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um, a distraction. Uh, do you have anything in mind? I, we have to get him out of there right now. Create an illusion. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I don't know. Just wing it. Uh, you darkness. Watch his... Good God. What do you? Wait, what were you about to say first? <laughs> <laughs> no, you tell me. What are you doing? Oh, no, no, you ball. tell. You tell me first. Oh my God. What were you about to do? Oh, it's the police. Uh, <laughs> he was there with her. Gavis rushes up towards the uh, the oh. investigators and like starts asking them questions. One of them kind of talks on the side, and Gavis turns around to the rest of the troop. Not to worry, everyone. Uh, it seems a burglar has been apprehended within the chambers and will be dealt with appropriately within the citadel. Uh, so, one, thank you to the Green Seekers and our fantastic wardens for finding such a perpetrator. And uh, please, let us continue the night unworried and unbothered. Uh, now, fuck that swells. darkness. I'm going to do it in the ceiling, though. In the ceiling. In the ceilings, uh-huh. so it's a twenty-foot radius sphere. Mm-hmm. Uh, and how far up are you? Just creating a, a, a sphere of darkness. It doesn't. What are you doing? There are, there are, there are, there are multiple. <laughs> sh- there are multiple chandeliers in the room, and in a wide space. It's a so, very um, big dome chamber. Kind of coming from the top of the dome, you just see the the chandeliers start to. F- 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 as they're getting snuffed out from this magical darkness that is coming down from below. Okay, so so the central chandelier in the middle of the room suddenly. And just like this sphere of dark shadow encompasses the chandelier. I'm trying to make a distraction here. All of a sudden, everyone in the room, after Gavis just begins to like calm everyone down, and people begin talking. All of a sudden, (gasps) what? What? Everyone starts looking up at this like sphere of dark shadow that has now appeared in the center of the room. What are you doing? You hear in your head, Laudna. We can't fight them all. I just want to scatter them away. I don't know. How how far? How far are we from them? Uh, You. 
from from where they are. Yeah, they're probably. I'd say if you're just kind of watching from from distance, not trying to to make a huge scene, they're like 40, 50 feet ahead of you. And darkness is swallowing all the light in the room. <laughs> just just the central chandelier. There's a lot of light sources everywhere. Just like there's just more of a sphere of darkness that encompasses the central chandelier. Yeah, they it can kind totally of, still see. It's like a distraction. Yeah, everyone kind it's of is looking up at it at the moment. Oh my god! One of the one of the patrons kind of goes hmm, and flicks their finger, yeah. and the darkness hmm, vanishes. <laughs> You're not the only magic practitioners in the city, unfortunately. Yeah, are we all to out do. to the chamber? You've all now kind of caught up a little bit, and you watch as everyone's still kind of, well, people are kind of wondering what that was and starting to make questions, and Gavis is still trying to lay down the tension of the room. Um, things are definitely, the energy's weird. The party's gotten odd, and people are starting to like look around, and there's definitely a, a chaotic anxiety. What are you all doing? Are we goopy like Ghostbusters at the moment? Or are we just like like? You're a little uh, goopy. Yeah. I think most of us did. Yeah, some of us. I don't. I mean, what can we do? I don't even understand who these. I don't know. That they are. Can I go up to? Uh, is Gavis surrounded by a bunch of people, or is he? Gavis is Estros, by the way. As soon as you come into the room, oh, yes. is like shh. Oh, yeah. And next to him says, "What is going on? Time to leave now." <clears throat> I'm gonna lean over to Laudna. I don't say. Tell them I'm sorry. And I'm going to reach in my bag. Oh, and I'm going to pull out my last vestige of my trip to Gilmore's. I, I have got a uh, smoke grenade. And I'm going to pull it, and I'm going to pop it, and I'm going to throw it right at all of them. At who? At the guards that have my brother and everybody, I'm going to pop a smoke pop grenade smoke? and throw it right into the middle oh boy. of the map. Oh boy. Yeah, it's my brother. Oh boy, Sorry. Sorry. What's it do? Uh, it, uh, it lobs through the air and lands right in the middle of them and, and creates a 20 foot radius smoke screen. And I'm going to sprint straight for it. All right. Everyone distracted with the, the darkness appearing and then vanishing. Uh, the shouting suddenly. <laughs> The smoke fills the reach. People start like freaking out. Some people start fleeing from it, not certain what it is. It feels like it's an attack or an aggressive action. Some of the guards kind of glance around to kind of see where the source it was, but they weren't paying complete attention. As soon as you do this, Estros kind of like kind of begins to follow up behind you. You rush towards and into this smoke. Do you want to do it overtly or stealthily? Overtly. <laughs> Okay. Just, just full bore running right in. Okay, you go oh, charging shit. into it, and you watch as this wave of smoke and fog just <laughs> hits you, and the light suddenly dims from inside, and you can just see shapes moving within. Make a perception check with disadvantage. With disadvantage. Because you are walking into a fog cloud. Shit. Uh, six. Oh. Six. You go rushing in, and then oh, I know. bump into a figure. You see as a half-orc in a dark green cloak suddenly turns around oh, right towards you and goes, hey, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> what, <am I> doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> yes. Uh, and it, wait, I bumped into him? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to say, I'm going to put my arms on his shoulders and go, don't worry about it, and cash charm person. Oh, oh shit! God. You're also <laughs> hidden by the cloud, oh so that's if it, if it succeeds, nobody's gonna see it. I know. And if it doesn't, you're arrested. I know. <laughs> this natural nine. Uh, fourteen. Plus save. four. Oh! Yes, yes. yes. Oh I'm not even joking. He has a really high wisdom because they're they're investigators. They're high intelligence, high wisdom. Yeah. Fuck. Okay. Just misses and kind of turns. Just, what are you doing? I said, don't worry about it. And I'm gonna let him go and try to fade back into the smoke and feel around for my brother. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> oh my God. How long does that last? Uh, One hour. Yeah, an hour, okay. But they know and as, as, as you and then as you finish like casting it, you see, and his other arm is still holding your brother, like oh. is right to the side, and the other figure is just out of vision in the smoke. You're still wearing a mask, he's still wearing a mask, right? Or has his mask been removed? I don't know. Uh, the investigators are not wearing masks. Okay. They're not. I'm sure he's got my brother on mask too. Oh no, I mean Dorian and uh, Cyrus. Well, you haven't said you've taken your mask off. I'm still on. Uh, Cyrus does not have a mask on. No, no, got it. Cyrus has had his mask pulled off. Got it. 
And he's still holding him? Yeah, they're both holding by the arm, and then smoke apparated, and he's kind of like got into a guarded position before you bumped into one, turned around, and then you charmed him, and he's just like, okay. We can't he, see what's going on in there, right? You guys should see <laughs> smoke. How many how many patrons are still around? How many party goers? Oh, there's probably close to 80, 85 or so in the room still. Oh, we should just God. soothe them. I'm just gonna fa yeah, fan just out around the, yes. the cloud. Fan out, and I wanna get sounds. somewhat. Okay. Right close. as you turn the corner and see, uh, as you kind of like move past the half fork that you bumped into, the other figure, which is the uh, the shorter uh, gnomish member of the troop, the the female gnome, same coat, is kind of holding on to the other side of your brother's arm, chain still behind his back, and just goes. What the fuck? And is about to look over in your direction, sees you, mask and all, and kind of gives an intense look before. <laughs> she drops to the ground. What? Whack! Hits their face, and you just see a shadow pulling back with a long, dark cane in their hand. Oh, yes! Oh, yes! Come on! And just kind of like, just all you hear is, go. And it steps back into the fog. What do you do? I. <laughs> oh, I'll, I'll my look to the, God! I'll lock, look to the charmed person that is holding my brother. Grab his arm. It's like, you heard the man. We've got to go, and try to lead my brother out of the smoke. Make a persuasion check. Mm -hmm. Come on, Come Come on. Man, this is it. He's charmed, right? Oh boy, he is. So you'd have advantage technically because he is charmed. Persuasion. You uh, have advantage. Uh, for is the sixteen plus six twenty-two. Oh, okay. I'll do it with advantage. Sure. Why not? The half orc looks and goes, I guess I can finish the investigation if you're taking him down to the citadel. Mm. And kind of like hands the arm over to you, the, like the, the, the chains at that point. And the other gnome goes, Wait, what? What the fuck are you doing? And once again, the cane. Oh, whack! <laughs> cracks her in the back. That. Ah! While all of this is going on, oh, here uh, is house. No house. House. Uh, oh, okay. I didn't hear that, right? You did. Um, I'm going to uh, crack my neck and drop on all oh, fours Jesus. and <laughs> grow a little bit into my form of dread and say. Get out to oh. everybody around. Ooh. Okay, make an intimidation check. Oh my god. I'm the that worst in party. Yeah. Do you want any of these? Do you want any of those? No, 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 no okay. fuck all of those. Okay, total chaos. Mm -hmm. Okay, where's my intimidation? It's pretty good. It's pretty good. All right. Don't fuck me, Gil. Okay, okay. 21. 21. The majority of 22, the. 22, sorry. No, I'd say all of the attendees in your vicinity. Just go scattering and running out in a mass exodus towards the front entrance way. Um, the downside is the seven or so guards that are in the chamber now have their spears out and are coming in your direction. Run! <sighs> God, wow. I've got my brother by the arm, and as we walk out of the smoke right before we leave its precipice, I'm going to tap them. And cast invisibility on him. Okay. Brilliant. Slick. Brilliant. Do you have Fucking high level available? Uh, this is. I just used my second level of visibility. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Your brother, while still holding the weight of his arm, this Dorian, and his image fades, but you still feel the weight on your arm, and he kind of gets up back on his feet. Okay. You hear him whisper under his breath and just kind of follows your lead. I want you to make a deception check uh, just as you exit to kind of. Actually, no, this would be. This would be stealth. Yeah. To see if you can mingle within the crowd that is now rushing out from your distraction. Get. 20, go in the crowd. In the crowd. 22 on stealth. 22. With your brother under your arm and the mass exodus pushing through because of Ladna's distraction and furious intimidation. People might be bumping into your brother, but they're not even caring because they're fleeing from this terrifying creature that has appeared in the middle of this party. Um, and with family. that, you push through out into the road where you can see the carriage awaits off to the side. What are the rest of you doing in this moment as Ladna is now drawing the attention of the nearby guard 
<laughs> Making our way to the door. I'm not abandoning Ladna in the room. Did anyone oh, leave you're her gonna stay? I'm not abandoning her. her. What? She's gonna she's get gonna Oh, there are plenty of drinks around left behind. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna see if I can find some tobacco or something. I'm gonna, um. I'm fucking done. How do we get I'm gonna step up. Stay there and start some sleep to see you Step up next to Ladna and cast calm emotions. If I see you doing that, I'll do the same thing. Mm. Okay. To, so, to, to the guards? To the guards, to everyone. I'm just going to cast calm emotions to try to make them indifferent towards Ladna. Okay. Ladna. Uh, All right. I'll, do, I'll do the same thing. Instantly try to drop my form of dread as well. Okay, there are six guards. You'd have to wait till they get close enough they were doing the <clears> radius, but yeah. all out, so. Natural four. <laughs> Natural one. This is on image and stuff. That'd be a 14? 15. Oh. Okay. On yours. Natural one. You guys are fucking lucky as shit. Well, you sucked it up the whole ball. That is going to be a 14 again. 14. One of them succeeds. Okay. And a, a natural four. So wow. five of them kind of like stop and kind of put their spears to the side and kind of glance back at the smoke that's still kind of brimming through and kind of just a little confused and you drop the form of dread. And the one that still is like, who are you? Get on the ground. Oh my god, how dare you treat a lady as such? Oh god. Is what? everything all right, sir? I don't. Rude. Do you know who I am? Make a deception check. <laughs> Please Fuck. do good. Fuck, I'm yeah. trying. I'm trying. Ooh! Lots of two. Five. Five. This one guard still has his spear towards you. The others have stopped and like, calm, calm down, man. <laughs> They're like just kind of chill, but that one guy is like in, intensely questioning all this that's happened in the room, and then you just transform this creature, and it's like, I said, get on the ground. At which point, the guard that you had saved in the previous room comes through. <sighs> There's been an attack, and the guard with the spear was like, "I, th is it this one? No, no, no. She, she, she helped, helped save me. They're gone. They're gone." The guards, what? I'll explain. Ugh. And kind of like stumbles forward. The moment the spear towards you, kind of puts it down, and they all begin to kind of scatter a bit to try and calm the crowd as they're now exiting the room. They're gathering up with your friend that you made fun of after saving his life. Um, <laughs> and for the moment, at least, they are all clocking you closely. They are making a very, very strong intent to remember your faces, to remember how you look, Interactions that we're fucked up fucks. Masks mask. on. Masks yes. on. The masks help. I've got a mask on. No one will remember me. <laughs> 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 and I've said multiple times I take my mask off since I can't oh, fucking see through it. Mm -hmm. I would say in oh, the middle saw. of all that chaos, if Orem saw Dorian exit the cloud, he would like wind his way through the crowd, Assassin's Creed style, just to, okay. I'm not sure what's going on, and I think you guys went out the door, you said? I will say, from your perspective, they exited, a, at all? They exited a fog cloud. Okay. You, you saw yeah. him go into a fog cloud, you and then gone. that's the last cool. you saw. Cool. Especially with the stealth check, you have a high mass passive perception, but you actually rolled a higher stealth than your okay. passive. Yeah, so. I, I, can I try to take a look and look through the crowd to see if he popped out the other side? How long does that smoke grenade last? At least a minute. Yeah, I have to look. Depends on the currents in the room. <laughs> Twenty foot radius. Uh, 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 four round. Four round. Mm -mm. God, that'd be Does like it... eight. Twenty-four yeah. seconds. Not long. This Twenty foot four radius. Rounds. Four rounds. Four rounds. Okay. So the smoke by now would be beginning to dissipate. So as you're all moving forward and keeping a keen eye out there, the smoke disappears, and you can see one of the. Um, one of the investigators, the half orc, is, is standing there and kind of like assessing the area, nodding, mm -hmm. and his friend's getting up and like, ah! oh, Gus, what the fuck? Gus! Smacks him and is like, what, what do you mean? What's, what's wrong? Where's our prisoner? We just. And slaps him in the face and like, ah! Shit. 
shit! And they both begin to charge into the crowd. But you do not see Dorian. You do not see his brother. Perhaps we should go. Get I don't know out if here. they're going to let us. Yeah, the guards have they'll... eyes all over us. Well, no. We can try. Are we, no, the can party's we to, over. Can we try to party's leave? Over. Are the guards going to let us leave? Only one way to find out. Yeah. <laughs> let's go. We start yeah, to walk out, start and to walk out, and as we're walking out, I'm going to just reach out with my mind and um, send a message or try to cast sending to Dorian. Okay. Did you make it? Where are you? Close. A few steps from the carriage. Great. We're on our way. Oh shit! I can't do that. Yep, <laughs> Twenty-five words my each. Thing. Nope. <laughs> All right. So you head to the carriage mm-hmm. that is marked for you and your troop. Mm-hmm. Um, the paid hand that recognizes you upon arrival <clears throat> opens it up. Um, does not notice your invisible brother. <laughs> um, as you all begin to exit the chamber, the guards definitely keep an eye. But it's less of a "we're going to keep you" and more like we have reports to make. We had records of your arrival. That's all you can consider. You are now definitely persons of interest. Closest one on the way out. I make eye contact. Great party. I tip a gold coin. Just <laughs> <laughs> holds it. Blood in and great party. <laughs> Carefully, you all begin to come to your carriages, respectively. Estros is already inside his. You can see him like cane top in his hand, just so clenching his yeah. jaw and like looking forward. Angry. And as the door, as you, and we enter the door, yeah, he doesn't even look at any of you. You come into it and quietly the door closes, and then with that, the sill goats begin to <laughs> make their way on, and the carriages one by one begin to leave and disperse until eventually, tensely. You come to the Estras Manor. As the door opens, he hasn't said a word along this journey. Unless you have any words to impart. Maybe we'll just wait till we get home. Pretty hanged on no, right I now. I feel like <clears throat> he's like uh, this Bruce Wayne and Batman rest. Beyond. <laughs> we really let this guy down. The door opens. He gets out. The door opens into his manor. You all enter, and he gives. A whistle, and the carriage closes the door and <laughs> takes off uh, the next one of your troop. Just a short time behind, you're dropped off back into the manor. The late near midnight hours of the night in the city, as you all begin to convene within his study, and you see him now pacing back and forth in front of his fireplace, which has been freshly lit by his associate. As before, as we're going in, can I just make sure everything smells like us? Make perception check with advantage. Yeah, no, uh, no foreign sense. Anything that might be trailing us. Uh, Eighteen. Eighteen. Nothing catches your attention. You feel fairly confident. We're alone. <laughs> well, that was certainly eventful. We are open to notes, if you'd like to to give us any. This is our first big brouhaha. I can certainly see why you don't attend very often. <clears throat> oh. Did you tell anybody of your connection with me? No, <laughs> we actually we didn't. really didn't tell, but full disclosure, it's not just us. I tap my brother and drop the invisibility, so he's there with us. Oh, fuck. He was in trouble. So you've ushered what is now currently mm. a fugitive of the quorum. He was invisible. <laughs> but also, he, he wrongly accused, I, th- I think. We've, I don't know if he did anything else. I don't know. You can see his, his brother's still chained, by the way. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, no, I, uh, I'm not good at this, this whole, uh, this whole thieving thing. Oh, shit, you stupid son of a bitch. I'll come up behind him and start picking his little okay. blocks and everything. 
list of people. Oh my. What, 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 what were you doing there? I was just trying. I was trying to, was trying to pay off my bounty. I, I didn't. I'm so stupid. What can you tell us about the people you were working with? Thanks. I was. You know, folks around the Corsairs knew that I was looking for work, fast cash, whatever was available. And one of them mentioned that they occasionally do work with, you know, Lady Moth Cat. And you know, she, uh, she worked for a while with the Duggar fellow you guys were looking for a while back. Oh. And she, I don't know, you know, we kind of hit it off a little bit after she wanted to hire me to. She said she was going to escort me into this place. I was going to help her steal some stuff to both embarrass some other, the lower Mahan houses and make some cash on the side. It was meant to, meant to embarrass some other people here. And she promised me that she, you know, she's got a great treasure hidden somewhere that she was going to help split with me afterward. So your bounty was for being falsely accused of stealing from the Mahan house, mm -hmm. and you thought the best way to pay it off was to literally steal from another Mahan house. You're in trouble, aren't you? Yeah. Uh, on, honestly, I'm, I'm not worth this. I, at this point, you've all, I'm so sorry. It's fine. The Green Seekers. <laughs> I barely remember a tale of them, but why are they after you? The bounty, I understand, but why them? What else could you have done? I don't know. They kept asking me questions about like some, some tower, some sort of other burglary, destruction, or something. I don't know anything about it. Like I, I feel like I. Yes, I was. I wasn't doing something great, but I feel like I, I, I got something pinned on me that wasn't my doing either. But still, I. They, they, the Green Seekers thought that you had something to do with a burglary at a tower. Yeah. Oh. He's a patsy. They think he's me. Emoth came in on the arm of Armand Treshi. You know anything about him, or are you clueless? Uh, I don't know much. She just pointed me to a few, a few people whose rooms would probably have the most valuable things to grab. Easy. He did. She did. She did. Oh. She kind of refused to introduce me to anybody at the party, which I understand. If I'm just trying to keep a low profile, but apparently I failed at that. Did Imoth ever talk about? Um a woman that she worked for? Yeah, she said she, she had a, she had like a, like a partner, a business partner, somebody she went to often, yeah. Did she say her name? <clears throat> no, I think it might have been her mother. Yeah, no, she, called her, she called her mother a few times. Mm -hmm. So Cad was your one point of contact? Yeah. She worked with the Corsairs before. It seemed to be reputable. You know, it's kind of job that not more than one person could do. And honestly, you've met the Corsairs. There aren't many that are can hold themselves in a an environment surrounded with wealth and well-to-do sociology. So everyone kind of pointed it to me as the most likely choice: the new kid without any sort of known rap, really, aside from the bounty. Actually, no, it's, I'm real bad at this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I just gotta, can I turn myself in? What? <gasps> no. Ashton, mm. Ashton, tell him no. No. <laughs> no, you'll be, you'll be dead in a week, no. What, 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 I, I, can't go, I can't go back home like this. I, I, can, I can find a way to, 
Back home, like what? You mean free and not, not dead? Not in a box? How do we even get you out of here? Esteros, who's been just pacing this whole time, kind of stops and puts his cane on the ground and turns. <sighs> My sky ship should likely be loaded for its next journey in the morning. If we can smuggle We can smuggle you on to it. Just get you out of Marquette at the very least. Is it, where is it bound to you? Where is it going? Come on. <clears throat> is it private? Is there anyone else aboard or? <clears throat> on to my employ. So we just have to get him on. Maybe you can. Go get in a, a large chest or something. We can we can put you in a carriage. We can figure it out. I'll talk to Captain Zandis. We're old friends, and they would be very discreet under my instruction. It would be the first time I've smuggled anyone out of the city. <laughs> no. Will the Green Seekers try to follow? They won't have any idea where he went, right? I think you're lucky enough to have pulled him free without much information, but it's likely they are looking for a certain type of person. Well, we're going to be on their radar shortly. Paragon's call, too. I bet they're looking for him also. They're going to be looking for a certain type of person. You're offering in. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> it's all right. You're offering my brother free fee, free passage out of the city. He's talking about you as well. I know. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, I don't know if that's necessary. We just get your brother out and we get out of town. Do you think this man could possibly take care of himself with what he's done in the city. Could possibly figure out a way to fix any of this. Plus the family resemblance is quite strong. I'll turn my brother and I'll say, um, this deal with Lady Moth. Is this your last ditch effort to get out of this bounty? A lot of help that it was. I'm not good at a lot of things. Not like you. <laughs> and is not what I expected you to say. I'll turn my back on the rest of the group and I'll look to Lady or uh, uh, Lord Astros and I'll say, uh, "We'll take you up on your offer." Oh, Very well. It'll have to be before sunrise of going to utilize the darkness to our advantage. I'll have to expedite passage and the paperwork, but it can be done without any sort of irregularities. First light? Before. No, 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 we can, we can, we can cut your hair, we can, <laughs> we can make you look different. That's very sweet, Fern. <clears throat> we can pay off the debt. Do you need any of us to come with you? can't be a burden to this group anymore, not like this. Not for now, not for now. This is a family issue, and we will take care of it. Your brother, Sarius, kind of looks up to you, kind of grabs your hand and just kind of 
Brant, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't be. Don't be. We're all just trying to find our way. <clears throat> and it appears for now our way is somewhat different. Nestra steps up a bit <clears throat> and kind of clasps his hand on your shoulder. And goes, You need not take this responsibility, but I know that you're the kind of person that would. And I would too in your position. And I see the looks on your faces. Do not consider this failure. Like it or not, you've all succeeded at many great things this night. Trust me, I've worked with and work with others who, well, you heard what happened to the rest of Bell's compatriots. You have an act for survival. And we've, we've a few things that we have in our pocket that can help in what's ahead. I do not think we are hopeless in this. And yes, this is your fault, he says to Cyrus. And Cyrus kind of sinks into his shoulders a bit. But if you are willing to work to amend these faults, this is an opportunity that I am granting you to do this, to make it up to your brother, to make it up to these people, and to make it up to me, because this is not a cheap excursion. Do you hear me? And Cyrus looks back. Yes, sir. Who knows, maybe this is the experience you need to find the strength that your um, family history requires of you eventually. And I'll be working on my end to see what I can do. Do you have anywhere in Amman you could go? Amman. Um, probably not. <clears throat> Maybe somewhere different in Tal'Dorei, or uh, Kaimul, perhaps. Heard things about it. Um, music, gambling, place where a simple bard could blend in. <laughs> Maybe some opportunities to he claps the back of Cyrus. Make some money the proper way. And Cyrus kind of nods, still kind of as, as tall and as broad a figure as he is, is very much a shrunken. <laughs> Guilt-ridden individual. Stand up. Do not sulk. Doesn't be fit a man of your station, of your blood. Sarah stands up and turns to Estras. Your family relies on you. Your brother relies on you. Find that strength in yourself. Do some good in this world and maybe learn a thing or two from him on who to trust. <clears throat> I'll go get the paperwork completed. In the interim, set your affairs. <clears throat> and he takes his cane in hand and exits the chamber. No promises. We have to sort this out. Him and I. I'm sorry. No, you like family to me. Very much so. But this is my family. And we have to see this through, whatever it is. No goodbyes. Not for now. 
man, I, I'm so upset that I could just kick the dirt. Are you, are you trying to kick the dirt with your little legs? Yeah, I am. <laughs> It's also very clean in here. I it's, forgot it's, you had a stupid uh, little wooden feet on. I kicked the dirt right in front of it for him. It's just you. a carpet. I, okay. But but also, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, there there. I think this is the right thing for for your family, hmm. and I support this decision. But at the same time, I don't want to lose you. Um, and I think there's a. There's a couple of stones that y'all have that maybe we could keep one, so we could. We can still talk to still you. Still call you every once in a while. Yes, that's a good idea. Oh, Cyrus, do you have the? Reaches in, Fuck. sheepishly pulls oh, out yeah, the other you stone. Yeah, to that shit. Here. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna toss it to Orm. I'm not gonna say I'm happy about it. We all understand. This feels so dour. It's a real downer. Come on, we just had a great night. <laughs> Wasn't it fun? It was something. It was strange. Oh, we were clicking. Funny. We had chemistry. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, oh. What was the? Uh, the what, what was the? Um, uh, Ashtaros's uh, house attendant's name. Does anyone recall? Evelyn. Evelyn. Oh, right. Evelyn. Yes. May I, uh, may I bother you for something? It is not a bother. No. <laughs> Do you have any wine and some cups? Yes. Oh. Yes. May, may we have some? Of course. I'll be right back. <laughs> she leaves and comes back with a tray with all manner of wine glasses and three hefty bottles that are freshly uncorked, and sets it upon one of the small tables on the side of the study and kind of presents it to all of you. This is how we met. So we got to know each other, why not? No pressure. Smells good. <laughs> May I? Oh yeah. Uh, to the... Oh. Oh. What did yes. you say? Bell's uh, Hells. I said Bell's Hells. <laughs> Bell's but, Hells. But do you like it? I did, it felt, it felt good. Does it feel good? I mean, we are a bunch of Hillians. We raise hell. Well, like and him. we killed Bertrand. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. I mean, in a way. Yeah. I finished his song, by the way. Oh, I did. What do you mean? I will play it for you the next time our paths cross. That's I promise. feel like that's just a. <laughs> ah, you know, <laughs> leave a little something behind. <laughs> Cheers mm. to. The Bell's Hellions. It's Bell's Hells. Bell's Hells. I'm not holding Bells. a cup. You are a cup. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you are always a part of Bell's Hells. You know, it's funny, I've, I've always felt my entire life, always, like I was on the outside looking in. And you, you have all made me feel like I am part of something bigger. And I will be forever grateful for that. Thank you. To Dorian, <laughs> who is leaving us yeah. for his stupid brother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what the fuck is up with that? Hey. What the fuck is, is up with that? What the fuck is up with that? May the... Hair oh, in your ears no. never fall out. Oh. You have hair in your ears? Mm. Someday, I'm sure. You're not a burden, by the way. You oh. shouldn't have said that. You were quite the asset. You, you little fuck! I'll cut you up and we hold on to you. Stop, stop, stop. Who Keep is your this? shit intact. Who is this guy? He is a friend, a very hairy, angry friend. I get it. Look, I am sorry. Yeah. I remember you. Yeah, you right. gonna leave you with something to remember me by? I'll oh God, I, look, I get it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'll, all of you, all of you, I, I'm so sorry. You're an idiot. I know. <laughs> Better earn this, this is a good one. I mean, it's a little famous and pretentious, but he's good, so you earn it. 
Don't no, you're right. Anything in your mouth without his permission, you're just gonna choke on it. <laughs> got it. Got it. Okay. And just maybe don't come back next time. Fair. Fair. Not not in she wants you to die way, right? Oh no no, just you know, maybe you can home. come back, but you should stay home just... and like raise a garden or something. Honestly, I agree. I um, <laughs> I've gotten a taste of. The winds I was seeking, and I got blown in the wrong direction. Maybe I'll find them. Maybe it's when all this is over. It's time for me to go home and be who I was meant to be. Let's just get out of here first. Okay. You hear in your head. I know what it's like to have people shouting in your brain all the time, so before you go, I just want to apologize for submitting you to that earlier this evening. <laughs> no need to apologize. Very few people have challenged me the way you have. It's been fun. Just remember, it's okay to accept help. You it's really good. don't have to do it on your own. <laughs> well, thank you. I've always felt like there's been someone protecting me. And I feel like now I have the chance to protect someone else. That's nice. I wish that person had been around this evening. It may have made things go a lot better. The person who protects you, that would have, <laughs> that would have been great. Oh. You have mentioned before that you have other people back in Taltore, do you think? Oh! They're still around? Interesting. Very interesting. Mm. <laughs> All right. That's something to consider. <clears throat> you know, Ashton, you weren't my first adventuring party either. I don't take a big swig of wine. <clears throat> Remember how I gave you shit about when you first came into town and you got a bounty put on your head almost immediately? Yeah, no, I, I remember it very, very distinctly, actually. On the airship ride over, I will tell you a tale of why we probably shouldn't go back to Iman. <laughs> okay, I look forward to that story. <laughs> Aren't we going there, though? No, I, I don't think so. Uh, you what? are. You're going to Amon. I thought Astro said we could go to Kaimo. I think you have to stop through Amon first. Oh That's shit! That's where it lands. Do you have like money and stuff to get out of there? Do we have money? I I, I have some saved up, yeah. Why didn't oh, you use I it towards your bounty? I was going to. It wasn't that much. I'm sorry. Oh, that um, was. <laughs> I I have um. I have uh, here six platinum. Six platinum. There's two more. <laughs> it's yours. What a lovely, <laughs> selfless gift. Well, you know, I. Thank I, you so much. Plus, you I got was, the airship, you know. Yeah. That's true. What do you think I could sell? Two hedge. What? Two I'm hedge. sorry. <laughs> what do you think I could sell this for, Chetney? Oh. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I, I will treasure it always. See that you do. I'll put it in my little pocket. <laughs> On the floor. On the floor. It's in the I put another 10 in your hand, Platinum. Ah. Warm, thank you. What is this for? For the company. For all road. those nights in the bed together. <laughs> no, no, no. It wasn't like that, it's uh... You don't have to deny it. <laughs> if you do find them, all right. say hi for us. Oh, you couldn't stop me if you tried. Any messages you want to send, or should I leave it up to my imagination? Well, I can't wait to hear a progress report. Oh, I'm sure it will be full of Simple things, a quiet life. I'm sure nothing has gone wrong there. 
Uh, I reach up and take both Fern and Dorian's hands. Oh, I got so used to it. Feels weird that it's over for now. I will miss uh, Big Spoon, Medium Spoon, Little Spoon. Big Spoon, Medium Spoon, <laughs> Little Spoon. That's true. Fair enough. <laughs> I know my spot. <laughs> One less spoon. Well, there's still a few hours, probably, if you guys wanted to just... Just lay on the ground Do one more. together. <laughs> <laughs> One more spoon. Yeah. Yeah. Just so cute. Do we all just lay down in a row and spoon? <laughs> yeah, no line. If you want to line up, you just make a little in. wood carving of you. Shot that video. <laughs> <laughs> a little <Wow>. etching. <laughs> I don't like this feeling. Hmm. It's a little sad. But the right thing. It's a weird feeling right here. That is sad. Up, up here, and you're. No, it just hurts. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you were. In. I don't know how fake creatures anatomy. Well. Shit. Shit. You're a good man. Oh. Has yet to be proven. <laughs> Would anyone like to hear a song? Oh, yeah. All right. I've been working on this one. Is there a place where all of our shit's been stored? That we would have had access to, yes, or in the carriage. All, all the things that you checked were then placed into the carriage during the event. All right. Uh, I'll pull up my lute and I will try to sing a little song for everyone. All right. Are you gonna sing it? No. <laughs> oh my God. I <laughs> no. <laughs> but the real question is, is it good or is it bad? Mm -hmm. I think it's good. You don't need to roll for that. Yeah. yeah, and so through the wee hours of the morning and the late remaining parts of the evening, you drink as friends, share stories as friends, and remember this face until it comes back around across your paths again. Dorian. Ah, uh, yes. Worcestershire. Oh. Hotter than goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, Worcestershire. It's <laughs> good. Um, Thank you. I'm going to I'm going to take one of the teeth from the uh, mimic in the alleyway. <laughs> Sure. Um, and I'm gonna pull out a ribbon and make a little necklace. Just, you know, for you to remember us and the adventures that we've had, in case, you know, something bad happens and we never see each other again. <laughs> it is entirely possible. But I'll tell you this, if for some reason this tooth ever falls off, there's no way I would ever forget you. I will never forget you. I hope not. It's not goodbye. No. See you later. That's all. And you are a good man. <laughs> We've best. seen all the proof we need. I give him a halfling hug. <laughs> Bring him in tight and... Oh. I will kiss his tiny little forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Oi. Oh, oh shit. Ah. Give me a hug. Mmm. Gonna miss ya. <laughs> I will miss you so much, and I'm gonna pull out a dead little Bertrand doll, and I'm gonna make them make kisses together. <laughs> oh, you said you were so horny, <laughs> didn't you? Oh, oh, yeah. oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The metal cane <laughs> oh. on the ground. You see Eshras there. Each time. <clears throat> All right then. Until next time, Dorian. 
We'll see you later. <laughs> Bit crowbuck. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that. <laughs> we'll be all right. We'll be all right. We will be all right. I promise you. It's enough of this. Send a message every day on that stone. I will absolutely not, but thank you for <laughs> suggesting it. But if you need me. Should you need us. <laughs> just call. And. I'll take my brother, clasp him on the back, and walk toward wherever Astros is leading us. I'll lead you out the front door to the awaiting carriage, where he's going to hide you both underneath one of the back seats. Aurum, can I have the stone real quick? <laughs> Break it I'm in. Just checking. I know you just left, but I was just seeing if you guys were okay. <laughs> Breaker, breaker. <laughs> breaker, breaker. How does this come through on the stone? You hear the words directly into your head. Like she's whispering in your ear almost. Like as you hold the stone up. Do I know how to make it send back? You just kind of speak into the stone. Um, it works just fine. End. <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least just like no, let us know smiles. when you get there. I don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> let her keep going. Let her keep going. Let us know when you get there to the ship, and then when you get to when you arrive <laughs> in Amman. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just to make sure. When you get okay. into your dorm at night, give me a call. You have to hold it further away so he can see you. You, you can't. You just got it. No, like I'm like a little, the top of your. I can only see your mouth. You got it. Uh, I you slowly take it back from her, her yeah. hand and say, "We'll figure out how it works together." <laughs> you hear the distant muffled of the door in the carriage, and the wheels creak as it takes off. Eshra steps back into the manor and closes the door. You've all had a very long night. Get some rest. Estros. Hmm. Are you mad at us? No. I'm actually very quite proud. Sorry we weren't great party guests. I didn't bring you to be good party guests. I brought you to be problem solvers. I think you did quite a good job. A little messy in some ways, but <laughs> nothing I can't clean up in time. But get some rest. There's work to do. And if you were to there. look where the carriage went away as it pulled away, <laughs> left floating there, where, where the carriage just went away, with <laughs> levitate on it, is just a little toy boat. <laughs> And a little kid from the street runs along and snatches it off and runs down the street. I love it. And that's where we'll end the episode. We'll end it there. Robbie. <laughs> Robbie, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, man. So much fun. Definitely no. the last time we drag you into our chaos, but definitely the 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 big heavy introduction between EXU and this. You're part of the family now, so don't go too far, bud. All right. Thanks, guys. Go up Love you so much. Love you guys too. Stop the uh, first big tearjerker uh, moment of scene uh, three. <laughs> Chad. You look at the day when the carriage explodes. <laughs> <laughs> Got you, motherfucker. Oh my god. I thought you said the ship exploded and killed the kids. <laughs> 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 it's like a shot and miss. It's a bomb. <laughs> no. It did. I was just a timer on it. And three. Two, one. Oh, no. No. Almost. Oh. Problem almost solved. Amazing. <laughs> uh. Well, all of you give some love to Robbie Damon. Yeah. He's fucking brilliant, Robbie. dear friend. Robbie Draymond. So proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 o
Thank you all so much for joining us. We love you very much, and is it Thursday yet? Good night. Aww. We love you, Abby.